Here we go. Three, two, one. Jump scare. Oh, let me get the clock looking right. Here we go. Marathon timer. Okay. Here we go, guys. Setting it. Set timer. Timer's on, baby. Is the mic working? Here we go. I got that hot substitute teaser. <laughs> I'm going to be streaming for 18 hours. Okay. I got the subathon timer right above me right here. I put it for an hour 30 because that's like usually I stream like two hours. Okay. Never done a sub before. Every time that we... Whoa! Yowlets! Uh -huh. A tier one sub to Chris Booga! Yowlets! All right, guys. Every time, as you can see, every time somebody gifts a sub or get or subscribes or anything like that, it will add five minutes to the clock. Tier two subs will add ten minutes, and I think tier three will add twenty-five minutes. Uh, if people cheer bits, uh, that's gonna add time to the clock too. All right, so it started with a safe hour thirty. I have no idea how long this will uh -huh. Whoa! Modest Fanatic! Subscribe with Prime Gaming! Welcome. Welcome. We're starting with this. Oh! Anna R. Uh -huh. hey! Can you guys hear the little music in the background too? How's, how's, uh, how's audio levels here? You guys can hear me okay? There should be like little, like, can you hear like little chill lo fi beats to study and relax to? If you can't, I guess it's not a huge deal. I'll just turn it off. No music? Can't hear it? Let's see if I can turn it up a little bit. No music. No music. Okay, we should have desktop audio somewhere. Where is it? Desktop audio. You just hear the faded guy. No, video cap. Uh -huh. Oh! Two dads kissing! Hype train incoming! We got an hour 47 on the clock! Let's go! Uh -huh. Oh, and Meta Waluigi! Dude, we're so close to a hype train. Two dads kissing. Meta Waluigi, thank you for the subscriptions. Where the f Dude, oh, sorry, I'm on OBS right now. Where the fuck is my desktop audio? Oh, wait, here, this is why. Hang on. Let me know if you hear this now. I think I think a new song is about to start. Yes, so... I have seen... I have seen a lot of the art... Can you hear the music now? You hear anything playing right now? Oh! <laughs> oh my god, Hernandez just gifted five tier one subs. Oh, we got... We got time on the clock, baby. Let's go. Dude, let's fucking go. Hernandez, 93Z. Dude, holy shit. Give me the tier sub to I Eat Worms. Coco Loves 2. Paranoid Android. That lore can. Joe Nucci. And then, oh my god. Funky Fetus, subscribe. Uh -huh. And Fugi Yogi. Yo. Let's go hype train. <laughs> hype train. Oh, dude, hype train two is rapidly approaching. Yo, let's fucking go. So I have a ton of like. Okay, basically, I'm gonna show you right now. I'm gonna show you right now. I wrote now. I took the time before we started here to. You know what? Give me a sec. Let me actually put this. Let me separate this into a different window so it's not here. Hang on, give me a sec. Just moving some shit around on my desktop. Okay, and this is what I'll show you guys. I moved all of the ideas that people wrote down went onto the list. I have about 300 
ideas. I literally wrote everything down that people wrote to me. Okay? I think it's just... I think it's just under there. What I'm going to do, because I know that we're going to have a lot of people in the chat that want to recommend stuff. When it, what I'm going to do is that when we hit certain sub goals, we're going to, I'm going to take requests from the audience. And also we'll be at this hopefully for a while. There's a lot of random like ideas in there. Some of them were making me laugh out loud. Some of them there's an, like, I can't draw them on stream because I'll just like, get banned. But they're really, they are, we're, we're going to go through them anyway. Oh, bottling sunshine in the chat. Uh, so yes, if you haven't entered an idea, don't worry. I'm going to be watching the chat, so we'll still draw some stuff. And I figured to start with, I'm actually going to, before we get to the list, before we get to any of that, okay? I am go. where's my pen? There it is. I am going to start, okay? We're going to do a warm up. All right? So let me start a new thing. We're going to draw a guy. Can you guys hear this music? Hear the music in the background? <laughs> Is it too loud? Or is it like a good level right now? I don't want it to be like distracting. But I think we're probably okay. Okay. So, what I'm going to start with. Let me just double check that this is working. To draw. Yes. Okay. We're going to... Good. Music is good. It's perfect and funky. Okay, excellent, excellent. I've never done the, 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 the music in the background thing. Uh, we're really close to a, t a hype train too. Dude, thank you so much already to everybody who subscribed. I'm hoping that I'm streaming for the next 30 years, okay? I, I'm fully prepared to do like the Truman Show for the rest of my life. Loving the tie, thank you. It is actually, was, well, it's my, it was my dad's. He, he gave it to me, so it's a, it's a good tie. Thank you though. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna start by drawing a guy, okay? Each part of the guy, I'm gonna take a request from the audience, okay? I'm gonna pick something that you guys say. Maybe somewhere in there we'll do, we'll do a poll and stuff too, but I like the audience interaction, okay? So we're gonna start with a guy, okay? I need you guys to suggest the shape of his head, all right? Give me a shape. Give me a shape. Egg. Gord, triangle, octagon, star. What about a pole? We can do a pole. Triangle, brick, a squircle, star, square. Inverted. How does that work? Rectangle, a butt. <laughs> okay. Let's start with, um, hmm. whoa, oh, dude, bottling sunshine is the uh -huh. one sub to the community. They gifted it to Gumshoe. Dude, look at that meeting, meeting of the minds. Bottling sunshine. Thank you. More time on the clock. Five, five more minutes on the clock. Okay, we're going to start with, hmm, I like the star. Let's start with the star. Who suggested the star? Paranoid Android. Star. Shaped. Head. Okay. We reached a level one hype train. And a new emote. I'm gonna share it. Let's go. Choo choo. Let's go. Okay, next. Give me a word to describe how you would like me to draw their eyes. Hi, Rezina. Sup, Playboy? What's happening? Pimp. Give me a word to describe their eyes. Dreamy. Happy. Submissive. Longing. I like longing. <laughs> Squinty, starry, lusty, <laughs> grilling, jelly. <laughs> okay, I like longing. I like longing. Let's go longing. I'm gonna zoom in a bit. Ooh. Okay, zoom in. Ah uh ha -huh. Oh, oh, 
Oh my god. Kirby890! Just gifted five tier one subs. More time on the clock. Let's go. They just gifted a tier one sub to Human Error, Jam Cupcakes, Mr. Naps, Voodoo Watermelon, and Spoomy Egg. Ah ha ha. Mmm, 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 mmm. Let's go. All right, let me draw these longing eyes. Here's how I picture longing eyes. You have to make them, first of all, very big. But also, like, really wistful. Here's how you do it. <laughs> you might want to change your title to a subathon thing. Good call. Let's go. Beetle Moses first subathon. Jesus, I can't spell. Done. Let's go. Draw yours, coward. <laughs> what was yours? Wait, hang on. Let me. Let me. Let me. Oh, hang on a sec. Okay, I gotta just fill these in. Okay, I think that's a good, like, wistful longing. <laughs> they kind of look like they're giving the thousand yard stare, but that, that's good. The gleam. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Next, give me a word to describe <laughs> the celebration. Give him a word. Give me a word to describe their nose. How should how should I draw the nose? Kubrick stare, horny, big, distinguished. Squidward, thin, wriggly, long, clown, piggly, small, <laughs> Jewish, no. Okay, distinguished is good. All right, let's go with distinguished nose. That's distinguished. That's a man's nose. It's a strong nose. See that? Looks a little like mine. <laughs> okay, next. That's a respectable nose. Next, give me a word to describe the mouth. Size, shape, are they in a mood? Puckered. Ecstatic. Dashing. Goopy. Pursed. Scrumptious. Too many teeth. Succulent. Luscious. Okay, I like this like succulent, luscious idea. I'll give them the, the smallest dimple to really like drive it home. Wow, those are beautiful, luscious lips. <laughs> what would you call this expression when they just hit you with that luscious <laughs> stare? Okay, next. Uh -huh. Oh, Starbone subscribed with Prime Gaming. They said Beeble Moses. Starbone. Starbone, so kissable. We're gonna keep the same energy, baby. I'm trying to stream for an 18 hours straight. Same energy. Okay, give me a word. They need ears. Give me a word to describe their ears. And where should they go? I feel like on the far side, right? Non-existent, mechanical, elf, bunny ears. Popping in while taking a nice long work poop. Keep him going until 6.30 for me. That's my mod. Perturbed. The tie is going to get loose by hour two. Oh, you already know it, babe. Little holes. Dingle. Gauges. 
<laughs> I kind of like gauges. Okay, let, who said that? Metal Waluigi. Ding, 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 ding. We have a winner. They're going right here. On either side. Oh, fuck. Why do I keep doing that? Hang on. Oh. Uh, no. Okay. That's awesome. Dude, they are looking so good. Bro, you already know when you go into Starbucks and the barista looks like this, that coffee is about to hit. Not on the tips. <laughs> That's how are they going to hear you? They can't be in here. They got this is how they Imagine you're like talking, you're like there's something wrong with like there's something wrong with like what the... we'll give this person a name. And they're like, what was that? <laughs> I heard you from across the room. <laughs> Do they have a hat? Well, here's the thing. They need hair. They don't need hair, but I kind of feel like we should give them some hair. So what are we feeling about the hair? An undercut? <laughs> you have to give them an undercut. Okay. Blue hair. <laughs> One hair at the tip. One hair, give them the Gen Z broccoli. Hair only on the tip, please God, bowl cut. Oof, tough call. That one zoomer cut. Okay, damn, the options are really tough. Okay, we're gonna explore a couple options here. And you tell me which one. Lord Farquaad, that's really good too. Okay. Tell me which one of these, like, really works for you guys the best. We've got one hair. You just, like, soak. Just soak it in. See if that works for you. Okay, I'm going to give you another option. We've also got the Gen Z broccoli cut as an option. Uh oh. No need, that's the one. What do we think? Broccoli cut or just one hair? Wait, add some tufts in the corners and it's golden. Single hair. All this hair is tip based, so I'm good with either. Gen Z cut broccoli. What about sideburns? The one hair spoke to me deeply. Damn, this is hard. This is a hard call. Let me just see if I can add a little bit to the to the broccoli cut. Rat tail is also funny. Well, it's not too late to add a rat tail. Do you like that? Do we like the rat tail? Have you drawn Sonic and Shadow yet? No, no, no. We're just warming up. Rat tail. Oh, that's another option. Rat tail with the one hair. What do you think of that? What do you think of that? Rat tail with the... <laughs> just tuning in. Self-portrait. What do you guys think of this one? Okay, okay. I think that. I think that is... Lock it in. Okay, lock it in. 
What are we thinking about color for the star? Are we feeling a color? That's my uncle. Don't talk shit about him. That's my uncle. Flesh color? Ugh, something about that is like the worst option. Did the... Oh, why did the music stop? It's some, somewhat concerning. Okay, what's going on? Music just decided it did not support what we were doing here. Why did the music stop? You know what? I'm not going to be concerned with that. I have no idea what's going on. Okay, let, let's just see what this looks like flesh colored. Ugh. Oh my god, there is some, that is so deeply upsetting. I swear, I had the music rolling for like two minutes and it was like, no, no more. No, we're not doing this. You dig it? This looks like my buddy Eric. Uh, technical difficulties are just so much fun, guys. It's like such a good way for me to like. Why Spotify? What the fuck? What the fuck? Let's try this. Come on, play. Play the music. I'm trying to keep this ball rolling here. All right, you know, if it decides to start up again, we'll we'll be fine. Eyebrows. Now there's not much room for eyebrows, but we we can fit it in. What what do you think about eyebrows here? What's the guy's lore? I think we'll come up with a backstory once the whole thing is through. Eugene Levy, like really thick eyebrows, penciled unibrow. I got you. Don't they just have a face you can trust? Dog, if you go in the... Let's make them a little darker. If you go in the... Starbucks and the barista doesn't look like this... You're... The coffee's trash. Okay. That's a really well-rounded... Oh, no. Oh, no, he's not. You know... Okay, well. said I, You know this MF is wearing a tank top. Here's the thing. It's time to move on to the body. So. Let's take everything we've worked with here. Okay. And let's start working. How do I... Let's see. We need a neck. Anything anything unique about the neck? Give me a give me a word to describe their neck. Yo, love your comics. What's up? First time chatter, Pagan Will, how's everyone doing? We're doing our very first subathon. Oh, which by the way, I didn't actually even <laughs> muscular. Sorry, that wins like right away. Like need a muscular neck. Okay, we have to color it in <laughs> afterwards. Girthy. Okay, by the way, I did not, I didn't fill you guys in. So there's a couple reasons we're doing the subathon today. One, this is my 50th stream. You guys were there. You guys were there for me from the jump. And even if you're a first time chatter, welcome to the family. Welcome. We, we're, this is my 50th stream, which is pretty crazy that I've been doing. I mean, I guess it's not that many, but, like, I started, I think it said on Twitch that my first ever stream was in February of this year, so, like, that was, so, pretty crazy. So, now we hit, so, we hit 50 streams. I've been doing them about once a week. I know this year's been long. Oh, thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, 50 years old. Well, that's the other ha good, good news. Some people my age don't like to hear this news, but I'm happy about it. It is my birthday on Monday. So I figured, okay, 50th stream, 
and it's my birthday coming up. So it's kind of my birthday stream. So we're doing, we're doing the thing. We're doing the whole thing. I'm like, let me do the subathon. Let me get it popping. And the primary goal, the thing that I'm trying to push for this whole thing, is get Beetle Moses a new computer. This thing, I don't even know if you can hear it on the microphone. It sounds like it's going to light on fire right now. So the countdown, okay, it 1985 just asked a good question. What is the countdown doing? So when I hopped on the stream, I had an hour and a half of time on the clock. And because it's a subathon, it means that every time somebody subscribes, uh, it will add time to the clock. So how if people keep subscribing, I'm going to keep streaming, which means I have a bunch of activities like planned. Like, I think this is so funny. We should 100% do another one of these. But also, like, we, uh, what do you call it? We have... I, we made a whole list like I you guys saw on my Instagram and Twitter I asked the audience like for ideas of things to stream we're gonna do like uh, I'm gonna use a random number generator to pick them I typed them all into a spreadsheet so I'm gonna use a random number generator to pick random ideas off of there and I'm gonna draw them as like a challenge but uh, I'm gonna just try to do as many little drawing games and just be drawing for the entire time so if you guys keep subbing Oh, and you'll also notice I I never I've never gotten a well you know I'm not I'm not you you don't have to but if you want to support me I added on my little Twitch page a button a little donation button so also if you donate like if you've already subscribed but you'd like to donate or help me out or work towards my birthday fund slash new computer fund there's a little donate button which should look like a little leaf with a caterpillar on it that's underneath the stream there you can click it and you could send you could you know tip me send send a little something my way if you love me and then what that hopefully means for the future of this stream is that once i get a new laptop i can actually bring my other artist friends onto the stream with me because right now i can't do that but i really want to do collaborative streams and bring some other people on there so that i can like actually like draw with people like i'd like to let bring bottling sunshine on here like i'd like to bring yeah i'd like to bring ina buns on here i'd like to bring yellow swag studios and you know uh, uh house of decline and alex crocus and anna laura and like all of these amazing artists who like i i've like connected with i've been really lucky to connect with over the time and also people like uh, uh -huh. like, oh my god yowlitz just gifted a tier one sub to 1985 Let's go! Time on the clock! Thank you, Yalitz. Yeah, gifted 74 subs of the channel. You're insane. Everybody give it up for everybody give it up for Yalitz. Yeah, give it up for Yalitz. Yeah, uh okay, what's going on with this freaking background music, man? Why can't it why why won't it work? Why won't it work? Uh let's try refreshing the page. I had mu I had music going at the beginning of this, and then it. I don't want to get like you know. I don't want to get like too caught up in the technical difficulties thing because we got a long stream ahead of us, and I don't want to be you know having to deal with this bull crap the whole time. So if it's gonna work, it'll work. If it's not gonna work, I'm not gonna sweat it. Okay. Let me know if the music is playing. Is it playing? It's playing. Uh -huh. Oh, Metal Waluigi is gifting a tier one sub to Jasper C3. Dude, love you. Time on the clock, baby. Let's go. Let's get this thing to three hours. Let's go. We the best music. Okay, sorry. Let's continue this task, the task at hand. Okay, now, give me something to describe. Give me a word to describe the shape of their body. What is their body type? I want this to be a 48 hour stream so bad. I do think it's it will cap out at like nine hours. I don't know if we're gonna get there because that's also like a lot of subscriptions to get there, but who knows? I, I'm ready to go for the rest of my life. Okay, swimmer, feminine, rotund, angular, star, another star, inverted Dorito, fragile, frail, Harry Dad, spaghetti. I like the Harry Dad, confident. Apple. Apple. Humble. I'm on a hike while watching this stream, that's awesome. 
planetary. Holy crap. Big chest, little waist. Dragon fruit. I'm kind of digging the planetary thing. Should I just make it like a perfect circle? Perfect planetary. I'm kind of feeling that. Let's see. Oh my god. What do we think of that? That is planetary. Gorgeous. Okay, I'm into that. Let's get let, let let let's get some arms. Let's get some arms on this character. Hot pink tank top with olive green puffer jacket. Well, let's get the arms and then we'll put some clothes on them. It's going to be difficult to put it around this uh -huh. planet. Oh! Oh my god. Hi, re uh oh. Something's going on. My computer's doing something weird right now. Hi, Res Ida subscribed at tier one for three months in advance. Dude. Hi, Res Ida. Dude, amaz I, I freaking love you. Thank you so much. You, you, you know how much I love you. That's my queen. Uh, noodly arms, baby arms, snake arms. Got the big grandma saggy slab. What does that mean? Snake arms. Okay, I'm kind of into the snake arms. I think we can get a little wacky with it. We've already got a planet body. Gotta make some room here. Okay. Yes. Okay, I'm feeling this. Long, snake-like tendrils. Bruh. Okay. <laughs> this is the average Twitter user. Saturn looking A. Okay, this is good. I'll, I'll probably put some designs on there too at a point we'll make them more snake like hands what are they doing are they holding something give me give me something about the hands are they shaped funny are they fat hands do we get to decide the occupation maybe that's maybe that will kind of help us pick the thing four loco okay four loco in one hand snake mouths and a thick burrito Sausage fingers, me hands, what do me hands look like? Making coffee, he defo has a Starbucks coffee. Barista. Okay, so. There we go. We got a Starbucks coffee in one hand. Dude, it is raining cats and dogs by me right now. Name gotta be spelled. Oh, Jorange the Fruit! Subscribed at tier one. They've subscribed for eight months. Hey, hi B, just wanna drop and say congratulations on 50 streams. Being subject has been an absolute joy. I gotta go, but I hope I can hop back in later. Dude, Jorange the Fruit. Love you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for the subs. Thank you so much for your support this whole time. You got you. Uh, some of you guys like some of your names I've just seen here since I started this whole thing, which is just incredible. So, absolutely love you guys. Uh, yo, this little dude is vibing right now. All right, what's the other one? Give me something else in the other hand. Big veiny hand squeezing Pluto, dude. Okay, let's see. A <laughs> vape. Oh, that's good too. Uh, which one should I do? 
Wizard wand. Vape. Okay, maybe they should be vaping. Squeezing food too hard. Maybe they're squeezing their vape too hard. Okay. Okay. Squeezing it like r really hard. Okay. I think we're getting somewhere. Whoops. Okay. I'm liking where this is going. Fill that in. Okay, this is looking crazy right now. Okay, I'm gonna give them, here's what I'm gonna do, just to simplify where we're at right now. I need- I'm gonna give them a t-shirt. Oh! An anonymous gifter just tiered a tier one sub to Nord Guy, Dude! Thank you, anonymous gifter! Amazing! Thank you! Let's go! More time on the clock. We're about to- we're about to break three hour mark. I'm- I'm ready. I'm feeling hype right now. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna show you guys, okay? I may- I'm taking one artistic liberty. Because I think it's going to be for the benefit. It's it's going to be for the benefit of the whole of the whole thing. I'll I'll show you guys in a second what I'm talking about. Uh, let's erase this. Okay, okay. And I'm going to give them also a T-shirt. Okay, so. I have decided to put them in a t-shirt. Oh my god, it is pouring rain outside. Now, what does the t-shirt say? I need, I need words on the shirt. Put them in jorts. Yeah, we're gonna get to the legs in a second for sure. Is the bottom half Pizza Planet truck? Hannah Montana. Okay. <laughs> okay. I think that's good. Stay Flubin. <laughs> okay. I'm into that too. I love yams. <laughs> One fear. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, can you guys hear it raining by me? Ice Spice. God is real. <laughs> oh my god. Milf shirt. I'm into that. I could be gaming. <laughs> Sex? Question mark. That's good too. Okay, here's some options. You guys stop. Stop me when when stop me when I hit it. Hang on, I should zoom out so we can see the whole picture. <laughs> I would honestly wear that. <laughs> I would wear that shirt. I like that it's a, there's a couple different like meanings behind this because it's like, it could be them like asking, they're like, they're like sex, like a proposition, but it's also like sex. Like they have <laughs> never heard, they're like, what is that? Sex, what's that? They're like, Oh, <laughs> Dapramont subscribed at tier one. They've subscribed for three months. I think the t-shirt really spoke to him. Dude, thank you. Dapramont! Five more minutes on the clock. Let's go! Does he want it? Or does he want to know about it? Truly an enigma. All right, give me a color for the shirt. Shout out a color. Somebody shout out a color. 
color. These are the colors that have already been implemented. Pink, teal, screenager, flat. Oh my god, I gotta just see what this rain looks like for a second. It is like hurricaning outside. Anyway, blurple, neon green, cream color block, light blue, macaroni yellow, salmon, doo doo brown. Also flesh. Well, here's the thing. We need to definitely color their neck flesh color. Same color as the skin is insane. That is like deeply upsetting. Pride flag shirt would go hard. That would go kind of hard. Pastel yellow. Let's uh let's roll through the color wheel here. Somebody said neon green. Let's try that neon green. I kind of like neon green, right? Oh my god, what an eyesore. What if you make it slightly darker? Let's try blurple. Somebody said blurple. The only problem with that is you can't really... Well, you can still read the... You can still read it. Sex? Periwinkle. Let's try periwinkle. Ooh, that's nice. It's kind of soft on the eyes. What if I did it to match the gauges? Ooh. Oh, now it's coming together. I kind of like that green. It's sort of like a good, like, balancing act. Oh, no, not that much. There we go. Excellent. Okay. Here's what I want to do. First of all, I got to make these arms more snake-like. It was something I wanted to revisit. So, let me add some stripes. Whoops. Uh-oh. Not the pinwheel. Oh. Hello? <laughs> Guys, here's a perfect example of why I would like to get a new computer. What the fuck is going on right now? Uh-oh. Oh, and we're back. Like, nothing happened. Okay. Hey guys, donate now! Get Beetle Moses a new computer so I can stop putting up with this bullshit. Seriously. I'm really I'm really trying to make a big push because I'm like, I'm so over using this laptop. <laughs> save. Yeah, you're right. Alright, I should save. File. Save as. What should I name him? What's the name? Him or her, or them. Should I name them? What kind of PC you want to get? Well, uh, my good friend and also a mod in the chat, Kyle, was recommending a website uh, called New Egg for like customized pre-built computers. Right now, I'm doing everything on a laptop, which sucks. Uh, I'm gonna get an actual desktop. I actually already have some monitors, which also, for some odd reason, are not compatible with my laptop. So if I can get a desktop with multiple displays, it, it just, the whole th my whole thing, I, my whole ass is gonna level up. So it's time. It's time. The end of this month. So that's why I'm partly why I'm doing this subathon thing because we're making a big push, baby. I'm ready. I'm ready for better a better streaming experience for me and for you. Okay, he looks like a solid Drew. <laughs> David McFlunk, Stark, Sodic the Hedgehog. I can't believe you're using our goodwill to fund your Funko Pop addiction. Call him Star Lord. Oh, what did I get? Oh, I just got a donation. Ina Bonds donated ten dollars. That's my first ever donation. Mm mm. Ina, Ina, Ina. Let's. Go, thank you so much. Thank you for the donation. $10, that's very good. Oh, and we broke three hours. Oh, because of the donation. Let's fucking go. Uh, in the next stream, it's like nothing about my situation has upgraded, but there's just a wall of Funko Pops behind me. And I'm like, guys, I can't even afford to feed my family, please. <laughs> Plug. Okay, we're gonna name, here's the ones Here's the name that stuck out to me. Total Andrew. Okay. 
What do you use to draw a tablet? Yes, I got this XP Pen tablet for free from XP Pen, which was actually very gracious of them. I just had to do a little plug. See that? A little plug, but it's a, li it's a, li it's a little thing. Which, it's all I'm used to, because I've never had like a big one, but I see some of these artists that have like a fucking 36 inch, <laughs> like, you know, Cintiq. And I'm like, holy shit, man, that would really upgrade my shit too. But that that's like, you know, it's like one thing at a time. Like, the, I, I'm actually happy with this XP pen tablet. It's like, it's on the, it, every once in a while it has like kind of a, you know, does some wacky shit, but it's been really good to me, so I'm happy with it. Oh, let me continue what I'm doing here. Uh, okay, do do do, adding some stripes, and then I'm gonna, we're gonna go back to the drawing board for some, some recommendations. Okay, have to add, bing, bong, 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 bing, boom. There we go, just filling them in. That one needs to be closed, I can already tell. Do, do, ah, do, 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 do. Yeah, this one I had to close. Brilliant. Simply brilliant. Oh, and now let's give them snake arms. Yeah. Let's go. Amazing. We're really cooking now. This guy's looking insane, dude. I used to have a Cintiq, but I use an iPad Pro now because the bulk was killing me. Oh yeah, and funky streamer lights. I just have my little iPad Pro. I do want a fancy tablet. Uh, um, actually be the Moses, you don't draw on the 85 inch? Uh, yeah, I mean the thing is, is that also some of that stuff is a little, like most of the stuff that I draw anyway, like you have to picture my comics and stuff are all in a, very small book so I'm used to drawing things small but sometimes with these uh, these type of projects that I'm working on it I feel like it would be a little bit nicer to have a bigger one but that's like low on my like I need to upgrade this list I'm kind of feeling like I'm probably gonna ride this one you know f for a little while because I really mostly use it for the streams and it's been working fine look at this comic that I didn't color yet today there's a guy that's like you ever hear this He's like, they say that returning your shopping cart is a test to see if you're a good person. And then he picks it up and there's an old lady and she's like, no! And then he like throws it into a school bus filled with children and explodes. And she's like, dear God, no! Anyway. So the joke is he's not a very good person. Sorry, Patreon only. <laughs> Sorry. That will be a Patreon exclusive. I like had I had way too much going on with like uh, setting up for the stream today, so like I was able to ink that, and then it completely for completely forgot to like color it or do anything else with it. So uh, that'll be on Patreon maybe later tonight, folks. But uh, definitely tomorrow I'll probably be finishing and posting that one. Uh, how much for that sketchbook? I have three mil, dude. Look at all this crap. Look at this. These are the tomes of Beetle Moses. All Beetle Moses material exists right here. And the, and now I'm on, so, so this is six books. And then this is gonna be book seven on top here. Yeah, I keep finish, I keep getting through these and then I don't know, the other part is that <laughs> I buy these at Walmart. <laughs> Broke ass. But they actually, they're, they're actually good. They're actually on like good, like, uh, it's like pretty solid paper and I kind of like being able to keep everything and, you know, like in a book like that. It's, it's helpful and, uh, proud of you. That's so awesome. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, dude, I, like I, I started, I posted my first Beetle Moses comic in like April of last year, like 2022. And I don't know what happened. I don't know if something snapped in my brain or something, but I'm like fucking like a little delusional about it now. Like I just am like literally <laughs> just constantly drawing like random stuff. And then, but then the other side of it is that if I don't have any like 
If I don't have any ideas, it's like the whole world comes crashing down. I'm like, dude, it's over. It's over. Like, all my best work is behind me. But I'm going to fill you guys in. Crazy secret that I just unlocked. Ta Somebody explain to me how this works. Okay? Somebody explain. I I'm literally, I'll be sitting down, foggy, depressed, no new ideas, no clarity, can't think about what to do. I go on a nice long walk. Dude, six new ideas. I swear to God. Literally like magic. I go on a, I go on a, like a three mile walk around my neighborhood and I'm just like, literally popping it in my head, writing in my notes. How does it work? Somebody explain. No idea. Makes no fucking sense. I don't, I literally don't do anything. I just get off my ass and walk around and come up with ideas. I did that yesterday and came home and drew the dumbest comic. It works, dude. It's actually insane. Is it because of shit you see in public? Yeah, sometimes. Yeah, sometimes something just pops in my head randomly. And then sometimes sometimes I'll see something or... Yeah, and then, like, I don't know. I'll just have I'll have my first thought. It'll be like, oh, that's interesting. And then my second thought will be like, oh, maybe there's, like, a comic here. And then it's all of a sudden, like, when you hit that, it all of a sudden is like, like, it just all, like, unfolds in front of me. And I'm like, oh, my God, that's a great idea. So, it's crazy. A literal factory reset. I don't understand how it works. But, uh, yeah, so I've started walking <laughs> a lot more. I, like, I, I recently moved, and the gym that I am fucking signed up for isn't near me out here so I am not able to like lift the way I was for like a while but I'm walking a lot which is kind of helping and actually it I feel more mental clarity after walking than I do even like if I'm working out basically so fun tip for all you artists out there if you're you know if you're not sure what what the future holds go on a go on a walk go on a walk okay let me hang on, let me see if I can just move this whole thing up. Oh my god, I forgot the <laughs> I forgot the eyebrows are detached. <laughs> this is like This is like Hey, uh could I get oat milk in my latte? Oh sorry, we don't have oat milk. What? Guys, you're not gonna believe this. I, I just got a coupon to go bowling. We can all go bowling together. Uh, actually, bowling is fucking lame. Nobody wants to do that. <laughs> we ever get a name? Yeah, we named him Total Andrew. <laughs> He's total Andrew, isn't he? And then, this is me if... Oh! Uh -huh. Gigs Live! Just subscribed with Prime Gaming Gigs Live! That's it, baby! Keep that clock going up! Keep it up! We're gonna draw 18 more of these motherfuckers! I don't even care! <laughs> okay, let me just move this up to like here. Okay, we need legs. Total Andrew is an awesome name. First stream, baby, let's go! He came in at a good time. I'm feeling good about this one. At some point, I'm realizing as I'm sitting here, at some point I'm gonna have to get a snack probably, but I don't really need, I'm, I'm not hungry right now, but I'm thinking like if we get, if these numbers keep going up, if the time keep, keeps going up, you guys are gonna watch me a little munchy munch on stream. Okay, all right guys, legs. Or before we do before we do the legs, consider. Can we give him piercings? Yeah, we're definitely gonna go over with like a bunch of like accessories. Cowboy saddle pants, that's good. I would say if you want if we're doing legs, you can think of a style of pants for them to wear. That's also an option. Oh, hi Rezina says, I gotta go eat cold ass pizza for lunch. This has been amazing, keep it up killing it. Thanks for the laughs. I, I enjoy your cold pizza. It, hopefully I'll be on here for a long time. If you want to pop back in and say hello later on, I'll probably still be here. But enjoy your pizza. Dog legs. Cowboy legs. Floating. I do like the cowboy saddle pants. 
I'm kind of into that. Oh, short shorts. Do you have a stream, a stream schedule? Yes, I do stream every Wednesday. I try to mix up the time a little bit. Usually if I'm streaming, usually I'll be streaming around like 7 p.m. But I do 7 p.m. EST, is, which is my time. But I do try to do them at different times too because I know we have a lot of European viewers that can't really like swing that because it's like 4 a.m. their time or something crazy. Uh, but yeah, I do. I, I am doing this once a week. And if, if of course, like, I'm doing it once a week right now because it's what fits into my schedule. But if the tw Twitch streaming ends up, like, right now, you guys are in here at Ground Zero, baby. You know what I mean? I'm hoping that things get, keep growing with the Twitch streams as I bring, as I get a new laptop, or new desktop, rather, and bring new guests on and stuff like that. Hopefully we can, like, make this, like, a, a thing, because I really enjoy it. It's really fun. Uh, Alright, let's go Cowboy Pants. I'm actually feeling that. I'm gonna sh keep continue them. I'm gonna let them show a little tummy though. And I have to leave room for shoes. I mean, I could also. Let's give him a big belt buckle. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to. Uh, how do I edit? Can't change canvas size. Just move it down a bit. Whoa. There we go. Cowboy pants with flip-flops. That is good. That is good. Okay, here we go. Here we go. It's like music that just started playing just scared the shit out of me. I'm actually gonna make them... And it just like stopped. What the fuck is going on? Did you guys hear that? What was that? Oh, and we're back. Really odd music. I'm just playing some royalty free shit, TBH. But I figured somebody yesterday. Oh, by the way, damn, I haven't even plugged this yet. Can you believe it? Ooh, that's swaggy. By the way, for anybody who is a first time viewer, there is a Discord. There's a Discord uh, for these streams, which is an amazing community of people, uh, and it's just begging for you to join. It's totally free. If you type exclamation point Discord in the chat, uh, it will link you. Yeah, there it is. Thank you, Hernandez. Nightbot drops a link right there. It's totally free to join. You can come in. We've been doing an Inktober uh, extravaganza all user generated ideas i'm doing like a random number picker to pick everybody's idea out of a group a shared spreadsheet everybody's idea has been getting picked day by day and we're all drawing the same drawings together uh but also usually on these streams i'm also doing an art class which we might do like an art class thing if you know while we're while we're on here at some point and that's where everybody's drawing uh, are going after the art class. Everybody who's drawing along is posting them in that Discord. It's a really cool community of like artists and just people who like to goof around and draw. Uh, so if you want to join that, we're waiting for you over there. All right, it's really really fun. Um, and there's like 300 people in there, which is kind of insane. There's like a ton of people, which is very cool. Wow, total Andrew is looking amazing. I hate to do it, sweet bee, but I gotta bounce. That's all right. If you could check back in later, please do. I'm gonna be chilling here for a little while. Let me change canvas size here real quick. Just adjust. Bring this in a bit. Bring this down. I wanna leave enough room. Yeah. Total Andrew. Okay. We need feet or shoes. Give me something about the feet. Give me something, guys. What are we doing? What kind of shoes? No feet, just flip-flops. 
big stinky bare feet sci-fi shoes with lines under them because they float that's insane sandals with socks that's good Birkenstocks okay same vein I'm feeling the sandals with socks give him some stank lines oh my god it's a possibility soap shoes from Sonic the Hedgehog that would be pretty dope Sonic shoes I could do that kind of into that it's kind of like could be a uh, my my sonic oc i'm kind of feeling that i can kind of do that off the top of my head i think dude that actually kind of goes hard yo Bruh. Dude. Two minute propaganda ad. I specifically requested Twitch play ads that are propaganda. Amazing. Okay. Now. Now is the time that we can add some accessories if you guys are think if there's anything that this guy's missing what should i add <laughs> the drip on dude the drip is absolutely insane face tat oh we could add a face tat planet earrings okay I'm into that too. What kind of face tattoo would this guy have? Give me a face tattoo. My God, something just not right about looking up close. Fate, what do you think of the face tat? Make the Gen Z haircut that I made before into facial hair? How the hell is that gonna work? <laughs> oh, let's see here. Hang on. Oh, that's just wrong. There's really nowhere to put this that look that is not like completely upsetting. I really am into that. I mean, that looks amazing. <laughs> Anchor tattoo on the ends of the star arms. Oh, that's good. Facial hair. Okay, let's see. Teardrop tattoo. Teardrop. When you say something so bad, you got to hit him with that total, total Anthony stare. Total Andrew. Total Andrew. Keep the hair. Okay, let's keep the hair. Yeah, it, it's funny. It's like, I do really like the one hair, but there's something like just fresh. Like sometimes you got to mix it up. There's something just like fresh and different about that. It really makes them look, you know, special. All right, I'll, I'm going to give them a teardrop tattoo because that implies that they've killed somebody, which is like just an interesting sort of backstory. Dude, that goes so hard. Total Alexander. Uh, he's a modern, he's a modern cool guy. He needs cool guy hair. That is true. This is like a really cool guy. You know what I'm actually thinking? The I like the implication maybe that he's been like smoking weed, like just making them like slightly red. What if they're really red? Oh, that's fucking scary. It's got to be a happy in between. Yeah. That's like that shaggy, this isn't weed look. It's like actually scary. 
<laughs> it's like gotten it's really gone awry. Dude, this guy is fucking tweaking. Let <laughs> me do the edible hit this guy. He's looking real good. Hey. <laughs> Weakest Florida man. All right. Let's do one thing. He needs a pet right here that's an animal. What kind of pet? Give me a little pet. King Cobra, Iguana, Possum, Armadillo, Alligator, ooh, Truck Balls, Alien, what is it, what are these Truck Balls, what does that mean? <laughs> Weasel, looking smart, Beetle, hey, thanks, Eduardo. Joe Biden, question mark? Oh, whoops, what did I just do? Wait. Uh-oh. Not the spinning wheel of death again. No, please. Have mercy on me. Okay, we're good. I should save. <laughs> A wide armadillo. My best friend, Joe Biden. All right, let me, let me see what I can do here. Oh. Freaking pinwheel, man. I have, uh, I'm having an, uh, an epiphany. What do you guys think of this? Not a very good Joe Biden. Uh -huh. Oh! Bugs on my wee wee! Just gifted tier five, tier one subs to the community. Let's go. Oh, dude, time on the clock, baby. Let's fucking go. Bugs on my wee wee! <laughs> and they gifted it to the Swissman, Elfique, Nick Snack, The Signal Lives On, and. Uh. A-J-E underscore JPEG. Dude, love you. Bugs on my wee wee. You, you already know how much love I got for you. Also a cold, uh, a cold Cuts patron. A Cold Cuts executive. So this dude's basically keeping me alive. Thank you. God bless you. We're, dude, we're back up, to, back over the three hour mark. Let's go. Oh, oh, oh. Keep it going, baby. All right, this is not a great Joe Biden. I'm sorry, I'm totally doing it just off the top of my dome. So please, you know, go easy on me. Looks a little bit more like Mitch McConnell than anybody. But. He's just, you know, the, 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 all that matters is that he's there for his best friend. Just pretend that looks like Joe Biden. It's the best I could do. <laughs> oh God. Hang on. Let's see. Make him a small pink creature. Little baby Joe Biden. Hang on a second. Close off that little eyebrow. Fuck. Come on now. Don't be doing me like this. What the hell? Close this little thing. 
All right, there we go. Nice. Let's see what it looks like. It looks like Mike Pence. He's like really little. They kind of look like a cute little duo, right? Come on, man. <laughs> the body is so... He's just a little guy. Alright, so this is total Andrew. And here's what we're going to do now. Now, friends, which one is the good cop? Which one do you think? Elmo Leash Backpack. Do we do, do do is there something that I'm missing from this guy or should we move on to the next drawing? We're going to we're going to draw another one of these characters. There will be we will draw something else like this cuz this is this was a I really only intended this as a warm up, but I think we actually spent the yeah, we spent the first hour drawing drawing this. I think I I'm ready a giant vape cloud. Well, okay, maybe we just do this. Like, he's just so lost in the clouds. Yep. Look at that. Oh! Sleepy Joe! Mo, what happened to you? Hang on, we're gonna fix you up. There you go. That looks good. That looks good. Good. There you go. He needs a catchphrase. His catchphrase is. society so true oh his catchphrase is clear sex <laughs> i love your art so much dude thank you I, you know i really try to like make like i, I want to make people think you know with my art like i really want to like make people look inward and like think about like society and like you know like society that's like when i when i draw i'm always thinking about society that's the difference between me and a lot of other artists is they don't think about society that much. Yeah, I want people to reflect on society. And just how, like, uh, just like, society, I can't believe how society is just like so bad. You know what I mean? A lot of people don't really look at it that way, but I'm really different in that regard is that like, I just can look at society and be like, Everyone needs to wake up, like we just live in such a society. I look at this and realize that I need to change for the better. <laughs> okay, here's what we're gonna do now. So, what do you guys think? I'm, okay, so so I have a list of drawings, which I showed at the, st I'll, I'll pull it up again. I have a list of drawings, which I pulled up at the start of the stream, stream uh, which is all ideas that were subathon requests. So in on Twitter and Instagram, I basically put out a thing that was like, uh, hey, what do you guys want to see me draw today? And between Instagram, I, I don't even know if I wrote all of them down because I think there's still some responses trickling in, but like I, I literally wrote everything down manually. So if, if it didn't make the cut, I'm, I'm sorry, but I have a ton of ideas in here. Uh, so basically I am going to go through these, but I feel like I should set a time limit for each one. Like, I'm gonna look through here. What do you guys think I should spend on each one? Or should I make it that like, I have to finish it before the next subscriber? Maybe that's the way to do it. It's probably a way to, probably a way to work this in somehow. But anyway, what I'm, th what I'm thinking is I'm gonna pull up a random number generator, okay? 
I'm going to click a random number. It'll be one through... What's the last one on here? We're going to find out. 288. And let's say... Okay, how about this? Okay, yeah, let, let's just start. Let me, let, okay, this is like half of an idea. Let's go random number generator. Hung Rouge is very good. Okay, minimum one, maximum. Oh, hang on, Google. 288. Okay, ready? Drum roll. 210. 210 is. <laughs> this porn. Sorry. Let me zoom in so you guys can see that. Uh -huh. Oh! Admiral Wonderboat, subscribe for Prime Gaming, they've subscribed for three months, let's go! Admiral Wonderboat, we are so back. Let's go, oh and dude, we're back over three hours. Let's go! LFG, let's friendly greet each other. <laughs> Band of, okay, literally the first choice, porn. Okay. Let's, uh, let's think about this here. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. Okay. Off to a good start. Gotta give them breasts. Very important part of porn. Okay. Oh, damn, he's packing. Oh, I heard another aha ha, and I looked up, and it's just like a residual aha ha. Also, when I get a new computer, for some reason, hopefully that will stop happening. I have no idea why there's more than one aha ha. Okay. Uh, okay. Here's what I'm gonna do. How can I make this slightly more... Uh Make it a mankini. Here, this okay, here here's the beautiful thing. Yeah, here here's the spin. Here's the spin. Anything can be porn. Ah. Uh -huh. Oh, Doggeroni subscribed at tier one, and we're back over. 
three, oh, five. Let's go. Doggeroni. Ah. Damn, I keep clicking that button. We are so back. It never ended. All right, that's all I'm doing for porn. I'm not getting banned on this stream. <laughs> give me something give me something new to work with. Okay, let's spin the wheel. The wheel of misfortune. 278. Come on now. You can do this to me. What the hell? Like Wow. No. What? Why can't I do this? What the hell is going on? It won't let me scroll. Please, okay. Really? Oh yeah, by the way, somebody sent, I wasn't exactly sure how to describe this picture, so I just dragged it in here. So if we get anything between 233 and 240, I'm drawing this dog. Okay. Anyway, what was the number, 278? A chameleon. Okay. Could do that. Oh, but you should make them changing colors, right? Okay, let's draw something cool. Yeah. Chameleons are cool. I give him a long ass tongue. Yeah, I'm, I'm making, eating something in a moment. Looking good. Chameleons are so crazy. Like, there's really no other living animal that looks quite like them. Like, everything about them, top to bottom, is just like bizarre. Anybody have a pet chameleon in chat? I always wanted one, but I heard they're really hard to take care of. I had a pet chameleon for one day as a kid. Turns out dumb kids are not good owners. Yeah, I've heard I've heard that. That they're just really frail really particular like they need a certain uh temperature and humidity and like all this other crap and it's like ugh, you know what guys forget it forget it just stay outside in the wild the, th the crazy part is that it just makes me wonder i'm like how the hell does animal I, I animals that are like that that just have no like robust nature at all it's like how do they survive in the wild Never made any sense to me. And then we have this guy stealing the show. numbers game what do you think of that <laughs> all right what color is the what color is this chameleon came out pretty good love them Let's color him red, pink. 
Oh, whoops. Here we go. How's that? Boop, beep, boop. Yeah. Pagan Whales has got to go to sleep. Have fun, y'all. All right. What? Ha Good night. Thank you for popping in. All right. Here's what I'm going to do. The next one that we pick, I'm going to draw it under a minute. Okay? Under a minute. So watch the clock. Say time when I've hit time. Damn, another one in two, 250. Okay, let's see. What was it? What, what was it? 254. Cowboy armadillos. Okay. Ready? Speed run. Hang on. Don't don't start the clock yet. Don't start yet. Ooh, thunder outside. Alright, ready? When the clock hits 259 exactly, I'm gonna start the drawing. Now, the only way. You can save the drawing if you want me to keep going. Is to hit sub or donate. Okay, ready? It's the only way. That's it. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is so much more stressful than I expected. I don't know what armadillos look like, TBH. How we doing? 20 seconds. Oh! Oh! Did we do it? Nine seconds. <laughs> How was that? Time. Time. How did I do? Out of ten. Rango two. <laughs> Bug you, partner. Ten out of ten. Okay. Okay, that was not actually so bad. All right, let's go back. We're gonna do another one under a minute. Okay, here we go. Ready? 168. Goku eating Whataburger. Why did I erase it? Okay, I won't erase anymore. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I won't erase it. I could I could drop not a better one than that. Okay, ready, go. Time. It's gonna be so fucking hard to do in under a minute. Oh, oh, 30 seconds. Fuck, dude. This is so hard. Ah! There's no way. 16 seconds. Oh my god, dude. Two, one, okay, time. Jesus Christ, man. How'd I do out of this one? The speedrun is hard. 
Good enough. Okay, I have another idea. I'm enjoying the requests. I have to figure <laughs> so fucking gun bestie. I have an I have an idea that you guys are gonna help me with, okay? I'm gonna write a mad lib. And then you guys are gonna help me fill in the words on the mad lib. Okay? The blank adjective. Blank animal eats a blank adjective. <laughs> blank food. Even though they are allergic. Okay, guys. I need your help with this one. I need an adjective first. Give me an adjective. Sweaty, gay, dumbass, <laughs> stinky, furious, silly, bored. All right, I'm gonna give you these options right now. Poll. Open a set of menu, create a poll. Oh. How the hell do I set up a poll? Never mind. Skibbity communist epic communist. Let's go uh Let's go sweaty. Okay. Dumbass. Put dumbass there too. The dumbass sweaty. All right, I need an animal. Give me an animal. Politician, pigeon, penguin, fish, chameleon, aardvark, pangolin, cow. These are all good. Elephant. Cock. <laughs> that is an animal. Another communist. Tapir. Axolotl. Oh, that's a good one. Prairie dog. Horseshoe crab. What animal sweats, though? I can do ax. Let's go ax. Ax. I know what that is. Axolotl. Wait a sec. Cock isn't an animal. <laughs> okay, next. Eats an adjective. We need another adjective. Remember, it's describing a food. Rancid. That's good. Another rant. Too spicy, too rancid. Stinky. Communist. <laughs> Moist. Spicy. Juicy. Bulky. Alright, let's go. Oh! Uh -huh. Last Centurion BR. Lost Centurion BR. Subscribe with Prime Gaming! They've subscribed two months, can't follow up so much of the live because of college, but always commenting on the social. Good luck tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, we're just scratching three hours again on the thing. We're right there. Uh, let's go, uh... Let's go Stinky. And now I need a food. Give me food. Come. Hummus. Ciabatta. Burrito. <laughs> food is come. Turkey leg. Another axolotl. Ramen. Oh, that's good. Slop. 
Okay. Okay. We're cooking. Pho. Oh, that's good. Communist. Ham. McDonald's salad. That's good. A stinky uh -huh. McDonald's salad. Oh! Slime main 420 subscribe to tier one and we're back over three hours. Let's get those numbers up, baby Let's go slime man Come quiet Pringles my ass Let's go uh, Finger let's I like Pringles It's a stinky Pringle. I Kind of like the McDonald's salad. That's kind of funny, too. go McDonald's salad because it's like who the fuck orders a McDonald's salad even okay so the dumbass sweaty axolotl eats a stinky McDonald's salad even though they're allergic okay we're gonna move this over here and I'm gonna draw this McDonald's salads aren't that bad. You guys tell me what you think. All right, I'm gonna zoom in slightly. Here's what we need. I'm just gonna plot. I'm just gonna plot things out real quick. Okay. So they're gonna be. This is gonna be the head. There. There. Foot. Foot. Tail. Holding a McDonald's salad. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. I'm ready. I am ready to begin. Google McDonald's salad for reference and accuracy. <laughs> uh, if I Google something right now, my computer's gonna light on fire. I can already like feel it like just vibrating. Okay, here we go. Whoops. Pinwheel! Pinwheel. Somebody help me. Lord help me. Oh no. This is a long pinwheel. Oh, we're back. <laughs> God. <laughs> okay, here we go. How we doing? So okay, looking pretty good so far. You guys hear that thunder and lightning going on behind me right now? Crazy. Do you have a fan for your laptop? Uh, no? I mean, I don't know. Actually, that's the best way to do this. Look at that. He's definitely got a stewy head. Okay. <laughs> Gotta get the golden arches on there. Crouton. Cherry tomato. Cherry tomato, crouton. Look at that.
holding a fork. What? Dude, it literally sounds like my house is about to rip out of the ground. With how much rain is going on back there right now. Oh, I forgot I have to make him sweaty. <laughs> Bro's kind of yoked. Yeah, he kind of is, actually. Yeah, let's see here. Give him an EpiPen. All right, all right. How does he? How, what, how does an EpiPen look again? It's like a little shot, isn't it? Oh my God, not this. There we go. Like that. Salad needs to be stinky. Oh, right. Here, let me let me just finish the tail. Okay, well here's what I'm gonna do. Gotta color him in first. Whoa! Now let me first get rid of that. Okay, I think we're cooking here. This all looks good. Looks good. Amazing. Amazing. Okay. Get the red. Yeah. Now we gotta get some nice leafy greens in there. And cherry tomatoes. And croutons, but it's in a nice little bowl with the golden arches. But it's got to be stankin'. It says, what up, beat Duckford says, what up, beat Subathon's looking good so far. Much love for your 50th stream. Thank you. Appreciate it. We're actually just around hitting like the time that I usually end my streams, and we still got three hours, baby. Let's go. This was a good one, though. Okay. How'd you guys feel about this uh, Mad Lib? Should I do another? Should we do another Mad Lib? Should we go back to doing the thing that we were doing at the start of the stream where we were drawing those guys? That was really funny. Or should uh -huh. I? Oh! <laughs> Cake slap, subscribe with Prime Gaming. Cake slap, thank you for the sub. Uh, I like the requests. Yeah, we can go back to the other, the other, uh, what is good? Should we look at some of the other request sheets? Let's take a look at what other people suggested. Well, this is very good. I like that. This is a great Mad Lib. Uh, the sweaty dumbass axolotl eats a stinky McDonald's salad, even though they are allergic. I would say that was really, uh, that was good. Maybe mix it up. Uh, the requests seem fun. What can I do with the request? Uh, let's see. Because uh, I have a, a, such a, it, they are great requests and they're really fun to look at, but I'm trying to think of how to make them more kind of like, what can I, how can I make it more of a challenge or more interesting for you guys to kind of watch as like an interactive thing? Four or five, uh, yeah, that, this was fun, kind of cool to have. Yeah, I, li I like doing the Mad Lib. We'll do another one of those, I think. Combine requests, blindfolded. Well, that's tough. I could do blindfolded. Or I could do, um... Use my left hand. Do it naked. <laughs> that's good. What about, uh... 
Uh, well, let's find a request first. Let me pull up a request. Okay, random number generator. 227. Wow, a lot of high numbers, it feels like. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, Trash Bin's official! Let's go! Just sub with Prime Gaming. Oh, we're back over three hours again. Mmm. Trash Bins! From the Cold Cuts family. Love you, baby. Uh, what, what was this one again? 227. Thank you, Trash Bins. I love you for all you've done for me. A realistic horse. Jesus, that's a tough in and of itself. Okay, guys, ready? Speed run realistic horse. Okay, here we go. Speed run. Wait. Uh, start, let me start over. Let me start over. Speed run. Speed run. Realistic horse. Ready? Go. Time. Looks more like a cow. Alright, let me try my best to do a realistic course. Without looking at a reference. Horses are too scary. I can't be here. I know careful Vosh might see this. I know. What are the odds that he pops in? Let's see. Feeling that. Here's what I'm thinking. Let's do another one of the, uh, I like the audience input from when we were drawing a guy again. I think we should do another one of this. Let me start with a horse here. What's the thing with horses? They're quite beautiful creatures. But they're also Quite scary. <laughs> Bosch is a friend of the pod. He is. I think we're actually, hopefully in the next couple days, we'll be recording another Minecraft stream with him. I think that's coming up soon. Uh, oops. This one, this guy just wrote, you're like a skinny Kevin Smith. All right, we're going to draw another guy. Because I had a lot more fun than I was expecting doing that first one. All right. And also because I like, I like fielding things from you guys that are watching right now. Okay, and then we'll return to the request, the request uh, sheet. We're gonna draw a guy. Give me a shape for the head. Shape for the head. Trapezoid. Good. Very good. Pillar. A Rubik's Cube. That's good. Octagon. I gotta look out my window again. Dude, what the hell? It is going crazy out there. Pumpkin, bowl, lava lamp. Maybe try a more complicated pose this time. Oh, that's, that's a good idea. I'm into that. I'm into that. Pumpkin, worm. That's good. Let's go Rubik's Cube. Or maybe just do a cube. I'll do a cube. Hang on.
Got to get it just right. Perfect. That's good. That's good. Who said the cool S? Oh, the cool S? Oh, that's funny, too. I didn't see that. Okay, okay. We'll do the cool S. <laughs> okay, we'll do the cool S. I'm definitely going to need to adjust... Canvas. Oh wait, other way, right? Good. Oh. Another pointy-headed character, but that's okay. That usually is funny. Okay, we're off to a very- that's a really good- that's a well-proportioned S. How was that? That's a cool S. Okay. Next. Eyes. Somebody give me eyes. Give me a word to describe the eyes. Ooh, what if you turn it sideways and the lines are eyes? That's pretty insane, too. That's a crazy idea. And doable. I think. How can I rotate it? Scale rotate. Ah. What do you guys think of that? Whoa. That totally knocked me on my ass. Okay, I actually like that idea, so we're gonna just do it. Okay. Okay, so all right, so wait, give me uh, give me some eyes now. What are, what are we looking at here? Hello, love the tie. Thank you, thank you very much. I had to get dressed up for my fiftieth stream. Stream anniversary. Animal Crossing Lazy Eyes? What, are that? what does that look like? Let me, let me look that up. Animal Crossing Lazy Eyes. Okay. Okay. I'm into that. Like this. I'm into that. Alright, I can do that. Let me put Do Not Disturb back on here. Butthole eyes. Alright, we're gonna go... I'm gonna go lazy. Ooh, scary. Guys, don't forget, if you're enjoying what you're watching, if you like what you see and you want to help me out, there is a donation button at the bottom of my Twitch page as well. I designed a very cute little leaf with a bug on it that says donate on it. If you want to drop a donation, it will add more time to the clock and you will also help my get me a stronger computer fund. Just putting it out there. Love you guys. Subathon! Alright, lazy eyes are in order. I'm actually going to add some, like, crow's feet under here, too. Just to make them look extra lazy. Alright, give me a nose, and also, where should the nose go? I'm thinking almost like nose here, mouth here. That's actually a pretty good character design. Or do we like, let's try it, what does this look like? Nose here, mouth here. Ooh, that looks good too. The S does already kind of look like a mouth. No nose. 
triangle nose on the top right corner like Picasso. Two mouths where the horizontal lines are. That's crazy. So like this? See what this looks like. Two like cyclops, like maybe we have two things going on at once here. And that actually makes me think almost like, hang on, this is actually kind of fresh. Yeah, now I'm actually thinking maybe this is like a different eye. Maybe this eye. She looks pretty sick. Okay, hang on. This is like going surprisingly well. All right, so let's say this one is like do. Oh, wait a sec. Do. This one is like. I actually even think I could, you know what? I can make this better. I'm not, I'm not getting all the way rid of it. I just, I mean, I did, but I just think I can make it better. Got a donation, but I didn't see what it was. Who was it? Somebody. I missed it. It's like a tattoo idea. Who was the donation? Somebody shout out their name. I, just, I literally was like looking away, and it didn't. I didn't hear the noise. Thank you, whoever it was. Thank you so much, Enrique Jumbu. Thank you for first time chatter. Space Spectrum! Space Spectrum! Thank you for the donation! And oh, we got more time on the clock, baby! Let's go! Space Spectrum! Let's go! Thank you! Thank you. What color do you think we should make this guy? Or at least the head? What are we feeling? I'm almost thinking Space Spectrum. I got you. You have always been my favorite comic artist. Oh, dude. Uh, and another three minute ad, baby. Oh, dude. Somebody, somebody gift a sub. Somebody gift a sub to them. That's so nice though. I, 
I can't believe I'm anybody's famous favorite comic artist. That is like crazy to think about. Because I'm just drawing things that I like to draw. You know what I mean? I'm having so much fun. I really am. Even on the most stressful days, I'm like way half like. I got an ad for the <laughs> Five Nights at Freddy movie. That's mad funny. I, uh, dark green. Let's see, I don't want it to be too dark because... Oh no, that looks good. Oh, that looks fresh. <laughs> Ever since you started going political, you became my favorite. That's hilarious. I really, it, it was so funny to me seeing people that were like... Or that one, just that one poster that was like... I usually like Beatles comics, but like the new political ones are just too like I just they're not they're pretty weak, and I was like, what? <laughs> I've never drawn a political comic in my life. <laughs> what does that even mean? And I was serious. Like, could you point on a diagram to what like which one you're talking about? Like, what do you mean? And I was like literally looking through like they they said it like the recent political ones and I was like looking through it and I'm like I did the cool squirrel smoking crack I did the one about Michael Jackson but maybe somebody could like there's nothing political there I was going through your recent strips trying to figure out which one could possibly be yeah I was like what the hell is this person talking about it was just really funny I, I really don't know where it came from and then I think at the time I like quote tweeted them or replied and they were just immediately they like folded immediately they were like I, I don't want to argue I'm sorry and I was like what it's when you went against G prime oh my god that was like one of the more regrettable moments of my career honestly I mean it was like whatever I just didn't think like it's not like it like I didn't even think that it gained me like any new followers or clout or anything. It was like more of a headache than it was worth. It was just so stupid. And then people like, people were like, oh, you really shouldn't be getting buddy buddy with this guy because he posted something that made it sound like we were like friend. I oh, that's how I found you? That's hilarious. Cause at the time I, I remember like I, I like posted uh, like, I, like, it has a whole backstory. I do unironically have strong squirrel opinions. <laughs> Your comic about Israel and Palestine is really funny. Yeah, I've made it honestly a like concerted point that I will not be making any commentary and not on this stream either about that situation. It's I, I it's not my place. I, I don't know I don't know enough about it and I, there's nothing I can add to the conversation that's gonna help anybody. The only thing I feel like I can do just play my part is just continue making silly comics you know we live in kind of dark times dark and scary times it feels that way sometimes so all i can do is do what i do best and try to you know make 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 you guys happy just did just a moment of re of respite from all this other bullshit that's going on right now it's all terrible but it ain't my place to to talk about it uh <laughs> beetle is team iran confirmed Sadly, I must go. Is this guy going to be posted? Yeah, I'll probably post him somewhere eventually. But um, if you want to make us happy, you should take off your shirt. <laughs> Silly comics is pretty based. Truly your comic. Oh, thank you. That's really sweet. I, uh, yeah, no, I, I mean, like, I'm, I'm kind of just messing around most of the time. You know what I mean? I, I'm drawing stuff that I just think is kind of funny. Every once in a while, I'll probably put out a comic that's, like, less funny and more, like, not so much recently, but maybe more just, like, me just drawing something that I, like, think is cool without any, like, specific punchline. But there, we, we, there, we are overrun with political posters, you know what I mean? There's just too many. There, there's too many. And most of them have the same opinion. Most of them have, like, bad opinions, you know what I mean? Like, I, if I was a political commentator, I would have bad opinions, which is why I'm not a political commentator. It's just not what I do. Okay, uh, give me something else. I need, uh, what should I, what else should I put on this guy? I'm almost feeling like he needs horns or something. Does that feel weird? Or you know what? I'm actually thinking, oh, hey. <laughs> uh, hang on. I'm having, I'm having a vision. 
I'm having a vision. Big headphones. I'm into that. The Drake's... Oh, oh, the painting. Oh, thank you, thank you. Yeah, I really need to... I really... Not, not that I need to, but I really would like to get back into paintings just because they're... They're fun. They're fun to make. They're just really time-consuming. Paint is expensive. It's a... It's a very different process, and it's not what I'm known for, you know, anymore. Like, it's not... I was posting paintings for a really long time and just never really found, you know, any like audience for it. I had people that were obviously like supportive and like my friends, like who really liked it, but you know, never, never gained like an actual audience really for it. And, uh, which is no big deal. Like it doesn't really, it like, that's okay. But then when I started posting comics, it was just like a different, uh, it was a different story, you know, people were uh, more eager or excited to see the work that I was doing that was comic related. And so now that that's what I'm known for, I'm kind of just sticking with it. But I will probably get back to, uh, you know, some paintings like in the future. But right now my grind set is on the, is on the, uh, the comic thing. Understandable. I would 100% buy prints if you got back into it. Yeah, that'd be really fun. I mean, I, a lot of them I actually also just still have the originals because I was I never wanted to sell them. Which honestly, thank God I did because the ones that I have sold, even though I'm happy, I, I do like having them in other people's houses. I'm like, I sold them for so cheap. You know what I mean? And now I'm like, I almost kind of wish I still just had them. Uh, you're the best. Oh. A CZ, you're the best. Uh, big headphones. I actually do kind of like that. Let me see. Is there something? How can I fit big headphones on here? Uh, my favorite comic is the Cat Thumb Wish. That's funny. I yeah, I, I really like that one too. I'm glad that that one did like pretty significant numbers. I felt like on social media because. Every once in a while, I'll put out a comic that I really am like, oh, this one's fucking banger. Like, I love the way this came out. And it just, like, does not resonate with my audience or for what, or I don't know. Or, like, it just doesn't do the, the sort of numbers that I want it to do. Um, but the, there, I will say, like, one thing that is just a huge pet peeve of mine when I'm with artists that I follow because... I do follow a lot of artists because I, just as much as I love drawing art, I love seeing it and seeing what other people are making. It's really fun and inspiring. And I will say one of my biggest pet peeves, and it ain't new, but it's sure as hell ain't going anywhere, is people complaining about engagement. <laughs> like, you know, not getting enough likes, not getting enough followers, like all kinds of stuff like that. And I, I really have been, like, tried to make a concerted effort. Like, I will not do that publicly if i'm really if i really was at a point where i was feeling like dude what the hell like my engagement is really bad or something like that like i might talk about it to my friends but i wouldn't there's not gonna be any point that i'm like bitching about it to to my followers or anything like that's so silly like if you're if you are a uh oh hang on let me let me actually let me do Hang on. Sorry, I'm like figuring out how I want to do this. Eh, I guess it'll still translate. If you're a big artist and you have like a sizable enough following that, first of all, that people want to follow you at all. You know what I mean? But all, but if they're also like paying for your livelihood and stuff, it's just, so, I, I just find it to be very tacky to uh, be one of these, like, you know, one of these artists that's like, hmm... My, my Fleeble Bleeble only did, you know, 200,000 likes, and last time it did... You sound like Veruca Salt, honestly. Like, just... just it, you gotta just appreciate the audience that you have, you know what I mean? I try to do that all the time. Even though I am always, like, always I'm trying to find ways to... to grow, bring more people in, you know what I mean? I never would disrespect the people who have already been following me for a long time. You know what I mean? 
They're very valuable. They're very valuable. Okay, I think I'm actually feeling this though now. I think I get how I should do it. Okay. And you guys who are here right now are very valuable. I would never look a gift horse in the mouth. Whoops. Wrong one. This could be a sick logo. Yeah, I, I don't really know. Like, I kind of, like, lost track of what I was doing exactly. But it is, I can't lie, this is looking kind of fresh. I'm, like, not even really sure where it was going. Oh, what did I do? Ah! Nope. It's because it's on another layer. Let me do this. Uh... I mean, even the, you know, even this, like doing the, the subathon, like on one way, it's to celebrate, you know, how long that this has been going on and how long I've been streaming and, you know, how like loyal of an audience it feels that I have, which is crazy. Like it definitely feels like I have, you know, a lot of the same faces showing up to a lot of my like streams and showing up in my comment section. And, like, sometimes I'll have people hit me up for some advice, which is so crazy because I don't know what the hell I'm doing. But it's, like, sometimes I'll have people, uh, you know, like, like message me or just be like, hey, do you have advice for getting started or, you know, or how to reach, like, a higher, like, like, like I want to get to, like, your level or something like that. Like, every once in a while I'll get messages like that. And I'm always just, like... You know, I really don't know. Well, if you you guys who are listening, okay, here's this is the, pretty much my blanket answer for like everybody, which is not to disrespect any of the people that are messaging me. It's just like this is the only answer that I really have is that like for one thing, you should be drawing things that you like, not what uh, not what you think is gonna get clicks. Uh -huh. Oh, a CZ. Subscribe to tier one. They subscribe for two months. I love you, baby. Time on the clock. Let's crank this bitch back up to three hours. What do you say, guys? Let's get those subs rolling in. <laughs> a Jax Heart says, "I don't catch a, I don't catch a stream, but I love your. I don't often catch a stream, but I love your Twitter post. Thank you. And let's go. A CZ. Let's go." <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Azizi. Uh, sub time, peeps. Sub time. Sub time. Sub time. Or you can hit the little donation. Did you, do you guys, do you, do you like the little drawing that I made at the bottom at the page? Do you see it? The little donate. <laughs> oh, uh -huh. dude. Yell. Holy shit. Yell it. Oh my God. Yeah. Holy crap. Time on the clock. Yeah, let's gifted 10 tier one subs to the community. Oh my God, dude. You are the freaking goat. And he gifted it to, uh -huh. oh my God, man. Gifted it to Big Cheese 900, Curb Verified, Zip Dev, Pigeon Impersonator, Greg the Frog 2, Clamator, JD Howell, Nice Account, Remy 900, Angelita Florecita. Oh my god. Yo, lit. Dude, absolute thank you. Seriously, the goat. Seriously, the goat. Look at that time on the clock, baby. I'm with you for hours. <laughs> That's all right. I could do this literally all day. That's how, this is how much time I spend drawing anyway. I didn't even really do that much drawing today in preparation. I was like, well, I really got to save myself for this. So we're going to be drawing all kinds of. Dude, we still got to, like, look at that. Look how much time we got left. We're almost to our 30 year streaming goal, dude. Let's just go forever, forever. I have work at 3.50 p.m. What time is it right now? Oh, you must be in a different time zone. 5.22, let's see how long we've been gone. Oh yeah, we've been going like two and a half hours-ish, 2.15. Um, oh, what was I gonna do? I was about to give you guys some solid advice. What have you drawn so far this stream? I'll tell you. Oh, and Callie, Callie. Uh, We've, I took some requests from the people who 
submitted requests on Twitter and Instagram, which we'll probably dip back into. I'll spend some time doing those streams or doing those drawings. And I'll probably go at a right at a slower pace because now we've got some I got time to fill, which is dope. Uh, and then we at the beginning, which was kind of what this was too, and then I sort of just took the reins on it. We were well, maybe I'll, now we'll we'll go back into what what uh, you guys were suggesting. But we were, I've been playing this game where I'm like, okay, what shape head should this character have? What, like, let's give them ears, let's give them this, let's give them that. Uh, I know now this one kind of, I was sort of just, what do you guys think? I was almost thinking about giving him like, a, like an interesting body, like a boombox body. You'll still be streaming when I get home from work, all according to plan. <laughs> That's good. I, this is what I'm thinking. I'm almost picturing like, first of all, let me, why don't I readjust the, the thing here? I'm definitely going to need a snacky snack. Man, I'm already feeling a little hungry. Is there? Okay. Excellent. Give him a twink bod. Geodude arms. I was actually thinking... I was thinking of giving him like a boombox body, but like in general, th uh oh, saving recovery information. That ain't good. What's going on? No. Oh, what am I? What's my blank? Okay, so my Clip Studio is acting crazy right now. Please do not delete my drawing. I did not save this yet. Boombox body and cassette for legs. Yeah, I was thinking of like some some type of technology that I could have. Uh, like, oh, I think we're good. Why I hate that it keeps doing that. Let me save this. File. Save it. I'm going to give you the blanket advice. Don't worry. I'm listening. Draw the infamous Beetle Moses character with your non-dominant hand. That's actually a good challenge because I have I draw the Beetle Moses character. Well, I'll show you guys. Hang on one sec. What should I name this guy? He looks like a logo for a bank in a world where everyone skateboards. That's so real. That is so real. Slamo. I like that. John. I was kind of thinking John, Jonathan. Uh, I like Slamo. Slamo. I was thinking some other type of like retro technology. Maybe a boombox is cool, but maybe it's a bit on the nose. Like something. That, what's a different type of like retro technology that I could make for his like body? Like a TV, like an old school TV or like a, uh, like an iPod or like a Game Boy Color or uh, something like that. Uh, anyway, okay, here's a thought. So basically when people ask me like, what are the, what are the things, like how can I get like, like where you're at? The answer is, I don't know. First of all, I, th I really think that things like took off and part of it might be because I really do try to engage with people. So like if people message me or comment or do anything, even from the jump, I was always pretty good about like, I, I totally felt like I just dropped the, there was a period of time when I was doing on, on social media before Beetle Moses where I wanted to foster like a mysterious thing, like act cool and mysterious and like, I'll post this and then disappear for a month and people will think I'm cool because I'm not on social media But it's like I was when I when I started the Beatles thing. I'm like, let me just drop that fucking act There's nothing about like, you know what I mean? They're, they're, like I don't have any desire to be perceived as like cool at this point It's more like let me just put out the material that I like so but what what comes into that like I do that but unintentionally what where that comes into play is that like if you guys are trying to get started or something like that, there is definitely a pervasive attitude of like, I'm gonna be cool and aloof in like the art community. That's like not, not for comic artists, but definitely for just like, a lot of the artists that I follow that are not comic artists that design streetwear, or I follow a lot of like graffiti artists that I really like, all of those guys who are very cool and, and near and dear to me and are very inspirational to me in that like, in some ways I've for, for a long time I was trying to emulate their style in my drawings like all of those guys have an aloof nature on social media and it works for them but if you're trying to do something that's more like 
you know, com- especially comics, because comics is such an engaging form of media, which is also why I talk about, like, that's why I'm here, baby, engaging with the community, or at least trying. Yeah, there you go. Uh, THC Taylor, first time chatter, what's up? Says, a squid made a... A squid made of USB and audio bottles as the audio cables as the body. That's a good. That's cool, actually. I could do that. That's a cool idea. I'm into that. Let me let me let me marinate on that for a sec. So anyway, I think part of the reason that the Beetle Moses thing, like, you know, starts it, dude, you're cool. Thanks. <laughs> I don't know about that, but. The, part of the reason the Beetle Moses thing took off in a way that my, like, paintings didn't is because, like, somebody can, you can look at a painting online, and this is not to discredit in any way, because I know how hard painting is, like, you know, you can look at a painting online and just be like, wow, that looks really cool, and you might like it, but you probably won't engage with it beyond that. Like, maybe if you want really want to go above and beyond, you'll, like, come back, <laughs> I walk away for a little bit and come back to this. Thank God you're back, baby. I'm so glad you're back in here. Uh, I, uh, I'm i getting you on this stream, by the way, Bottling Sunshine. If, if all goes well, you guys who were listening to this in the like first half, part of the reason I'm doing a subathon is because I'm trying to make like a big push to get myself a new computer because this hunk of junk just ain't cutting it anymore and I can't bring any guests on without, like, it, I can't, my computer can't handle it. But what I really w- would like to do, like moving forward, is bring some like artists who I love and who I've connected with online, including Bottling Sunshine, but also people like obviously my co-host Yolo Swag Studios or House of Decline, Alex Crocus, Anna Laura, like Admiral Wonderboat, uh, the Cyanide and Happiness guys, like Lyle Rath, like some of these guys that I've like talked to or communicated with. Like I'd love to bring some of these people on and like draw with them and work Gumshoe. You know, like some of these other characters who are like kind of like friends of the friends of the stream, friends of the podcast, friends of Beetle Moses. Like, I would love to bring those people on there, on here, and be able to like draw, you know, with like together with them on like a shared canvas and just talk about art. Because you guys hear me talk about art all the time, but I'm just one guy. Like my opinion and my not my opinion, not not my opinion. I don't know if I'm really like opinionated. It's more like my perspective is like. I'll give you a great example. Oh, Rory Blank. Here's this, yeah, that's one I forgot because I. But here, here's something that Rory just told me, and then I'll finish my other thought that I was talking about. I just started reading. Uh, I, I, you spit facts, not opinions. Drop the mic. I was messaging. You guys saw maybe on Twitter. I put out like a call for. I was asking for manga re- recommendations, which I, which I first of all, I, I think I got like 300 replies to that. All of which were really good and helpful. Uh, and then I kind of made a joke of it by saying that I got the Far Side by, like, collection by Gary Larson. But I did actually take some of those recommendations to heart. I, and I picked up uh, the first two volumes, like the little ones, the little paperback books of uh, Berserk. At, uh, because a lot of people had recommended And I was already, I, it was like on my radar because I knew that that's one of the... Uh, which, which I'm gonna call it, like one of the mangas that people point to that are like, yeah, this one's like great entry level because it's just like really good art. So I read those, I tore through those first two, like literally tore through them. I wanna say I read like, I read them both in like, like one a night and I was done. So I think actually, I think I ordered online and it may have arrived today, Berserk 3, but I already know I'm about to just like be like reading all of them. So. Berserk is amazing. I started reading it and that just shit when I was in seventh grade. Yeah. And I and I have read some other manga. Like the other one that I've read is uh, or the one that I've read a good amount of is Mob Psycho because I loved the anime so much. I literally went straight to a bookstore and bought like a lot of the uh, like a lot of the, the Mob Psycho stuff. Berserk really hurt me getting through it. It's brutal. I mean, even in the first two books already, it's like whoa but uh anyway aside from the fact that a lot of people had recommended berserk actually sort of by coincidence but also to really drive home the point that i knew it was one i should read rory blank amazing artist who i'm sure a lot of you guys are aware of comic artist super unique style really fresh he um 
he was messaging me and was like, dude, Berserk is the one. Like, you should absolutely pick it up. If, you know, I think it'll be up your alley and you're really going to like it. And it was funny because he was saying that uh, he and House of Decline had just been talking recently about how they read Berserk and that it, like, in, you know, reading that material and how detailed and how incredible the art is and the story is inspired both of them who have very different styles of course from each other but also from the book to just go harder which is real i mean that's that but what's interesting and the reason it, i even brought it up is because we have different perspectives as an artist so a lot of the times when i'm reading material or looking at art that is like to my eye way above my ability level it's beautiful and it's inspiring in thought like i'm like wow i could be drawn i could definitely like be drawing more like interesting graphic like stuff like that but that doesn't me personally that doesn't make me feel like i need to go harder or this makes me it makes me feel like i can i cannot reading berserk is like how the hell could I ever write a graphic novel? I cannot do this. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's almost at a point where it feels discouraging because of how just, like, lush and detailed. And it's, like, sometimes in Berserk, there's so much going on, especially in an action sequence. Action, action sequence. There's so much going on on the page. And it's, like, you, your eye, you, like, don't even know what to look at first. But what's interesting is that, actually, when it was time for me to write my first long form comic, which by the way, when I was talking earlier about ideas popping into your head on a walk, I came up with an idea that I really liked on a walk yesterday that I'm like, ooh, I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start drawing this for sure. Side note. But anyway, when I was, the, the thing that really inspired me to start writing my own like long form thing was reading Mob Psycho. Because for you guys who don't know, one is the pseudonym that the author goes by, who also drew and, and wrote One Punch Man. Excuse me. One Punch Man, what both One Punch Man and Mob Psycho were published as uh, web comics, and incredible, in like, unbelievable, like my favorite, like amazing story, amazing characters, amazing dialogue, like top to bottom, ten out of 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. But one, his drawing ability is actually very crude. Like he doesn't, he's not, he's not trained. I don't think he went to art school. He pretty much is, has this like fuck it attitude of art that he'll kind of just like, just get right into it and just draw and just like draw stuff that is kind of basic and simple. But he's the goat, you know what I mean? In and this and this story, the, the what's amazing about it is that the his art, even though it, it can seem a bit crude, I think it actually adds to the story. Particularly in Mob Psycho, it adds to the humor. The same way, it's a funny comparison to draw, but like Gary Larson, for example, I don't know what his background is in terms of art. I don't even know if he went to art school. I don't know. I think he's a great artist. But I don't know if he's like classically trained. I don't know if he really knows how to draw like anatomy or knew how to draw it that well. But his style is funny. Like even without a punchline, looking at the way that he draws is funny, which is something that's hard to train. I, I think some people are kind of just born with it, but but I shouldn't say that. You you you, you anybody can learn. But I think what I mean to say is that. Even drawings that are more crude, and sometimes drawings that are more crude are funnier or just have more character. It draws you in, it draws me in. And so, what the like when Rory was saying, like, oh yeah, Berserk inspired me to, to, to go way harder because I wanted to be more like that, I'm, I was thinking that's funny because reading stuff like Berserk makes me feel a, kind of inferior <laughs> as an artist. But when I was reading Mob Psycho, I was like, I mean, obviously, this guy's an amazing writer. He's the goat. I, I don't. I would love to be able to write at that level, but his art style, I think, in in some way, or at least his capability, is imitable. Like, it's not that 
he's not really drawing anything that's like totally out of my comfort zone. So it became that became a really big inspiration for me working on my long comic because it's actually encouraging to see successful artists who are somewhat remedial in their style. You know what I mean? Which ties into sort of the larger larger messaging that I like have that I am always like dipping into on these streams, which is that I'm always trying to like kind of like encourage everybody to start drawing even if you don't feel like you're you know you have the ability or the tool set so to speak to get started is that by joining the community as an artist with a limited palette first of all you will get better that's one thing but second of all you may not realize that you are inspiring other artists like me who feel more at ease it's almost like you know when like that's like an example like you know when you're at a party and, or like and like you don't really know anybody but then somebody like who's really down to earth like is doing something goofy and kind of like pulls you into like their circle of friends and they're, they're and it kind of puts you at ease like you're like oh okay i actually belong here like that is the feeling that i get when i see artists that are like at my level do you know what i mean like at, at like and i'm saying that as a way that like i'm not really like i didn't go to art school you know what i mean i've been drawing for my whole life but like basically self-taught so that's why when i see other artists like that and that's why i encourage other people because it's a it's like a it's a train that just keeps rolling and you'll bring other people on that are like oh i can draw like that like this is funny you know what i mean i can do stuff like that doggerino said doggeroni says Watching your last stream gave me that message. Giving yourself the permission to draw without worrying about the outcome is the best drawing lesson. Very true. Very true. Yeah, that is definitely something that you that you learn and you get more comfortable along the way. You know what I mean? It's almost like uh, it's like the first time doing anything. You know what I mean? It's like the like when you like you become more comfortable putting yourself as like at, like in. A, an uncomfortable place you train yourself to do that so that when you come up with an idea that's outside of your comfort zone the time the time that it takes your brain your neurons to reach each other between i'm scared because i don't know how to draw this and then fuck it we ball gets shorter like right when you start it might take like year I mean, like years for you to get over the i'm scared i don't know how to do that and then finally eventually you will, whether you like it or not, on your deathbed, you will reach the fuck it we ball. But if you decide to make that choice early and be like, fuck it, I'm going to bridge that gap. I'm going right fuck it we ball mode. You know what I mean? To train that muscle. Get it nice and tight. And then you just get, you know what I mean? And then now when I come up with an idea and I'm like, that is totally outside of my comfort zone. Fuck it we ball. Get right into it. Is it okay to use references for like basically everything you draw? Yes. What? Yes. I do. I use, I use references all the time. Uh, I, I would, I would encourage, I really encourage you not to trace anything. Cause I don't think that's not how you, you don't get better by tracing, but looking at a reference uh, is a fantastic way to, it's a fantastic way to learn how to do things. And it, it gives it its own effect. You know what I mean? Especially when I'm drawing like anatomy, like poses, somebody, referenced earlier i don't remember it might have been this easy it might have been somebody else but somebody referenced the one where the guy give, wishes that his cat has thumbs so he can dap him up and in that last panel he's dapping him up and that image of two guys dapping like you know dapping each other up i had to find that image online like i could have just drawn it off the top of my head but i think it adds to the humor and there's something silly about the fact that it looks slightly more like realistic. So, and anyway, to answer your question, yes, every artist uses references. I use references all the time, all the time. But you should also allow yourself to get to a point where it doesn't need to look exactly like the reference. You know what I mean? It should it should breathe a little bit. Love your message for aspiring artists, dude. Oh, and you know what? That reminds me of something. If you're one of these people, all right, look, safe space. I'm giving, I'm going to give you some tough love right now, but I see this all the time and it drives me up the wall. If you're one of these people that says like occasional artist or 
aspiring artist or something like that. Dude, get that word out of your bio. Just say artist. Say it. I don't care if you paint once in a fucking century. And I don't care if you... And don't, what's the aspiring? Aspiring to what? Just do it. Get the word out of your bio and do it. I'm telling I'm telling you I'm telling you if you have it I'm like I'm telling you this I love you I'm t I'm telling you this for your own good make your dreams come true I I, I cannot it makes no fucking sense to me when I see people that are like aspiring occasional artist might post art sometimes what just say artist just say it do it and it's the same thing that I was talking about earlier, where people post something that's like clearly a beautiful digital painting that it's like hyper realistic and it looks like they spent 72 hours on. And they're like, just a quick sketch. Just a quick sketch. Because they're too afraid to be like, I worked hard on this. Like, you know what I mean? Just a quick sketch. I see people do that all the time. Quick sketch. Uh, literally the most like immaculate drawing you've ever seen because they're too afraid that people are gonna be like this looks bad or their their nose looks weird or what you know what I mean and they're like it was just a sketch I have I draw occasionally on my bio Twitter but dude take that shit out of there just say I draw <laughs> is it a running joke it might be. I think some people do it earnestly, though, which is like, ugh, just... Uh. <laughs> people are so afraid to be like, I hope nobody thinks I'm being serious. Typical woke leftists want more people to identify as artists. Uh, I just want people to stand, like, just stand by your work, man. Like, if you can't even, like, an artist is such a broad term. If you can't even say that you're just an artist... Just say it. Who's gonna stop you? Who is gonna stop you? Who's gonna be like, um, excuse me, you haven't posted a drawing in over a week, and you call yourself an artist? No one's gonna say anything. No one's saying that. You know what I mean? Like, even if my bio, what's my bio right now on Twitter? It just says art teacher. Imagine how it's like, aspiring art teacher, boo. Get off the stage, boo. <laughs> Occasional aspiring art teacher. <laughs> boo. Just do it. Just say you're the. Just say it. Occasional bus driver. Occasional arsonist. <laughs> Oh, ridiculous. Uh, occasional murderer. Oh, can you shed some light on some of the lore of your main character, guys? Sure. Well, the, like the IRL lore, like how I came up with him, or are you looking for like lore in, within like the universe of like Beetle Moses and the Yolo Swag character? And like, I'm trying to think what other characters exist in that universe. <laughs> occasional... Occasional U.S. Senator within universe. Uh, well, something that I had said earlier on in the, which was like early on in the podcast, because somebody asked, somebody sent an email to our cold cuts, uh, our cold cuts email. Does he have superpowers? No, I don't think he has superpowers. I don't think he has superpowers. I think he's just a guy, but. Somebody asked a while ago, they were like, your name is Beetle Moses, but beetles do not have proboscis. See the character that's sitting next to me here? That is a butterfly thing. Like, you need to fix this. And the, it was, re and I'll reveal it to you guys who are watching right now too, that the, 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 the secret backstory is that actually under that robe, under that tunic that he wears, he's actually... A beautiful butterfly. But he goes by Beetle Moses because he's incognito for unknown reasons. It's true. And actually, it's funny. I've gotten a couple pieces of fan art, uh, which are... There are a couple pieces of fan art 
uh, that I've gotten of Beetle Moses where there is, like, you can see the butterfly wings, like, peeking out from under the thing. And I was like, yes! It's, like, deep cut lore. But now you guys know that, too. Uh, let's see. That's beautiful. Thank you. Uh, in one animation, he was glowing green. No, I mean, he's taken on various forms here and there, like, in different animations and stuff. But... He's just a guy. He's not, just like you and me. Uh, Space Spectrum says, Do you give a fuck about algorithm? I try not to think about it, but Insta fucks me every time I'm not posting constantly. Yeah. Uh, yes and no. Like, I definitely... There was a time, like, earlier on... I'm going to be drawing while I answer this question. There was a, definitely a time earlier on that I was, like, more concerned with the algorithm like more preoccupied with like oh like i really wish that instagram would do this and that and all you know and the truth is is that like i'm kind of just over it like i don't i don't first of all the algorithm is ever changing like they, they're constantly coming up with new bullshit reasons that you are not are not going to succeed you know what i mean i'm telling and i'm telling you this to encourage you I'll explain why, because usually people are saying this in a way that's like, just give up because they're not, no, I'm not telling you to give up. What I'm telling you to do is that like, even at the beginning, uh, sorry guys, I have a really annoying hangnail. That's gross. Didn't mean to do that on camera. Even at the beginning of when I was like, uh, like starting Beetle Moses, it was at a period of time where Instagram, and I think they're doing this again. I have no idea. Honestly, who gives a fuck? But they are, they're push, they were pushing reels. And so I had some, even of my, you know, peers, like contemporaries, other artists who were talking about how they needed to post more reels because they're trying to get Instagram to boost their shit. And... That is a lost fucking cause, okay? I never did that. I never got into it. I just was like, no, I don't want to post that material, so I'm not going to, basically. And if Instagram's gonna fuck me up for it, then, I mean, fine. Like, what am I, what? Well, I cannot, like, totally revolve my life as an artist, because, bruh, let me tell you, bruh. If I was... I mean, I am broke, I guess. But if I was broke, alone, you know, and you chopped off my arms and everything, I would still be an artist. Even if even if I wasn't doing it as a career, I would still be doing it. It just so happens that I'm extremely lucky that I actually, like, I was so occupied with reels that I forgot to keep it real. That's real. Uh... It just so happens that I'm extremely lucky to be able to, like, I've made a little career out of it, you know, for myself. Which has been huge for my everything. It just makes me, it makes me happy. It's not soul crushing. It actually makes me fulfilled because it's what I'm supposed to be doing. So, you know, I'm not, like, like, I, I, I wasn't, I didn't leave my old job and become a full-time artist just to be told what to do by another, like, uh, you're supposed... Okay, but you if you want to make it, you have to do it this way. No. No. I was like, I don't, I did not want, I didn't want to get into any of that shit. I was not, not interested in doing real, even though, like, yeah, animations are fun and I'd like to get into them. I'm going to do it on my terms. I didn't want to do it because I had to do it for Instagram. And guess what? I just like, uh, I, I, like my, my, some of my comics started popping off on Instagram anyway, because I was just consistent. I think it did have to do with consistency, which I've heard Instagram rewards you for posting frequently, which I do like, I'm like annoying. Like I post a lot, but I just posted shit. Like, like, you know how you fight the algorithm is you post good material. And you know, the only reason that posting, the only way that you can post good material is by posting stuff that you actually like. You know what I mean? You're trying to give a product, so to speak, if you're trying to make a business out of it. You shouldn't think of art as a product, but if you are trying to make a business out of it, it helps to think of it that way. You're trying to give a product to people that they that you would buy, that you would actually 
gets. You know what I mean? Like, even with these streams sometimes, I get self-conscious. I'm like, am I doing enough for it to be fun for people? I try to think of activities and ways to get everybody engaged. And, you know what I mean? Stuff like that. And that's how you beat the algorithm, like, so to speak. Because people will want to engage with it. You know what I mean? There were periods of time on Twitter back in its heyday, of which we are not in its heyday anymore. But there was a time on Twitter where, like, I would feel, like, slighted by the algorithm. Like, I would feel like... I would literally be like, this should have done more numbers, and I feel like it, I feel like Twitter fucked me over for whatever reason. You know what I mean? That like they want me to be posting stuff like this, and I'm not posting stuff like this, so they just decided to, you know, make it my problem. And I, and you know what? Instead of changing what I was posting to fit their needs, I was I would literally just use that as like. I am going to draw a comic that is so good and resonates with people that it's not going to fucking matter. Like, I'm... Like, fuck the algorithm. Fuck it. I'm, I'm literally going to post something that is... Like, I'm going to muscle my way to the fucking front page. You know what I mean? With mixed success. But every once in a while, when I got into that... Mi you know what I mean? Into that f m grind set... Where I'm, I was just like, you know, fuck you, Elon, fuck you, whoever. Like I'm, I'm, I'm getting a viral hit right now. I don't care what you guys say. You know what I mean? And then, and then it, sometimes it happened and sometimes it didn't. But like literally, like for example, I mean, I'm really not even yeah, Chad mindset. It's I'm not even really trying to sound like a giga Chad when I say that, but it's like because it doesn't always work out that way. But like. For example, like, I had that fucking, that Mr. Krabs comic that was, like, one of my more popular ones, like, sitting in my notes for, like, a little while, and I was like, eh, is this too weird? Is people, are people gonna think this is funny? Like, maybe this is too, like, ah, I was like, no, I was like, eh, I'm not really sure. And then, and then after, like, I, I posted something right before that Mr. Krabs one that I was, like, disappointed that it, like, didn't do well, and I was like, you know what, I'm posting this shit and I know people will like it, and then it went crazy mode. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if it's manifesting or what, but you gotta get into that mindset where you're just like, fuck it, we ball, dude. And the algorithm, it is so designed to, you know, discourage you or make you feel like you need to post more, you know, and different material because whatever you're posting isn't good enough, and you gotta just, like, tune that out. Just ignore it. So that's a very long answer to to your question, which was basically, do I care about the algorithm? What do you guys think of the body that I did here? Kind of does it does it suit the guy? Uh, any advice for people with creative aspirations battling a soulless nine to five job? Well. It's, well, it, it, I think you got to take a risk on yourself and you have to commit, you know what I mean? Even though I'm, in some ways it felt like my Beetle Moses, like first, my year one, like in Batman, <laughs> my Beetle Moses year one was like somewhat charmed in that like it just, like I got, a, I gained like a big following in a pretty short amount of time. It was not without like... I had to fucking grind. I'm still grinding. Like, I'm just drawing, like, Beetle Moses vs. Falcone. <laughs> Falcone crime family, literally. I, uh... I had to grind... Like, I... The reason I think that I grew as fast as I did was because I was treating Beetle Moses as a 9-to-5 job. Do you know what I mean? Like... I was drawing so infrequently when I was in that sort of, like, 9 to 5, like I was working retail, you know what I mean? Body looks great, what if he had a tie? Hmm, let me think about where that would go. I could make that happen. He definitely needs arms and legs, that's coming, that's coming next for sure. Uh, 
when I got out of my job, when I left the job, I was still doing... Then uh, The reason I got out and the way I was kind of like placating my family at the time was that I said that I was... And it was true, I was studying for an IT examination. And so I was studying for with a f course online. And I should make his limbs lava lamps. That's pretty fresh, I could do that. I was studying for this course online. Uh... And then simultaneously, I started posting the Beetle Moses comics and then started gaining a following for Beetle Moses. And then it was right around like I had pretty much hit something like 20,000 followers on Twitter or something, which I was like, holy shit, that's a lot because it is a lot. And then so I hit like 20,000 followers on Twitter. And then it was right around the same time that coincided. I ended up I finished the course and I took my first practice exam, flunked to the practice exam. And it was kind of a come to Moses moment but that I was like I I'm like I'm not why am I why am I working on this IT shit that is just another job that I'm not going to care about or excel at I'm not setting myself up for success which isn't to say that's the case for everybody obviously there's some people who are really good with IT and you'll make a lot of money and put yourself on a very good career path I'm not discouraging you from doing that you know what I mean but it wasn't for me it's not what I was supposed to be doing and so I was like Fuck it, I'm doing this Beetle Moses thing, man. I have this many followers. I don't want to stop now. I want to keep going, but I got to kick it into high gear. You know, all this, like, doing it, you know, now, doing it kind of as, like, mm, yeah, while I'm studying, I'm also doing art. No, I'm like, this is my job. And that's, that, that's where I think a lot of people kind of fuck up, honestly, is that they just don't, like, they don't take it seriously enough. You know, a lot of people do take it seriously, but there's a lot of people that don't lean into it as much as they need to. You know, you really need to treat it like, like I need to draw, a, I need to draw some new comics, and that's still kind of how I am. Like I'm like, I need to draw some new comics, or I won't get any new followers. And if I don't get new followers, I uh, the, the the whole train stops. Harris, will you light me on fire? Yeah, where are you at? Uh, would you ever consider adapting your artwork for a game? If so, you have a game genre you'd like to work in. North Carolina. Yeah, I think I'll actually be in North Carolina. Uh, so I could light you on fire. I'll be in North Carolina, I think, for the holidays, actually. Yeah, I could light you up. Uh, yeah, I'd love to work. I'd love to do something with a game. I mean, I'm not like... Uh, I don't know anything about game design or programming or anything like that but for show sure, dude 100 percent, i would do that i mean i like i'm also completely at a point right now where i will take any work you know what i mean i mean not that's uh, not true not any work like my schedule is packed but anything that i felt like was in like a new field like or a new you know what i mean that was related to my art and there's some stuff, honestly, that I can't totally disclose yet because it's ongoing, but there is some stuff that's very cool possibly happening soon for me, for Beetle Moses, that's, like, getting getting into some new territory. Um, what if someone made a fan game of Cold Cuts? That would be so sick. That would be extremely sick. Uh... Yeah, so anyway, yes, I would 100% like to work on it. There's so much stuff that I want to do. There's stuff that I want to do that's on like a personal, you know, level like of it, just what I'd like to achieve. Uh, how, do, how are lava lamps shaped? I'm trying to picture this shit. Yo, what up, Mr. Beetle? Above suspicion, what's happening? Oh, Beetle, you did not do yesterday's Inktober prompt, and I was excited to see it. You're so right, because I was setting up for the stream. I know, it's the first one that I actually missed, but I will, I'm, I'm going to do it. Don't worry. Don't worry. I will do it. Which, by the way, if you're in the chat right now and you are not in the Beetle Moses art class Discord, what are you doing? Get in there. It's literally free to join. All you have to do is type exclamation point Discord in the chat and Nightbot drops you a free link to join the Discord. Can you believe that? Eating Wendy's fries, hell yeah. How long have I been going for? Like doing the stream right now? 
Uh, almost three hours. Yeah, actually just about three hours. Feels like no time at all, baby. And we still got 320 left. <laughs> I'm into it. Three hours. No sign of stopping. And guys, by the way, because this is a subathon, you guys already know, if you would like to donate, support, help me out in any way, please feel free to do that. It will add more time to the clock. And you guys, if you scroll down a little bit, you'll see that I drew a nice little donate button because I didn't, I, I realized that there was not really an easy uh, way to access my uh, like donation tab. So I drew like a cute little button that people can can check out. So if you decide that you would like to help me out, you're also helping the stream. You're helping me make better content for you guys because I'm saving up for a new computer. So please support the support the kid. What do you guys think of that lava lamp arm? Should I do more like that? That came out pretty fresh. I could do one in a different color. Groovy. I'll draw another one over here. This like, this drawing kind of just like got away from me. I don't even really know. I'm kind of just like feeling it at this point. It started with just the head. And then like, yeah, just adding all this stuff. It came out, it's coming out really cool actually. I'm just like enjoying drawing this guy. Let me save it again actually. Yeah. Very fresh, very fresh. Okay, let's see here. Uh -huh. Oh, Jemins just subscribed with Prime Gaming. Let's go. Thank you. More time on the clock. Mm, 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 mm. We're streaming forever. We're streaming forever. More time on the clock, baby. I ain't even tired. I'll probably take a snack break somewhere, but not yet. Let's see here. But anyway, did I, I'm trying to think, did I answer the question that was asked of me? Uh, whoops, hang on a sec. Oh dang, you got a gifty. Hey, let's go. Uh ah -ha -ha. Oh, Brown Dog Billionaire just subbed with Prime Gaming. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, a hype trade is close. Oh my ah -ha -ha. god. Oh, let's go. Big Cheese 900 is paying forward a gift they got from Yalitz. They're gifting a tier one sub to Beetle Moses community and it went to User Monkey. Welcome to the family. Pay it forward, baby. Hype train is close. Anybody want to see a hype train? Anybody want to get a new emote? Let's see here. How's the subathon going? Dude, it's actually been really good. I thought I was going to get kind of like tired or burnt out or something, but it's been uh, really good. I'm actually having a really good time. I, it kind of like, I was a little worried at the beginning. I was like, okay, okay, I gotta have this to do, and I gotta have this. Like, we gotta, I gotta have like activities, and we do still have activities planned. But I'm also kind of just like enjoying chatting with you guys, like usual. Like, right, I think this is a nice sort of like mental break from some of the games. Being able to kind of just like fuck around and make like random characters and cool stuff, and then we'll go back to some of the other requests. In a little bit too. Got an ad for a Christian college. That's cool. All right, let's see here. Where are we looking? All right, legs. What do you guys think for legs? I, I, I everything actually up until this point has been a suggestion 
from the audience, so let's just keep riding that. I've got two lava lamps for arms. What do you think for legs? Hmm. Pogo stick legs, okay. Records for wheels, hockey sticks, those are, that's all good. That's all good. Hmm. Oh, maybe, maybe he's skateboarding? Somebody did bring up the idea that they were like skateboarding. Maybe, maybe I'll s start with that. Start with the skateboard. Buff, muscular, human legs. Alright, I'm into that. Hang on a sec. Uh, oop. Nice. Oh, and the other advice that I get, this is sort of like the unfinished thought that will never end, basically. I just looked over at the stream, that looks sick as fuck, thanks. Uh, make the skate skateboard wheels toilet paper rolls, that's pretty cool. That's a good idea. I might be able to do that. Uh, hang on, I gotta just get this just right. Trying to find a way to like. Hmm. No. That ain't it. I think I might have to make my canvas a little taller. Because I feel like I'm still running out of room. Uh, yeah, this is the thought that never ends. But the other advice that I'm always like giving, like, is just my blanket advice to, to artists that are starting out, which goes very much hand in hand with some of the other stuff that we're talking about is just to just to be like like the the art and in, in any medium in movies music all this stuff like that the prime subs go straight into the bloodstream uh at music movies visual art the ones that last stand the test of time last the longest is always honest art. And what I mean by that is art that is true true to what you want to make. You know what I mean? I think there's even something maybe to be said there that's like, oh, Space Spectrum, unfortunately I must go to work, but thank you for the advice. Keep grinding, King. Love you, baby. Have fun at work. If you get bored there or something and you need to tune in, I'll still, I'll probably still be here. I'll just be chilling. Um, uh, what was I going to say? But, oh, hang on. I kind of wanted to... Let's see if I can move this. Yeah, like over there. Sorry. I think there's even something to be said that's like, why are, why do people love like, um, or like, why is it really funny or cool to watch like, let's see like a, a child's drawing, which like in a lot of ways is like, it's not, it's not like good, right? Because a kid isn't trained. They're not really able to express like complex ideas. There's a charm to it because it's a kid that's drawing it, but I think actually that it kind of goes hand in hand with this like larger idea, which is just that, hang on a sec, wait, am I still selected here? Select, deselect, uh, which is just that like, there's no pretense to a kid's drawing. You know what I mean? They're not trying to achieve any effect. They're just trying to draw what they know or what they feel in like the simplest way possible. 
And I think that in general, like, more artists could kind of take that advice. Not trying to draw like how they feel they're drawing these, oh, this is how web comics look. This is how, you know, graffiti is supposed to look. This is how streetwear is supposed to look. This is how this is supposed to look. This is how my music is supposed to sound if I want to, you know what I mean? The ones that actually stand out and actually get a fan base are the ones that are honest to what you want to make. So, that's my other advice that I'm always kind of just like giving people is just like don't don't get distracted with with not just the I'm not even talking about the algorithm. What I'm li- really talking about is just like what other people are drawing. Like you don't want to you know every artist is going to spend a period of their career trying desperately to draw like another artist that they really like that they're trying to emulate. And you will never, ever, ever reach a point where you're like, well, I did it. You know what I mean? It's going to be permanently unfulfilling. You have to drop it. You have to drop it and you got to fucking let go and just be like, okay, I am going, I'm going to draw like me. I'm going to draw like what I am good at. You know what I mean? Drake's kids' paintings are kind of cool. Yeah, even that, yeah, for, that's a perfect example right there. You know what I mean? Kids drawing is just fearless. They just do. Yep, no thought put into it, TBH. Just draw what you think. Love watching my kiddos draw and I encourage when, it, when, it, when it talking to. Yeah, dude, it's all true. It's all true. You gotta, like, you should encourage that. You absolutely should. Let's see here. There's no reason to... try and force a certain style or a certain anything you know what i mean there's no point let me actually zoom in a bit here i have an idea i'm gonna try to translate no hang on whoops that didn't work And it's like, I didn't, I, like, the, that period of my career uh, as an artist that I felt like I was trying too hard to, like, emulate some of the other kind of artists that I liked, I still follow those artists, and I still respect them greatly, you know what I mean? Because that was, like, the type of art that I was like, damn, I want to make shit like that. But I don't think I ever did. I, 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 but you know, and at the time, I would actually kind of like be like, "This is annoying. Like, I can't draw like this guy. I want to be able to draw like this guy, and I f- can't." And he used to drive me up the wall. And now I, I, now I can look back on that stuff and be like, "Well, you know, actually, I did achieve something. Like, it does still look cool in its own regard." Even if it wasn't exactly what I had intended, it's still, you know, it looks like me trying to do that. Shark Pog. Oh, why the fuck? He's looking pretty fresh right now. I th- yeah, I think the emulation principle it applies to all creative endeavors. And you know what? There are still, like, flakes. Maybe not flakes is the right word. But, like, there are still, like, little pieces of, of those artists that are kind of, like, permanently part of my style now when I'm drawing. You know what I mean? That it, now it's, like, a weird, like, love child between what they were doing and me trying like in what I'm capable of like me trying to emulate them and now that's still in there so when I'm drawing 
people or characters or creatures or something there's like a lot of it that still bleeds over from that era of my art which is fine like now i i've just learned in general to be way less critical which actually because we haven't actually done an art class segment yet which we'll probably have time whoops we will have time for it so we probably will later on but i did want to show you guys who have been waiting long awaiting i finally drew some new beetle commandments check it out what the hell yeah what do you think of that So you guys who are new here, I always have been, I've all, I've always had the, uh, the same, like, thing. Well, this is the old one. <laughs> I have, this is the old one, if you guys want to see. I've had these Beetle Commandments sitting here forever. Which I literally drew before my very first stream, which was just because when I'm hosting it as an art class, I always read these off. Don't be too hard on yourself. Go at your own pace and try new things. It's how you get better. This is how this is the mantra that I'm always meditating on with you guys when I'm starting class. I wanted to make new ones, the Beetle Commandments, so I had this idea to actually have them written on the stone tablets, but utilize it as a bug. Now, here's the thing. A lot of people were concerned that the man from the original one giving the thumbs up was going was not going to be in the new one. But I'm actually very oh Donna Brand in the chat. I'm actually very happy to report, in fact, that the thumbs up man is he's still there. He's still with us. It might take you a second to see him. <laughs> he's still there he's always with us he's hiding but he's in plain sight <laughs> see him? you guys see him he'll always be with us he was a very important part my favorite of yours was only you can make the art you want to make. I literally taped that to my keyboard. Oh, dude, that's beautiful. It helped me greatly to push through a little graphic novel. That's amazing. You look and sound as chill as I thought you would. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. You don't th you think I look chill even in my I'm all dressed up in my tie? <laughs> Dog Dogaroni. Nobody tell Dogaroni. Nobody tell him. Uh, it's very true though. Only you can only you can make only you can make the art that you want to make and that you're going to make because the, like especially if you're doing stuff like a graphic novel or stories or things like that like that should be your driving motivating factor especially because a lot of people are very like um a lot of people are like very caught up oh, we're, we're not going to get into ai on this stream i've definitely talked about it to death but a lot of people are very like discouraged and not wanting to start and not wanting to you know whatever because of ai and all this other crap but the but the the reason you should draw above all else the uh, above all else the reason you should draw is because no one else is going to make the art that you can make if you don't do it it won't exist that period if it's honest it has to be honest i'm just afraid of being bullied dude come on why you're totally, you will not get bullied. You won't. I promise. And when you're, and when, when you're drawing and it's like, you know, I, I think like, and part of the reason that I started this Discord channel, which if, if you guys aren't in it, I know I've brought it up a couple times, but if you drop that, if somebody wants to drop that Discord link, that, uh, what do you call it? Exclamation point Discord. There's a free Beetle Moses art class discord that you can hop in where everybody's posting their drawings after we do the drawing classes but it's also a place not that community it would never happen there yeah well it wouldn't and I wouldn't allow it obviously like I wouldn't like I'm still overseeing what's going on over there but 
it's it, it, it hasn't it hasn't even been a problem like uh, like over it's funny when you actually put artists together especially ones that are like just starting out there's a lot of positivity to go around but you wouldn't know it because on social media every artist has their guard up because they're ready to they're ready to be like what 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 you gonna say something you know what i mean everybody's like that and it's like it, once you actually get everybody in a room where it's like, oh, you're an artist, I'm an artist. What kind of art do you make? Oh, I'm a painter. That's amazing. I sculpt. Oh, that's amazing. I make collage. I'm a photographer. I'm a this. I'm a that. You know what I mean? Like, it's actually like, like it's actually nice. It's actually nice. And that community is a great example of that. We had people. Somebody made a, a diorama of one of the Inktober ideas where they like the the great pumpkin has been summoned. Genius! It came out amazing. For real, everyone is so kind in the community. Yeah, it's true. It's true. Everyone's really nice, really cool. And by the way, because we're doing a subathon right now, I forgot to even mention this, but if you're subbed, there's a sub only voice chat uh, in the Discord. So there is, there is the Discord is free to join, and you can share your art and talk about it and get feedback and work with people and all kinds of stuff. Like I'm trying to establish it as like a community just to exist. That's like a positive force for artists, and it already feels that way. Like a lot of the times, it's like. You know, even if I'm not in it, like, people don't, people are going, people are just talking. People are just, like, talking about art and doing different stuff. And there, there are still, like, different ideas. I think there's, like, been some good conversations in there, too. Particularly about AI. Because there's a way to discuss AI in, like, a calm, polite manner that's not being rude to artists. That is really interesting. Nice new commandments are, thank you. Trashmans, do you see the thumbs up, man? He's still there. He's still there. Uh, above suspicion. Do you have any advice for people with absolutely no art experience who want to try drawing? There is, there is no try. There is only do. And let me tell you something. I'm going to tell you this straight up, and it probably won't even come across as like a nice thing to say, but whatever. Some of my favorite art, some of my favorite artists, and even people who are in the Discord community, some of my favorite drawings to see are the people who are like clearly at the beginning you know what I mean their style is like slightly more like it's it's like pure <laughs> I can't like that's a nice way to put it because what ends up happening is that actually you'll realize this on your okay the, my, my advice is just to start just start start drawing things you actually like but also don't get yeah unrefined that's great it's like a natural wine. It's unfiltered, unpasteurized. Just start and don't get too hung up on drawing a specific thing. I think that you'll you'll you're going to find that you'll progress a lot faster by trying new things. That's how you get better. If you want here, advice with people for people with absolutely no art experience, let's go through these commandments together. Ready? People who have been here for every stream, you already know. First timers, I'm going to go through it right now. Number one, don't be too hard on yourself. Do not be too hard on yourself. If you have an idea, do it. Do it. There's no reason, especially if you're not getting paid and you're not getting graded and you know the future of the planet is not reliant on it, who cares? If it comes out and it doesn't come out how you want it to come out, good. You should look at it closely and figure out, okay, why did, why did this not come out right? Or use the community. That's what it's for. That's what I'm trying to have this community for too. If you're stuck, if you're in a, a rut, an artistic spot, and you're like, I, I, like I cannot get over this hill, post it in the community. People will tell you. You know what I mean? People will tell you what, like, what, what, what they think you should do. You know what I mean? But you got to just start, and you can't be afraid of getting bullied or anything like that. Just start, because it's it, you, it, you be you drawing will make you feel more productive don't do it for clicks don't do it for posting don't do it to get likes do it because no one can create the art that you can create if it's honest if you're making art that is honest to yourself only you can make it and if you don't make it it won't exist do it because you want to do it that's real okay number two is go at your own pace all right I, I was I, I'm drawing more right now as, because I'm a full-time artist than I have for the rest of my life combined in the last year I spent more hours drawing 
easily than the rest of my life combined. Easily. I was drawing every single day. But that's the that's that's my pace. You know what I mean? There are artists that work way longer or slower or they just, you know, they spend more time with it or they need more time to like decompress after like a really intense or long piece. You know what I mean? There's no do not let the algorithm or social media or any of that bullshit tell you how frequently you need to be posting or working on something. You know what I mean? Work on it for yourself. You'll know when you're ready to move on to the next piece. But also, don't sit in a rut too long. Sometimes, sometimes I think people also spend too long. Sometimes I even get this. Too long sitting an idea like, mm, it has to be perfect before I start it. No, just do it. Do it. Go at your own pace, but don't let, don't inhibit yourself. There's a balance. Okay, and then try new things. That's how you get better. That, like I was just saying, it, you know, if you start drawing and the first thing you draw is a monkey, and you're like, this is it. I'm gonna be the monkey guy. I know how to draw monkeys. That's it. Okay, that's fine. You probably make a career out of it. Maybe. You know what I mean? If people really like your monkeys, then you know, really only need to know how to do one thing. But if you want to become a better artist and you want to feel more productive and feel more encouraged to like make things that are outside of your comfort zone you got to just be ready to try new things so if you have an idea and you're like okay i've only ever drawn monkeys but now i really want to draw a portrait of elton john but i've never done that before just do it do it try a new medium you can be the monkey guy donna brand you especially could be the monkey guy you could be anything you want to be I've said it before, but people have really said kind stuff about my art that has improved my art and made me glad I had I made somebody smile with my art. Yeah, dude, main game boy, goat in the community right there, goat Beetle Moses Discord patron member. Amazing stuff, and we have another one. I don't know if they're in the chat right now, but we have another artist in there, Bingus as well, who for Inktober has committed that they're drawing like a page every day of this comic that they're working on. And it's like really silly and off the wall and you can tell they're not obeying any rules or you know what I mean? They're not spending too much time overcooking it or worrying about like certain things they're getting. They have an idea and they're putting that art on paper. And the Bingus comic is like good. It's like really good. I'm like, dude, this is really good. And I actually mentioned it because the... It, oh my goat thank you all oh, the bingus comic. yeah the bingus comic is so good and it's so good and it's it's like kind of a spoof or a parody of this of skin and and i messaged kyle edward ball and i was like dude i need to send you this comic when we get the when when bingus has it all compiled into one place i'm gonna send it to kyle edward ball i was telling him about it i'm like dude there is somebody in my discord that is drawing a like kind of like a silly furry gay couple or like, that's it, that's like, they get skin ranked so it's like a spoof on the movie, but it's like, kind of like, cute and funny, and I'm like, it's so good, and it's all inspired by the movie, and Kyle was like, that's so sick, and I was like, I'm gonna try to get it compiled, because I want to be able to send it to you, but it's like, good, like, it wouldn't exist, it would not exist, uh -huh. oh, I'm only the lamp, I'm only the, I'm, I'm the only lamp. I'm the only lamp. <laughs> That's such a funny name. Subscribe with Prime Gaming. I'm the. Let's get that clock. Let's get it up to five hours, guys. Subscribe, subscribe. <laughs> and donate. I got the donate button down there too. If you want to donate, if you want to help your boy, you can click donate. It's down there. Little leaf. Do you guys see the drawing that I made? I actually spent some time on it. I wanted to make it look good. I'm the only lamp. Uh, Trashman says I got really burned out wanting to chase the algorithm. Definitely want to start again, but just for fun at my own pace. Yeah, don't get burnt out on the algorithm. It's a fugazi. It's like it doesn't, there's literally no reason to be chasing that dragon. You know, it's easy for me to say because like the algorithm on Instagram was rewarding me for a period of time, which kind of helped me like get to a certain point. But it's just, it, it's, it's, it, I'm telling you, it's pointless. It gets to a point where you're just, there's no need. And I was doing shit before Beetle Moses that I was like, uh, you know, post with my paintings. I was doing the shit where I was like paying Instagram, like, can you boost this post? And paying like $20 to try to boost it. And I got like a couple followers from it. You know what I mean? None of that shit mattered. It, 
all that happened was once I started posting the comics, it started clicking because people people share stuff if they want, you know, if they want. You can't force people to share stuff. You can't force it, but you can make stuff that people want to share. You know what I mean? There's a balance. And people will want to share it if it's unique, if it's funny, if it's honest, if it looks cool, you know? Just do it. Donna Burns says, wow, imagine your parody comic being seen by the director, the director of the movie you're parodying. That's awesome. Yeah, I mean, dude, it's really good in its own right. I mean, it's a really funny comic. And Skin America is one of those things that's like, it is in its own way very ripe for parody because it's very like experimental and dark and weird and unique. So it's like, there's a lot that you can latch on to to like kind of turn it into something different. And I think it's funny to watch Bingus in the chat who's kind of doing it from my perspective and just like a very like pure untrained format, just like, you know, but, but just pushing themselves to just make it. And it's really good. It's like, it, it's awesome. Um, you guys have never seen Skin and Marink. It's not for everybody. You should see it. If you're a movie fan, you should see it because it's very unique. It's in the unique experience, but it's not for everybody. It's a little like wacky. Main Game Boy, and again on the community, I, I got legit fan art of my OCs, which I find legit insane that I've gotten fan art by legit amazing artists. All of you are amazing. Uh, yeah, that that is awesome. Getting fan art feels so, so, so good, dude. Uh, oh, you watched the first 40 minutes before the stream started? There is a scene in that movie that I believe is like the scariest horror movie scene that I've watched in the last like, 10 years i don't want to spoil anything but it's also like really like it, it it's dry like there is not it a lot of it is just looking at the dark you know looking at nothing and if you're into it it's really it really builds up the tension and if you're not into it not gonna like it but it's good all right let me think i gotta i gotta come up with some some cool I'm almost feeling just some like How are we doing? Just got back. What is happening? All right, I am I'm I'm going to I'm finishing this drawing because I've been at it for a while and I want to do something that actually is more like engaging to you guys who are watching right now even though we've just been chatting. Oh, and my other advice that I always tell people who are like starting out and trying to like really trying to build an audience is the people that are following you from the beginning are like, you need to cherish those people basically. Like those are the people that are going to ride the elevator with you all the way up you know, if you let them. But you ha you can't, like, that's kind of what I was saying before, is, like, I think there's a lot of artists that, for some reason, tend to, like, look a gift horse in the mouth. Like, they'll not really appreciate that they have already, like, a very big supportive fan base. And they'll be so preoccupied with the algorithm and, you know, and all this other crap. And it's like, dude, what, you know, how do you think your actual fans feel? How do you think they feel? If all you're doing is bitching and moaning that you don't get enough likes and stuff, they're probably feeling like, dude, well, you know, what about me? I've been following you this whole time. You're not going to, like, show me some love or... That's what I'm saying. Is I would just never, I would never do that. Like that's why I really try to make it a point to not complain about the algorithm, not be like, mm, my last comic didn't really get that many likes. Like, dude, first of all, I'm sorry, tough love, but baby, nobody cares. No, nobody, none of your followers care. Nobody wants to hear that. And if anything, you're just kind of you're probably taking a risk that you're pissing them off because they're like, well, buddy, you know, I'm trying to support you and help you out and all you do is complain that you don't get enough likes so how is that supposed to make me feel 
You have to be you, you have to be grateful and I'm I am very grateful. I'm grateful to all of you guys that are watching right now. You listener at home. It's true though. What would I be doing? Well, I'd be sitting here with my thumb up my ass probably. What do you guys think of those hairy legs? Are those toe beans? Yo, bottling sunshine. <laughs> like, just make what you want to make and your people will come. Okay, here, bottling sunshine. I got a question for you. Okay, here, here, this is, these are the type of questions that I want to ask. And when, when, I, when I get a new computer and I bring you onto my stream, I'm going to ask you this question again. But I think it's a good question to ask artists because I like talking about, well, everybody likes talking about themselves. So you always want to ask people, you, you know what, guys? I'll tell you something real quick. Uh, you want to make friends and influence people? You have to ask people questions about themselves because they love they love talking about themselves. I'm telling you right now, if you're having trouble making friends, ask questions. Be nice, don't pry, but you gotta ask questions. Anyway, bottling sunshine, I have a question for you. <laughs> but a genuine question. What the uh, when you think of one of the earliest drawings or earliest pieces of art that you made maybe not the earliest not necessarily the first but just like a really like an early piece like a childhood is there a drawing that comes to mind or a piece of art that you worked on that comes to mind from one of your like first and i don't mean like macaroni art i mean like one of your first like something you were what do you what do you think yeah, tell me what it is, and then I'm going to ask you another question. Above Suspicion says, There are a lot of people I follow on Twitter who just chase that follower number. Yeah, dude, like, yeah, it's just like, I don't even have time. I've unfollowed a lot of people who do stuff like that. What do you think of this? I think this guy looks pretty good, huh? I'm gonna save it. Still taking requests? Yes. Uh oh, I just clicked save and now my computer's going crazy. I might have to close out of some of the, I have like a few tabs open here. All right, that one's saved. Okay, let me close that. Everybody take a good look at Slamo. He came out really good. I definitely am gonna post that somewhere. I like the way that he came out. Yeah, I'm gonna take some. Well, here, why don't we do a request from the audience? <laughs> this one's good too. Okay, total Andrew. <laughs> That's the first thing that we worked on. Okay, Dappermont said I used to draw a lot of Mortal Kombat characters. Uh -huh. Oh, when I was a kid, because I thought ninjas were the coolest thing ever. Based. Post not clarity said I love you, baby. I love you. They subscribed with Prime Gaming for two months. Let's go! Time on the clock, baby. Let's get a hype train going. Let's get those subs going. Come on, baby. Have you told your friends that I'm live? Tell them, tell them I'm live. Get some new faces in here. Tell them to get, stop watching fucking 90 Day Fiance. Start watching Beetle Moses instead. <laughs> the Beatles as Beatles? Okay, I, I can do that. Thank you, Post Not Clarity. And Dapper Mod. I, I, I appreciate the answer to the question. Let me ask you a follow-up question to that while we're also waiting for Bottling Sunshine's response. I can tell she's typing something very long. I can tell her typing something very long. Uh, oh, am I going to do a draw along today? Yeah, we still got three hours on the clock. We'll definitely do a draw along today. Uh, okay, let's try the Beatles as Beatles. Let me close that. I got to close out of some of these here. Yes, yeah, save... Hang on. I think it's my computer is just starting to go slow because I have too many CSP tabs open here. Let me ask you a question, Dappermont. Do you feel that the work, the material that you made as a kid is in any way still reflected in the work that you make today? <laughs> this is the first drawing. This is the drawing that I did to kick off the stream. What the hell is this? Am I going to be posting these anywhere? Yes. Probably not this one. I could redraw that. That one came out kind of good. I'll probably save that. 
Okay, let's make a new one. File new. Oh, here. Okay, here's a good good response. Bottling sunshine. It's not very sweet or poetic. It was a naked picture of Kagome from the show Inuyasha. I was in seventh grade and it was pretty tame. Her titties were covered in shit because I was nervous about someone finding it. My mom did find it. It was the first time I felt I did anatomy right and I actually captured someone likenesses. Dude, that's a great answer. A naked picture of Kagome. Wait. I don't know what that looks like, but I'm a little bit afraid to Google. Let's see real quick here. Hang on. Uh, Kagome? From Inuyasha. Sorry, I'm like literally, I don't know. Oh, here we go. Oh, you drew a nude picture of this character? That's awesome in seventh grade. Well, here, it's totally safe for work, but this is the picture. Dude. Can't lie, I wouldn't mind seeing that photo. Yo, she's 15. No! <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> it's hilarious. I was in seventh grade. She's yeah, she's 15. That is ridiculous. I don't know anything about this show. She looks like Sailor Moon. Oh, yeah, it says middle school student. No! <laughs> so oh, God, that shit's ridiculous. Anime is like a little too like they, they they get a little bit too crazy with that. Showed it to my friends and they said I could be an artist. Okay, so let me ask you something. Bottling sunshine. Do you feel like that like that drawing still re is reflected in your work today? I mean, I could I could see absolutely like you still draw absolutely like the female form a lot. You do a lot of anatomy. I could see it. I mean, if I had to kind of, like, look at a distance, but, like... Do you still... Do you, like... Do you think it's funny to look back on some of those, like, early drawings and be like, Oh. This was, like... This, this was, like, kind of, like, an early... It's funny how certain things like that... Like, your first artwork before you even really know... You have, like, a sense of what you like. Oh, Yellow Swag Studios in the chat. Let's go! <laughs> it's interesting to see those, like... It's still... Like, even as a kid... It's like, you, your, your taste is, like... In, it's, like, ingrained. You're, like, born with it. It's weird. Big dog coming through. Bottling Sunshine said... It's reflective in the fact that I captured a moment of vulnerability and tenderness. She was sitting, just sitting in a hot spring looking at her reflection. Wow, I actually does sound like a very good drawing. Especially a very bold drawing for a 7th grader to take on if you didn't know, uh, like exactly what you were doing at the time. Very cool. YOLO swag in the chat. Yo, snap. Is that executive Patreon Yowlets? Yup. Yup. How do I sub, big cheese? YOLO swags in the chat. All right. We, oh, Yowlitz just gave the uh -huh. two sub. Dude, Yowlitz is like sugar daddying this whole chat. <laughs> Let's go. Dude, chat is stacked. Based. Let's go. Uh, regular dragon said I left work early to catch the stream, but the power was out and I just came back on. It's alright, look, baby, we still got three hours on the clock. And we just added some more time to the clock, because Yalit's got, got Yellow Swag Studios. Got pockets like a fucking clown. I, I, this is a great, this is a great stream. I mean, like, honestly, what I'm doing right now, just talking, is what I'm usually doing for, like, most of the other stream. But now it's fun, because I feel like I could just, you know... You know, oh, check it out. Yellow Swag dropping the Patreon in there, too. Anything you want to do to support the kid, all right? Anything you want to do, you can subscribe. Subscribe. Look, guys, I've, I've said it a hundred times. I'm trying to get a new fucking computer, all right? I need a new computer. Once I get a new computer, you'll watch, you'll see me and Yellow Swag on the same stream. How, how fun does that sound? We play, playing video games together, drawing, talking shit, all kinds of shit. Oh, Bottling Sunshine, have a good stream. I gotta go to D&D. Thank you so much for dropping in. Have so much fun. Have so much fun. Uh, 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 thank you so much for, for coming in here. 
And everybody, if you're not following Bottling Sunshine, they're an incredible artist. Yeah, if you're if you're not a Cold Cuts patron, what are you doing? You're only getting like you're not even getting most of the uh, uh -ha -ha. material. Oh, <laughs> Bottling Sunshine gifted another tier one sub to the community. They've gifted two subs in the channel, and this one is going to P zero underscore B B one I T. Trash bins. Get this man a computer. <laughs> Make this cane a citizen. We, dude, I don't know if anybody has watched the. <laughs> we just did the Kyle Edward Ball. This it was his second appearance on the Cold Cuts, uh, uh, on on a Cold Cuts episode, which was amazing. He's so fresh and like really really cool. But he uh, he came on it for a second time and every time we do a second interview with someone it's always better than the first because we were warmed up we're getting into the nitty-gritty and he revealed to us that he's not only a patron of the he's in the discord he's not just a patron for cold cuts he's listened to every episode of the podcast which blew my mind i was like dude what he's a super fan mega fan of cold cuts when's the second trade the explainer episode well uh, he, we said we wanted to do it when he did a face reveal, which was supposed to happen after he hit a million subs. And he did hit a million subs, but I don't think he's done a face reveal yet. So, soon, but I don't know. I don't know what's going on. But anyway, so, while we had Kyle Edward Ball on, he was saying that one of the, like, one of the moments that made him laugh out loud on, like, one, on an old... Uh -huh. Oh! Duck Verth! Subscribed at tier one. They've subscribed for three months. And he said, loving the stream. Happy to see the subathon jamming and your positive vibes. Dude, I love you, baby. I love you. Thank you so much for the support. Subathon's been amazing. I'm ready to just keep this party rolling, baby. Just keep it going. I'm ready to be up all night doing this shit. This is awesome. The twink must reveal himself eventually. He's shown basically everything else. <laughs> Oh, God. Oh, but anyway, Kyle Edward Ball was like, he said one of the funny moments is that we were talking about Citizen Kane in like an early episode. I Or I think it was like with House of Decline and House was like, I love the part in Citizen Kane. And I think Zach was like, or, or like, or he was like, I love the uh, fame. What's that famous quote from Citizen Kane? And I was like, make this Kane a citizen. <laughs> Like, oh god, it's like stupidest jokes that make me laugh like that. It's so funny. What was the request from the audience here? House is one of the best guests. Dude, he's the fucking man. I started listening to his podcast a bit too. Uh, which is crazy because he does them solo. I mean, I guess it's what I'm doing now, but I at least have like the, the chat to like I can talk to you guys. But it's fucking hard to talk alone. And the fact that he does it all the time is pretty insane. How do you gift someone a sub? Somebody, I, I, I don't even know, honestly. Oh, the Beatles as Beatles. Okay. Okay. Here's how we're going to do it. Here is the drum. Well, let me, let me, let me start with this. One guy on the drums here. Another guy. And two more guys. I gotta just, you know, lay it out for, for my own, just see what I'm doing. Okay. Oh, YOLO Swag Studios is paying forward a gift they got from Yalitz to Bread Zero. And he gifted a tier one sub to Bread Zero. They've gifted three subs. Let's go. Oh, he missed the sub trade countdown. Oh, trust me, dude, in the chat. That's my brother. <laughs> it's a mod. Uh -huh. Oh, did something happen? Why did that show up so late? I saw it in chat, and then it showed up on screen like a full 40 seconds later. Give us hungry. Okay, let me let me let me draw the Beatles first. The Beatles as Beatles. <laughs> Why is it so quiet? Eduardo is always trying to get me to turn up the volume. 
Oh god. Okay. So this is how we're gonna do it. We're drawing the Beatles as Beatles, ladies and gentlemen. I'm trying to think what I should have for a snack. Okay, good, good. We're getting somewhere. Okay. You gotta give them, like, the little mandibles. But then the, the most important part is that you have to give them hair. Gotta, oh, I heard a late aha ha, but there was not a sub. <laughs> Gotta give him the mop top. Okay. Okay. We're cooking. The. <laughs> The aha ha is inside the house. <laughs> I didn't hear. Oh, uh, God. No. No. Nice. Nice. Okay. Eduardo, I think you might have deafism. <laughs> That's what somebody in the chat said. Uh, okay. Beetle one complete. I gotta color that Rickenbacker though. Nice. First beetle. <laughs> Egg is based. Okay. Next. They I ha had the fucking Pentagon. Oh Jesus. Alright, here we go. Uh this guy is gonna be playing. Oh, Paul McCartney has that wacky bass. Can I submit an audience request? Yes, you can. This was an audience request. I'm kind of just doing it this off the dome. Because I don't really know how the base is shaped. But I know he has it like really weird. It almost looks like a... Like a violin shape. You guys know what I'm talking about? Beatles fans. Anybody, any Beatle heads in the chat? Well, besides the obvious, of course. <laughs> okay. Bring this here. Okay. We're getting somewhere. That should be on the other side, I think. <laughs> yeah, Abbey Road and Let It Be are my personal faves. Those are classics. Classics. Beetle Moses, how old are you, brother? Take a wild guess. What do I look like? You can get a. I'll give you a full 360. Look, by the way, I'm wearing sweatpants under here. Full 360. Sixty-nine. Ding, 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 ding. Twenty-seven. Close. Very close. 
Very close. I am. I'm 28. 28. But have to report. It is my birthday on Monday, and I'm turning 29, which is insane. It's not not 30 yet. But I'm old. Ish. Honestly, like I like I don't even mind it. I'm I, like I there there still is like a period of time like I was kicking myself for starting the Beetle Moses thing so late, which I still wish I started earlier. But I probably did save myself from so much cringe. by not posting sooner or by you know what I mean oh you know what else this needs they need little antennas b-day gonna go crazy well hopefully if all goes well with the subscribe if I get like you know the subathon is popping off and you know I don't know maybe on my birthday I'll also just be like please buy prints from me or something like that if I can just crowdsource a little bit plus what I've already got saved up I'm getting a new computer this month no question no question I'm so glad I didn't make content when I was in my teenage years I was so cringe I was I mean I don't think I ever had like a phase that was like really like so cringe it's like unbearable but definitely definitely avoided some you know unfunny you know like lame comics and shit like that it took me a while to even figure out that comics were like the thing that I should be doing Okay. Nice. I already asked this, but what <laughs> liar? You gotta put a sub meter overlay that shows how many subs till new computer. That might that seems to be the sub drive meta. Hmm. I'm not sure how to do that. I mean, I do know, well, is there a way to just see how many subs I've gotten so far this stream? That probably would help. That probably would help. It would be cool to hit that point. New PC countdown. Sub countdown would make this go nuts. Well, is it something I can add live? Let's see, I probably can. Let's go to... Hmm. Bear with me, guys. Let's take a look. Let's go to Streamlabs. Now, here's the thing. If I pull up... Okay, I'm pulling up Streamlabs here. Log in here. Hit dismiss. Dashboard. Here's the thing. The computers that I'm looking at right now are in the neighborhood... Yeah, am I going to be doing any gaming uh, on this new bad boy? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, my, my, I'm trying to get towards... I know, sorry, I'm like lagging right now. Oh my god, it's loading so fucking slow. I'm trying to hit like eight... It's 800 bucks probably is like the neighborhood that my new computer will be at. Okay, so... Let's see, follows 33, okay, woo. All right, alert box, tip. Where would this be? Somebody help me out. All widgets. How do I do, I need to do sub, what is it, a sub counter? <laughs> Probably could have been doing this. I didn't think of this. Sub counter. I see viewer count, follower count, uh, 
Sub goal. Yeah, okay, here we go. Don't have time to watch a tutorial. I'm gonna figure it out myself. Oh! Okay, new beetle computer. Wait, no. New computer for beetle. So let's let's crunch some numbers here. It looks like we've already done, how many subs do I already have here? Let's see, subscriber goal. Hang on a sec. Hang on. <laughs> Stay with me guys, bear with me, please, all right? What genre are the bugs playing? Uh, well, they're playing like, you know, some classic rock, basically. All right, let's look at my dashboard. Today is October 11th, and it looks like the subs, how many subs did we get today? How can I count them? Oh, wow, holy shit, we've already done 55 subs. Oh my god, that's amazing, guys. 55? That's amazing. Okay, so let's say, let me crunch some numbers real quick. Got an $800 computer. Bear with me, bear with me. Hold the phone, hold the fort. Let's say we're trying to hit 100. Let's say that's solid, and I'll punch in the ones that we've already got. 55. Gonna try to make the big push here. And it's gonna end after 10 tomorrow, basically. Okay, month, day, oh, and 2023. Sorry, hang on, okay, start goal. Goal saved. Now where do, oh, now let me copy widget, okay, okay. Copy widget URL. <laughs> okay. Still here. Don't forget the Twitch tax. That's alright. That's alright. I think I think we're at a good spot here. Watch a man do maths on live stream. <laughs> oh god. Okay, when this would be a browser. Sub goal. Here we go, baby. Can you see it? Is there anything here? It's totally blank. I added it and there's nothing here. OBS, my can you see it? Oh, wait, you can see it. There's a sub goal. Okay, it's there. So we're a little over halfway. Let's go! Okay, great. How's that? We got them. You guys. Let's go! Let's go. This, every time I actually figure out how to do one of these freaking OBS. <laughs> is it hard? Is it really hard to read? How do I edit it? Oh, maybe I just put it somewhere. Is it easier to read up here? That's like here? Fuck. How do I edit it? <laughs> oh god okay let's see why don't we try is there how do i just change the thing sample goal no it's all white text okay we're gonna make do 
How about this? How about this? Where can I put it that's like more... Yeah, it is white on white. Fuck. Fine on top. I feel like, can people see it? Add. Oh boy. There's no way to edit it, huh? Custom body. Mmm, background color. No. Oh! Ha <laughs> ha! Yowlitz gifted a tier one sub to main Game Boy. All right, you know what we're gonna do here? Yowlitz, absolute legend in the chat. Yowlitz, Yowlitz, Yowlitz. Here's what I'm just gonna do. Let's just do this. There we go. How about that? I'm taking matters into my own hands. I mean, dude, if I hit this sub goal, I'll be streaming for the rest of my life, basically. How's that? It is a drawing stream. Now I need to be live for 47 hours. I will never quit. All right, here we go. Okay. Let's go, baby. It ha I have been cursed. Is it working? Okay. All right, let's keep drawing. Let me get back to back to work here. I got to draw the drum set now. It's funny. This uh -huh. is of the very Oh! Yalitz gifted another tier one sub to Eggwardo. Dude, Yalitz is like, yo. Yalitz is going crazy right now. Oh my god. Yalitz has gifted 87 subs to the channel. Ah ha ha. Got a sub, but it's still at 55, huh? Is that true? Does it really say that? It still says 55? Or what? Somebody fill me in. Hmm. It has been for the last two. What the fuck? Nope. Okay. Hang on. Still no. Okay, let's try this. Let's get rid of that. Remove the sub goal. Guys, bear with me here, please. I'm so sorry. <laughs> this is like, why? Okay, so, okay. Current amount, 55. Goal amount, 100. Settings, let me go to settings. Ah, wait a minute. Text color. Boom. Let me make something that's really easily legible. Let's just go red. Bright red or dark red. Bar thickness. Open sands. Okay, okay, that's fine. Include resubs. Enabled. Oh, maybe that's why. Bar thickness. Background. Hang on. We might be we might be in business here. Okay, well now let's... My goal. Wait, what the fuck? Hang on guys. Hello my baby, hello my darling, hello my ragtime gal. Send me a kiss by wire, baby my heart's on fire. Should I do sub points goal or subscriber? No, it doesn't, shouldn't matter, right? Yeah, 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 save settings. 
So what the hell? All right, copy widget URL. Copy. The font changed for a second. Okay, well here, we're adding something. Okay, sub goal. This is just gonna turn into me literally changing, <laughs> manually changing it every time there's a sub goal, every time there's a sub. Okay. Hang on, it's just loading game. I think it was doing this before too. It like took a while to appear. My husband is in the chat. He's returned from war. Aha! Oh. Oh. <laughs> so cool. Okay, here we go. Okay. How's that? My sample goal. What the fuck? No. No. Ugh. Why is the OBS so sexy? Ugh. Why do they do that? Not my sample goal. I have the title right here. Oh, oh, oh. Hang on, hang on. Okay, start goal. Okay. <laughs> this is like, oh. Okay, sub goal. Let's try this once and for all. All right, I think we might finally be cooking. Give it a second to load. How the hell did you get those sunglasses on the Beetle Jack? Live. <laughs> Old man struggles to check email. How does that look? How's that? New computer for Beetle. Sub goal. How do you get your lines so clean? Whatever I draw, my library is shaky, and I have to draw thick lines and erase part of it to make it thinner. My lines are really not that straight, honestly. I mean, I think it's just like confidence in you know that you'll kind of pick up over time <gasps> excuse me but um like the more that you draw the more you'll just kind of feel like you're just going for it without doing anything like using you know sketching or i'm using the pen tool the pen tool uh but you know it's like the, the Oops, maybe I should have put him over here, but that's okay. Uh, we're back to 47 hours. Okay, we're, we're good, we're good, we're cooking now. Uh, but I wouldn't like worry too much about straight lines, honestly. Like a as time goes on, you'll just start to feel more comfortable with the line work that you're doing and not be so like concerned with making something look exactly straight. And then it'll just start to look straight anyway. And it's kind of what I was, it's like the thought that I didn't finish a little while ago when I was talking about how like, uh, you know, I actually think there's something to be said for the fact that like, when you're young, you'll have, you have sort of a freedom and like pureness to your art that can't exactly be trained. It's just like an immediately recognizable, like, uh -huh. oh, oh, and it's working. Cardboard, yes, subscribe to tier one. Let's go, dude. We've gotten so many submissives. We are so back, dude, and it's actually working. Now we actually went up one. Yo, let's get a hype train going, baby. I'm trying to get a new computer. <laughs> I was just gonna donate, but then you did a little let's go dance and I had to. I'm so back, the future is now. I can't, I, it's still no explanation why it wasn't working before and now it's working. No idea, but hey, we, hey, we did it. I manually input the two that uh, that Yowlitz hooked me up with in, in, in the time period there. Um, oh, but anyway, the thought that I'm like not finishing is that, uh, yeah, like, oddly enough, it's like 
I think once you actually get to a certain stage in art, it's actually hard to recreate that sort of like simple style. And uh, yeah, let's breaking the tracker with your generosity. That's so real. It's it's actually hard to like recreate that, and that's why it's actually a pet peeve of mine in movies, especially. I'm gonna sound like YMS here for a second, but it's so real. Is like when they're like, "Mommy, mommy, I drew a picture of you at school," and it's supposed to look like a kid's drawing, but like it's so obvious that it's an adult. You know what I mean? Like an adult, like this is how a kid draws, and they draw like, uh, like a pencil dr- or a, a crayon drawing, and it's like I know that your fucking forty year old ass drew that shit. Like, don't even lie to me. This little kid did not draw that shit. But it's true because it's like it's really hard to imitate that like youthful, just like just nice like rough around the edges style. And so if you have that right now. You know, you, you're gonna you're gonna hate it. You're gonna wanna you're gonna wanna be better and have draw cleaner lines and all this stuff. But I'm telling you, cherish it while you can because you will not be able to draw like that forever. Like when you keep practicing, you will eventually get too good, and then you know, and then you'll be like, fuck. Then you'll see like. What ends up happening is then you see some famous streetwear artist that's drawing like they're like a two-year-old. And they're like making billions of dollars selling merchandise that literally a monkey could draw. And you're like, why did I learn how to draw? Why the fuck didn't I just like, you know what I mean? That's how I feel sometimes. I'm like, because now I cannot recreate this shit. And people are making like this really crude looking art that looks cool. But I can't properly recreate it because I think my art looks too, like, I don't know, done up now or something. It's hard to explain, but... Oops. Alright, we got one beetle left. One beetle left. I'm gonna put him front and center. He's another guitarist. Orange. Or no 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 yeah let's do an orange one. He's gonna be up here. Sorry, I gotta kinda overlap him here. Oh but anyway, yeah, now I've been reading Berserk. That book freaking slaps. Okay. There we go. It's so good. You should watch the old anime, the movies, when you're far along enough. Yeah, no, I know. I, like, it was, it had been recommended to me for a while, and, like, I, I knew that I had to, I knew that I had to watch it eventually, or read it eventually, but now especially, I'm finding that, like, it's kind of helping me along my comic journey at this stage to read other comics, like, read comics that I like, and I'm sorry, but... I, I, I hate to sound like that fucking meme, but it's kind of the truth is like, it's like, you know, the, the soy jack where it's like comic and he's like, and then it's like comic Japan and he's like, <laughs> it, but it's like real, like the fucking comics coming out of Japan are so good. They're so good. It's a little unfair. Miura may be one of the best artists of our generation. Dude, it, it's like... It's pretty unbelievable to like look at some of the drawings that this guy does and just be like, holy shit, what a fucking legend. Okay. Okay. 
Let's freaking go. Oh, whoops. He's so annoying. All right, we got the Beatles as Beatles. Oh. There we go. Oh, I actually forgot to... This one. Nice. Oh, something's happening. Amazing. Amazing. All right, the Beatles are complete. Whoever recommended the Beatles as the Beatles, my work here is done. And guys, just remember, if you've been watching this whole time and you want to support the boy and you want to help me get a new computer so we can do more material, the whole reason I'm getting a new computer is so that I can do more shit with you guys. Drop a sub, drop a donation, help your boy. Let's hit our sub goal. We're going crazy. We're just under three hours. Mm, 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 mm. Paul, John, George, Ringo. All right, what we're gonna do is the thing that I was doing at the beginning, which I thought was really funny, and then we kind of trailed off, uh, but they were coming out really funny. So we're gonna, we're gonna, oh, let me save this one. File, save as, Beatles as the Beatles. Beautiful. Okay. Close out of that one. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh! Jorange the Fruit is gifting two tier one subs to the community. They gifted one to Existential 8-Ball and to BMX Pro 715, and we just broke 60. Oh my god. Oh, oh. We are approximately two-thirds of the way there. Let's go, Jorange the Fruit. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Thank you, Jorange the Fruit. All right, here's what we're going to do. I'm taking taking requests from the audience here. We're going to draw another guy. Oh, uh -huh. my God. Shoes Double XL is gifting a tier one sub to Corn Doggy LOL. Shoes Double XL. We broke 60. 61. We're 61% of the way there. Let's go. Dude, let's go. I love these subs rolling in. I love you guys. You're doing me a huge solid, man. Doing me a huge solid. Does it have to be a person? How can you tell when it's so quiet? Uh, let me think. Does it have to be a person? We can draw something different. Okay, what about a dog? Let's say we're drawing. Let's let's draw a dog this time. I'd say we're so back, but the truth is we never left. That's so real. Let's draw. We're gonna draw a dog this time. We're doing this for better gaming content. Let's be real. That is, dude. I'm fucking. I would. I want to be able to do variety streams. I want to do. I want a new computer so I can play games on stream with you guys. A very long wiener dog. Well, here's what I'm thinking. Here's what I'm thinking. We're gonna draw a dog. This is gonna be a little bit of a challenge. What we drew earlier, we drew a guy, and I took requests for each part of the body. The face, the eyes, the whatever. This time we're gonna draw a dog, but we're gonna use the same thing. We're gonna start with the eyes, and we're gonna work our way around it. So, give me a word to describe the eyes on the dog that we're drawing right now. So, shout out a word. Give me a word. Anime. <laughs> Stunning. I thought these were limited. Bells. T 
tiny, juicy. It's gross. My ass. <laughs> okay. Hi, sexy. Okay, let's go, uh, hmm. Slimy. I kind of like the high eyes. Should we do that? Sinister. Oh, I kind of like that. Okay, let's do sinister. Hang on. Gotta get it just right. Okay. Okay, how is that for sinister eyes? I think the music stopped. It's been doing that. It like stops and then it comes back on. Can you take a five minutes break? Yes. Hang on a sec. I think the music is playing. I'm going to take a break for a snack when we hit th the three hour mark because I'm hungry. But I'll be back in a sec. Okay, but let's... Let's get something else going here. Ready? Aha! Uh -huh. Oh! Quanzoid! Subscribed at tier one! Quanzoid! Let's go! Beast. Beast. Okay, ready? No snacks allowed? <laughs> Keep subbing. <laughs> no snacks allowed. No snacks allowed. No snacks allowed. Oh, I just heard that. Ah, did you hear that? <laughs> okay, now, give me a word to describe this dog's nose. He needs a nose. Should he have a smush nose or a long nose? He just went, ah. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Someone changed their mind. Long nose? Nosy. All right, we'll give him a long nose. Nose too wide for his face. Elephant trunk bee sting nose. Oh, I see what you mean. Okay, I like the bee sting nose. So it's like really big. Okay. I'm into that. All right. Uh, the mouth. Should he be holding something in the mouth? Is his tongue hanging out? Does he have sharp teeth? Give me some words. Give me something to work with. Let's buy it. It's still at three hours. Yeah, we've been getting a lot of subs. <laughs> a bomb. He's holding a bomb? Like, he could be holding dynamite. IDK, if you're going to make it, my dude. <laughs> what time is it right now? Cheering for you, though? Oh, hang on a sec. What time is it? 7.30? That's so bad.
Hang on a sec. Okay. Hang on now. It's got to be darker. Holding a. <laughs> what do you think of that? It's holding some TNT. What do you think? Sharp teeth? Buck teeth? There, now he's both. How's that? Nice. All right, let's see here. All right, ears. Let's get to ears. Floppy ears, pointy ears. What do we think? Flames on the tip, like, fuses. That's kind of cool. Point. Gnarly. Pointy. All right. Pointy? How's that? And then, hmm. Let me just connect that. Looking good so far. Alright, I need a tongue. We need a tongue hanging out here. Let me draw that. It's actually looking kind of fresh, I can't even lie. Hang on a sec. It's actually looking kind of dope. Wait, I could get that just right. <laughs> Most of this was made with my input, so I will be copywriting this. Okay, here, let's start let's start coloring in some of this. Give me some yellow teeth here too. Put this on a hat, it's very crispy. Yeah, I'm actually kind of vibing with it. This is pretty cool. It's coming out good. Okay, let's draw the rest of the body, I guess. What do you think? Fat, skinny? I'm trying to figure out what I should... How, how do we want to make this? Let me think about it. Bristled? How should I make his back look?
Hmm. Spiky. Hairless. Oh, I could throw a collar around him here. That's probably the move. Let me throw a collar around him and then I'll probably have a better idea of... Hairless. Uh-oh. Remy900 said, Hey Beetle, your fuck it we ball comment on art on making art made me want to try an art idea that I was too scared to actually draw. I just finished it. I'm quite pleased with the end result. Thank you so much for your streams and all the art you make. Dude, I'm so happy to hear that. Did you post it in the Discord? You should. I would love to see it if you feel comfortable. I'm so glad that it, that it inspired you to finish. Should save it, but there you go. Okay. Looking good. Maybe small body as it's phased really close up. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking too. Hmm. Speaking of the, uh, I'm gonna put this in the background while playing TF2. That's all right, we'll probably be chatting after this one a little bit anyway, so you won't have to watch so closely, but I'm having fun drawing it. What do you think, do we, I almost kind of like the, I like him being white, like the, <laughs> the color of his fur, but I wonder, I'm just curious what like, Whoa. That looks kind of nuts, too. Hmm. Kind of a tough call. Bull Terrier vibes, yeah. Dang. This is actually a tough call. Maybe I'll just leave him blank for, time, for the time being. Oh, one black eye like the Wishbone Dog? That would be cool. looks so good. Hmm. I'm really torn. Hang on. I feel like you can see the details oh, more easily with the white. I buy this a sticker that says some really dumb shit with it. I know, I'm like, what do we think? Should I try the other eye? Or do you like this one? Better without the thing. But both are good. Let me try, I just wanna try this eye. It's because of the shape of the eye. It's like a little bit hard to like get it just right. Can't 
give him an eye patch. Hang on. There might be something to do with the eyes. But... Uh -huh. Oh, oh my god, dude. Goopter is gifting three tier one subs to the community. They've gifted six subs to the channel. Super Kami, Gabagool, Purple Girly. Dude, thank you so much, Goopter. Hell yeah, we're at 65 subs. Holy shit, I think I heard a pen drop. What makes you go... What makes you so hilarious, LOL, like your comics legitimately... Oh, make me laugh so hard. Oh, dude, thank you so much. I have no idea. Dude, uh, thank you. I appreciate that. And Goopter, you are the fucking man, dude. You're the best. Thank you so much. Thank you for the sub. Thank you for the subs, plural. We're sitting at 65 right now. Here's the thing with the eye patches. I don't know where it would go. Eh, I don't love the eye, the eye patch doesn't look quite right. I don't really know where to position it. Demo man dog. Goop through the goat! Let's see. Alright. It looks fresh. I really like it as is, honestly, even. Here, let me save it. I'm just curious about something. I just want to try something real quick. What's the name of this piece? This one's just called Bad Dog. The Scar? Maybe I'll give him a scar. That would kind of go hard. I definitely am going to draw his backside here, too. This is one of my favorite Beetle Moses drawings. Damn, you guys really like this one. I like it, too. It's actually coming out kind of like crazy. Oh, come on with the loading. There we go. I'm just curious. Just joining, was there a prompt for this one? Uh, well, we sort of started like building together because I was taking requests and I'm still kind of taking requests. Um, maybe I should make stickers of it, it'd be pretty fresh. Yeah, I'm still taking requests to, to kind of like build upon this one, but just humor me for a second, guys. I just want to see what this looks like real quick I'm just curious humor me for just a moment Yeah, it looks a little too crazy. Never mind. Just want to see what it looked like. Yeah, the white still just looks better. Yeah, the dark the dark is cool. I think it's like I have to pick a different like color for the line work for it to translate right. Even if it was this kind of purpley, but like a little bit lighter. But I got I, I don't know. I'll I'll figure it out. I'm gonna take a quick, quick fiver, guys. I just need something to eat. But I'm gonna be right back, and we're gonna continue drawing this dog, all right? Give me one sec. Hang tight, don't go anywhere, okay? Hang tight, hang tight.
Are we still here? What happened? Wait, I'm back in here, but there's something wrong with me. Are we back? Wait. Hello? <laughs> Is there anybody still in the chat? Did I already leave? <laughs> hello! 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 I'm back! Can you hear the... I'm back. Everything okay? Okay, everything's good. Yo, yo, I'm back, guys. All right, let's. Sorry, I had to. I, I like inhaled some snacks. Let me get some water real quick. But now we're back. We're gonna finish this drawing of a dog. I kind of do like the idea that it's like still like a perspective. So, let me move this bit over. We back, baby. We back. Hang on a sec. Can you give the dog hair? Hair in what regard? I need some more specificity. I cannot believe we still have three hours left. I guess that's the point of this stream. There is so much time still on the clock and I'm like, oh, CSP just joined the stream. Yeah, I, yeah I'm using CSP right now. Let's see. Beetle, what did you do to yourself? What do you mean? What did I do? Something look weird. <laughs> like human hair. Oh, okay. I, yeah, I could do that. Did I do something? If you go on the web, if you get bored, go on the website neil.fun. That looks so suspicious. <laughs> what is that? I'm not clicking it, I just am hovering over it. Cannot read property? Yeah, hell no, I'm not clicking that. It definitely is like a lemon party. No shot. Gonna play some video games, BRB, I got you. Let's get this man streaming until midnight. It's a website with Make Perfect Circle. It's a bunch of browser games. That actually does sound kind of fun. Is it really that? Somebody investigate. This dog is extremely powerful. I'm trying to get this just right. Banksy couldn't do it. The inverted feet. Look at that nice art. Hmm.
<laughs> nice. Pizza time. <laughs> hey, I ordered a pizza. I have a pizza. What are the toppings? Unbutton the top button. It's already unbuttoned, baby. Pepperoni. Let's go. Pepperoni. Another? All right, one more button. What do you think of that? Keep going. Maybe a little bit later on. Maybe a few more subs. I'm trying to think where... Think about that. Uh -huh. Aha! Dog. Whoa! I'm here for the teas. Fried slice Texas or fried slice TX. Let's go! <laughs> Is that that looks pretty tough, right? Kind of feel on that. I'm trying to think what else I could really put on this guy. I'm just curious what a different color looks like. What do we think? Yo, that dog go hard as fuck. It looks pretty fresh as is. I mean, like, do, 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 do should I just keep him solid white or do you like this kind of like taupe color? Or maybe like a, what about like a weird color? Like that, it's kind of fresh. What if the dynamite is lit? Ooh. How does your bucket f uh, bucket tool fill fully? That's a great question. I honestly don't know. Sometimes it doesn't work so hot, but in this case, it seems to be handling it. Let's see how it looks if I add a flame. Do we like that? Hey, Big Tony! <laughs> I like the white one the best. I could stick, I mean, we could, we could just stick with the white here if you want. Let's say, whoops, white dog. Let's say we stick with the white dog and maybe just like a background, green, greenish background or something. How do we feel about that? That goes kind of hard. Just trying something different. Whoa. No, but I think you kind of lose the dynamite a little bit with that 
Let's try purple. Tough call. All these backgrounds look pretty cool. <laughs> Should have giant balls. I think you just wouldn't be able to see them. <laughs> it looks like it'd be like the hardest logo ever for the, some local basketball team. Purple is always sexy. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling this right now. His nose is cute. I think I think this is the one. I'm gonna save this. What, get a <laughs> neutered tattoo. What is that like? Green background. Let me try green. I like the green. Let me get a softer green. Or maybe a dark, like a forest green. Ooh. Whoops, wrong one. That looks cool. The old Bramble City Boom Dogs. Is there a specific one that they give dogs that says like neutered? That looks cool. Let's just see solid black. I'm just curious what that looks like. Looks cool white on black too. Yeah, I like the green. Oh, I like the purple too. Damn, it all looks good. I mean, that's the thing, because he's solid white. It kind of goes with anything. Solid black. Yeah, solid black is pretty tough. Should I just stick with that? Yeah, I'm liking drawing with, like, the purple line work and then putting it over the black. Yeah, this goes pretty... This is pretty tough. I'm into it. All right, all right. We're going to save this one. Save a no background. Do a gay Andy Warhol. Well, what I was thinking... Maybe. Now we draw... A cat? For my audience submission, can you recreate the album cover for Hawaii Part 2 by Miracle Musical? Hmm. That sounds cool. I don't know what that is. Hawaii Hawaii Part 2 by Miracle Musical? Part 2. By Miracle... Uh, that's a cool... It's a cool background. It's a cool art. I'm into that. Alright, we're gonna... We'll draw a cat now. Oh, let me ask. Let me ask you a question, Yoloswai, because I'm gonna ask this again when I bring you on to a uh, when I eventually get a new computer. Subscribe, subscribe, and donate. When I eventually get a new computer, I'm gonna bring you on and I'm gonna ask you this question. But since you are also a career artist, I'll ask you now while you're in the chat. Can you? Is there something that comes to mind when you think of one of your earliest drawings? Like when you were a kid, you little, does something come to mind that was one of the first things that you drew? Or do you have something in your house that your parents saved? I would draw walruses over and over. I thought they were cool because I was fat. <laughs> That's awesome. Beetle, in a complimentary way, you look like a guy who would teach me about a dangerous mummy. <laughs> in an old movie. Okay, yeah, I'm into that. I think it's just the tie, the loose tie. This is just like, I've been, you guys just got to the desert. I've been studying this for years. Let me show you everything that I've figured out. Bro, look up Manuel if you're drawing a cat. What is that? It would be fresh. M A. The reason I'm looking things up on my phone is because, uh... Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> this does not look real. Why he look like that? Scarab Beetle Moses. That is sick. Also look up Lemon Party after. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna draw a cat together, guys. I'm gonna take... This one I'm gonna use... Ooh. Let's use a dark green. Alright, guys. We're gonna start with the eyes. <clears throat> so somebody give me a word to describe the eyes on this one. 
Yeah, you look like you were a nerd telling the protagonist how to stop Godzilla or something. No! Last one was a bad dog, so this will be a good cat. Mmm. That's good. Droopy, dreamy, empty headed, bright as the sun, squinty. Yeah, I'm trying to think what this should look like. Let's go. Should be an even worse cat. Sunken, bulging. I like dreamy. monobrow do you always start with the eyes I don't always start with the eyes but I am like I usually will like in, in a draw in, in an occasion like this I will usually start with the eyes because it kind of helps me frame what the face the rest of the face is gonna look like basically let's uh, let's actually do something else here Okay. This cat drank a cup of coffee. Yeah, you gotta you gotta start with the eyes for stuff like this, cause then like, I mean, if I have like a more detailed drawing that's like planned out. Whoa, what the hell? If I have a more detailed drawing planned out, like I'll usually start somewhere else. Like maybe I'll draw the face last. But in something like this, where it's like a really character driven thing, I'll I'll draw it like this. Uh, okay. Give me something about the nose. Give me a detail about the nose. Vicious. Broken. Massive snoot. I could do broken. Heart shaped. Aquiline. Heart. Okay, I'm into that. Let's go. We're gonna go broken and a heart. Okay. And now the mouth. I feel like with a cat, like the mouth. Agape? Should I make him agape? A blep? Blepping?
kind of like that. He looks Irish so far. Could definitely make him drooling. Looks weird. <laughs> I agree. All right, what do you think? Should I make him kind of like poofy? How should I make his head shape? Still kind of looks like a dog. It does kind of look like a dog. I think the, the head shape is gonna fix that a bit. Make him floof, naked. Hmm. Well, I can start with the ears. Give me something about the ears. Small, big, broken, cut. One up, one down. Flat. And then let's make him kind of floofy here. This guy looks fucked up. He definitely does. Let's see here. That thing is out of it. Now that's what a cool cat. That cat is zonked. Let's see here. I'm feeling it. Came late. That's all right. We're chilling. Guys, anybody new in the chat? Anybody who's hanging out? If you want to subscribe, support me. While I'm working, I'm trying to get a new computer. Once I get a new computer, I can do all kinds of variety streams. I can bring other artists on. If you're watching, if you're enjoying, if you want to support me, you can absolutely, you know. And also, if you scroll down a little bit, there's a little donation button down there too. Will you do another one of these drawings later on? Later on? Yeah, look, we still got time on the clock, so I'm, I'm going to be drawing for sure. Going to be drawing. Okay, let's see. What do we think here? What the? What just happened? Oh, I drew it all on the different, I'm like what the fuck? I drew these all, how do I combine these two? <laughs> Merge with layer below. There we go. What? Okay, there we go. 
Still no good. Oh, there it is. Hmm, maybe... What about a black cat? With a white dog. Ooh. What do you guys think about that? Aha! Oh, Crystal Farms is gifting a tier one sub to the community. It's their first time gifting a sub on the channel. Let's go! Crystal Farms! Dude, thank you. And they gifted it to. Zuckles, J. <laughs> Zuckles. I'm kind of digging this black cat. What do you think about that? Black cat with the space eyes. Yeah, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. What's up, my guy? I haven't been watching for a long time now. I've been here since the Yummers down. Oh my God, Yummers in the chat way back. Love your content, sir. Sorry I can't donate more. Hey, don't worry about it, dude. Thank you for the donation at all. I really appreciate it. Um, and I'm glad you're back over here. I know it's kind of crazy. It's like it hasn't been that long, but it does feel like it's been a while since starting, you know, like starting all of these streams. This is the 50th. This is the... 50th stream anniversary, which is pretty nuts. I mean, it's kind of crazy that it's been 50 streams. Wait, let me do this here. But dude, I'm really glad that you could pop in for this one. Thank you so much for the donation. It really does. Every donation really means a lot to me. Hey, thank you for cheering. Okay. I've moved places twice since you started this. Hope you're all doing well. Oh, dude, well, congrats on the move. Moving is stressful, so I hope that it's behind you now, at least for a while. You don't have to worry about it. But yeah, everything's been good, man. Everything's been on the up and up. Seriously. Cannot complain. Okay. Oh, you know what? Is the body shaved? The head is so fluffy. No, he's just like, you know, he's sleek in some areas. And in some areas, he's not so sleek. Look at that. All right, now we've got a white dog and a black cat. Let's look, look at, here's the dog and the cat. It's kind of cool. 
Uh, random question, but does the sub voice chat in the Discord have a text chat where you can ask questions? Uh, there is a there is a chat option in the sub VC. There's not like a text specific chat in the Discord there, but if you're in the VC, there is a chat option. Yeah. Which, by the way, if if you guys wanted to become part of the Beetle Moses uh, community. Uh, we have a free Discord channel where everybody is sharing their art. And um, and especially when we do streams where I'm like actually teaching you guys how to do stuff, uh, you can hop in there and see everybody else's drawings that we're all drawing stuff along together. There you go, Discord channel right there. Uh, so yeah, if you hop in there, you can see everybody else's art. It's really exciting. Very cool. All right, let's see what else we got here. All right, I'm thinking maybe take a look at the wheel of recommendation. Uh -huh. Oh, what do we got here? Oh, Crystal Farms gifted a tier one sub to Pretzel Man. Crystal Farms, let's go. Let's go, dude. Pretzel man, welcome to the family, baby. Crystal Farms, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Okay, let's take a look here. I am going to pull up. We're keeping it going here. Random number generator. 22. Let's see. I, gotta just, I don't know why it won't be scroll. 22. What's it gonna be? Kermit walks in on Fuzzy and Gonzo. Oh, God. Who the hell came up with that? Subchat also has the full size beetle jack. Yeah, I think also the Discord. I think in general in the. Oh wait. Oh yeah, it should actually. I think the Discord channel should have that beetle jack emote as well because Twitch should automatically move the Twitch emotes to Discord. That was like a recent, recent thing. Uh -huh. Oh, elephant monkeys! Subscribed at tier one. They've subscribed for two months. Let's, yeah, dude, wow. Elephant Monkeys, thank you so much. Thank you for the sub. Thank you for your support. Oh yeah, Discord gets Hedge Cat, and I think they get the 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 rules and like the, the commandments guy. I think that's all in there. All right, I'm gonna try and draw these characters without looking at any reference, because I don't know exactly how to. Okay, Malaika. I see you asking, what are the Discord rules? You have to be nice to other people. Okay, maybe I'll have to come back to the thing. Ah ha ha! Should we draw another? Why don't we draw another creature? Why don't we draw? I'm kind of feeling more like uh, I'm I'm feeling those like drawings where I'm taking the like taking more requests from the audience. Why don't we draw like a monster? I love that Beetlejack emoji or emote. It's so fucking good. Dude. <laughs> Shout out to Dolphin for drawing that one. That was so funny. Which, by the way, we had our first uh, Twitch subscriber VC like chat yesterday, which went really fun. I mean, it was like a handful of uh, it was like a handful of people in there, which was really lit. And. Uh, yeah, we, we were like, they were actually kind of, I was, they were actually helping me out kind of like get ready for the, uh, uh, for this stream. Oh, is the Hawaii part two thing still on the table? Let me look that up again. 
Should be able to do that, I think. Hawaii part two. Okay, let's see. Hawaii part two. Yeah, dude, we should definitely play some Gardic. I mean, also, if you're subscribed to the Cold Cuts Patreon, we're doing some freaking... Oh, look at uh -huh. that. Oh, Luna Narrative is paying forward the gift they got from Savage Boredom. They are gifting it to Sleepfest420. Let's go. And look at that, dude. 70%. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, I could, I could try drawing this Hawaii Part 2. It looks like there's a giant uh, eel. What if Beetle was gay, Moses? Could you imagine? <laughs> That's great. Imagine that. I'm pretty sure that actually is one of the... Uh, that was one of the things. Hang on, let me send a quick thing here. Uh, it, oh, is it an anglerfish? Take a look here. Okay, I'm I, I'm gonna pull up the picture up here on the thing so we can look at it together. What is this? What is this soundtrack? I've never heard of the. Uh, <laughs> All right, here we go. Wait, where did where did it go? Hawaii Part Two cover. Okay, let me let's right click this. Oh, dude. Brutus said, hey, Beetle, first stream I caught. Finally can see one because you're mean and I don't leave VODs. Uh, who's mean? I do leave VODs. I have the VODs. They're all on my YouTube channel. Every single stream I do is uploaded in full on my YouTube. The link is up here. It's just my Be Beetle Moses on YouTube. So check your facts. All right? They're all there. But I am really glad that you're here and you're able to catch one. Hang on a sec. I'm really glad you're here. Let's see, save image. Maybe I'll draw this real quick and then afterwards we'll do something together. I think that'd be fun. That's a fan created cover. All right, you're gonna have to send me the real one because I don't know, what, what what is it? This is the one I was looking at. Oh, that's... What's the difference? This one? Is this real? <laughs> you are mean. You keep gaslighting me into thinking the sound is too, too loud. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> Alright, send it in the Discord. Okay, we're going to draw something together. I think we could actually do like a little art class, which would be kind of fun. Okay, I'm not sure how many people are just watching for funsies, but let's draw something together. How does that sound? Why is the stream so quiet? Is it quiet? Oh, <laughs> I was like, please, I cannot handle any more technical difficulties. All right, let's draw something together. What do you say? What the fuck is going on here? Oh, loading very slowly. Excellent. So, some of you may have noticed, we've updated, we've updated the commandments. I finally drew new commandments. Can you believe it? New commandments, baby. Now, listen. 
I knew I was going to get a message like this. What happened to my man? I understand. People, and including me, did not want to lose the guy. And I would just like to say, rest assured, he is still there. He is still in there. You must look within. And you must look closely at the, at the drawing. He is there. He is still there. Did not, did not get rid of him. I know, he's, a, he's been a very important part of the stream, so I would never dream of getting rid of the guy. So I didn't, he's still there. I just had to, he just had to, he's, he's evolved. He's, he's within us, he's, he's just, he's, he's everywhere. He's everywhere. Okay, so we're gonna draw something today. I haven't exactly decided what, but maybe we'll pick something off of the, uh, I'll pick something off of the requests that we got. Because there's like 300 of them. <laughs> Losing it at that yesterday. Dude, I love the, the guy. He's just happy to be here. Has anybody not found it? Everybody sees it, right? Okay, anyway. So, if this is your first time, uh, posted the real cover in Art General. Bet. I'm gonna get to that one. Thank you, main game boy. Um, what, what, we're gonna draw together, all right? Uh, normally, I mean, this is a subathon, so I've been doing a lot of, like, varieties, drawing, still art-related stuff, but... Uh, what we are going to do is No, 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 you're not annoying me. <laughs> it's all right uh, When what we are gonna do is draw together right now because usually on my stream these are like an art class thing So we're gonna pick a request from there and all of us are gonna draw together now when we're drawing and when you're done You can send it in that discord link if you wanted to if somebody else wants to drop the discord link in the chat That's where everybody's gonna be sending their drawings afterwards I'm gonna try to pick something that's on the list that's like fairly easy for us to all do together and all you're gonna need is a pen and a piece of paper. So, there are no rules when you're drawing but I just have a couple of commandments that I like to spell out to people before we get started, okay? Number one, don't be too hard on yourself, okay? I'm not paying you, I'm not grading you, I don't care if you've never drawn before, all right, if you've never done if you've never, you don't even know what drawing is, it's okay. It's okay. We have people in that Discord at all different stages of their artistic journey right now. So you should just go for it and don't be too hard on yourself. If you're, you know, if you're not happy with how it came out, there's a constructive way that we can look at it together. But in general, everybody's drawings have been really good. So just take a risk on yourself, all right? Don't be too hard on yourself. Number two, Go at your own pace while we're drawing together. Okay, I'm gonna go slow. I'm gonna draw. I'm gonna draw it slowly, step by step, line by line. I'm gonna walk you guys through it. All right. And uh, but if I breeze through something or it doesn't make sense or I don't explain something right, you can see I'm watching the chat. Don't be shy. Let me know. We'll go back over something together. Okay. And then three, try new things. It's how you get better. Okay. Uh, so if we're about to pick something that you've never drawn before, I would highly encourage you to draw along with us because we're going to figure it out together. Okay, those are the commandments. Let me get rid of this here. Uh, Dolphin Dot said, did you make a submissions chat yet? Mm, what do you mean? What do you mean by that? What do you mean a submissions chat? Could you clarify for me? Okay, let's random number. Oh, I skipped one. So 64. Evil Goon Mobster. Like a like submit to show on the stream. Oh no, I didn't do that. That would be a good idea. I could I could actually probably still cook one up while we're on here, maybe after we finish this one. Let me look through here. Steve Harvey. Hmm. Something spooky. Heterosexual Elton John. <laughs> Lord of the Rings. Your fucked up evil twin. Favorite animal. 
Self portrait, but you have mouse ears. A pickle, classy. Ooh, I like classy tarantula. Be kind of fun. We can draw that together. Rouge is a bat. That's spooky. Ooh. What do we have here? I think I like the classy tarantula, and we could draw a tarantula in a top hat. I think that's probably the move. Let's see here. Huh? Oh, snap! Special delivery! Oh, wow. Thank you so much. Check it out. Whoa! Slice of pizza. Uh -huh. Oh, Hernandez just gifted a tier one sub to the Beetle Bows community. They gifted it to the Dragon Dread. Let's go. Let me take a bite of this pizza real quick. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Oh, I needed that. That was a pick-me-up. We just fell back. Uh -huh. Oh my god. Alright, let's do it. Actually, let me just scroll. I still want to continue to scroll through here a bit. Just to see. Oh, the fuck? Okay, let's see. Can Twitch please shut the hell up about my sub anniversary? What does that mean? Okay, here we go. We're gonna do a classy tarantula. That's the move. Okay, hang on. Ready? Okay, so here's how we're gonna do it. Now, I know I said that you want a pen and paper, okay? If you also have a pencil, I'm gonna show you why. It can be helpful to sketch things out ahead of time, okay? So, follow along with me, ready? I'm gonna start with, this is just if you have a pencil sketch, all right? I always do this when I'm drawing characters, okay? Drawing the arms. And then what I do is I just bring the opacity way down to make it look like a pencil shading, okay? This just gives me an idea of where everything's gonna be going, all right? good so now now that I have this plotted out draw along with me here we go we're gonna go ready it ain't a tarantula that's a minecraft villager it does actually kind of look like that all right here we go oops I forgot to make a new layer so we're gonna make these two sort of Side by side. Oval type shapes, which are located at the bottom of the head here. Okay. And then I'm actually going to add two more little mandibles on the side here, on the top. George the Fruit, shout out. Thank you for coming by. Much love, my guy. Now, before we draw the, whoops, the eyes and stuff, let's see here. Okay. I'm gonna make a top hat 
the brim of the top hat coming up and around. Okay, see how I did that? Flat line, but these two little hooks on either side. Mm. Sorry. Pizza bite. Mmm. Had to take a nice crunchy bite. Now, spiders have eight eyes, as some of you may know. So we're gonna draw those eight eyes. I'm gonna draw first one here. And we wanna just mirror it on the other side. Circle and circle. Smaller circle next to it. And another one. Just mirroring what we're doing here. Okay. Now I'm gonna do one that's peeking out from under the brim. Good. Let's see here. And we actually could probably put two more right there. I was trying to like find where to put that fourth one, but I think that's good. All right, so that's a lot of circles. Did everybody follow along with that there? We've got the mandibles brim of the hat, and all of the eyes. <laughs> and I'm actually gonna go ahead and just fill each of these in. And go back with, you'll see my white pen, and add a little shine. Now if you're going, if you're using just pen, You might want to just draw a smaller circle right inside there and color everything else around it. That's how I would do it like analog, so to speak. All right, how are we doing so far? Is everybody with me? Mmm, pizza. The prompt was a classy tarantula. We ready? Good gang. All right, we're going. Oh, adding some fuzzy. See, I'm tracing sort of the area that I already drew the head of the shape, but I'm giving it the zigzag effect so that it's fuzzy looking. And now once you do that, we're gonna finish up the brim of this hat. So notice the shape that I'm making here. It's thinner towards the back. Oops. And slightly, even I'm struggling a little bit here, slightly wider at the top.
But it's just a C shape. Long C shape around the head. And then I'm just going to make this top hat. So notice how all the lines are not perfectly straight. The ones that are going up are actually bent slightly inward. And the top one is convex. It's like bulging slightly at the top. And I, I think that's just part of the angle. And then you're gonna use that same line as a parallel to the one that's wrapping around the bottom there. So not perfectly straight. He's pimping right now. <laughs> he is definitely pimping. Okay. We ready? Okay, so check it out. Where the, oh, got my Wi-Fi back. It's okay, we're actually, we've been moving really slow, so I think you could catch up pretty easy. Uh, sleeve is right here. Oh, uh -huh. Andy M03, Andy Mo is gifting a tier one sub to 6 a.m. sunset. Let's go. Damn, we're almost 75% of the way there. Holy crap. That's insane. Crazy. All right, we ready? Let's go. New PC for the main man. Dude. Thank you, baby. Thank you. I need this new PC. I'm so tired of looking at this old hunk of junk. <laughs> This thing sucks. All right, here we go. So with the hand, we're gonna keep it pretty simple, okay? Another funny comedian goes PC. We're gonna go, all right, let me zoom in a bit, actually make things a bit easier. I'm actually starting with sort of an S curve. See that? S curve for the bottom of the hand. Picture this as the sort of inside of the palm and this is the finger. But we're only drawing him with like two fingers because he's a bug. It's usually my cheat code for, Can slow down a bit, yes. Are you still catching it? Here, I can just zoom out if you need to see this also. I'm gonna take another bite of my pizza while Paranoid Android is catching up. Ready? Let me do this off camera. Oh yeah. Show us the money shot. What exactly is the money shot? Mukbang stream next? I'm just drawing my own goofy little guy. That's fresh. You should. That's exactly what you should do. Okay. Paranoid Android, I know you're still working, but... I'm gonna keep everything here on the screen so you can see it. I'm just drawing this next little thing, thingy. 
which is just curved up. You got it? Okay, okay, good. Curve that one up. And once you finish that little finger, you can actually just halfway through the line that you just drew, just make a little U shape. And that's the second finger. Bring it all the way around. It's like a J that connects to the sleeve. Got it? Uh -huh. oh. Kaitramel gifted a tier one sub to T-Pain. It's their first time gifting a sub in the channel. Is that the T-Pain? Is T-Pain watching right now? I love your music, man. Big fan. I'ma buy you a drink. We you. I'ma take it home with me. I'ma money in the bank. Thank you, Kai. Gaitro Mel. <laughs> Wait, who is T? Who's T Pain? And so it's not the T Pain. It's just somebody with the username T Pain. Did you just gift it? Oh, you just gifted it to T Pain, but he's not watching. No, it's him. Oh. Mm. So now, he's subscribed to the channel, and he might be like, I remember subscribing to this channel. That's hilarious. And then he'll be like, huh, okay. Let me go check this out. It wouldn't let you gift AOC. God, what's the point? What is the point of anything? Or NASA? I love that, like, uh, <laughs> like, T-Pain is, like, the bare minimum. Or, like, that's, like, as big as you can get before they're like, no, you cannot get this up here. Everything you draw is literally so good. Everything you draw is literally so good. You! Not me, you. You. The Holy Trinity. Give the U.S. Army a sub. I think they have a channel. That's ridiculous. Why would they have a Twitch channel? See how I'm doing this, by the way? Little J shapes. Coming around. I'm drawing this pimp suit. Brick by brick. Board by board. And then when I get to the elbow, it's going up. But then stop at the shoulder. Make it petting a tiger cub, it's a good idea, actually. Maybe I will put one on a leash there. Okay. Other side, I'm gonna make the other sleeve peeking out right here. And now this finger is, this hand, we're just getting a glimpse at it because it's covered. So I'm just from the middle of the bottom finger. Okay, thank you for the bits. From the middle of the bottom, bottom finger, I'm just making a little J shape and then a curve up to the sleeve. Okay. And then we're doing the same sleeve formation all the way back and it's just mirroring. Bring it up to the shoulder. Oh my God. This thing really is gonna have me go until midnight. Kind of looks like Jim. Oh, how the hell am I gonna pronounce this? I see the visual pun, but how the hell am I gonna pronounce it? Jamir. Jamir. Jamir Yeah, that's good. I was like, how the fuck do I pronounce that? Jamir Arachnoquai. Yeah, I can see that. Jamir Quai. All right, 10 out of 10. 
underneath here. You see what I'm doing? I'm making a little, uh... I'm not move too fast, but you see what I'm doing? I'm, I'm gonna make, he's making, he's gonna be holding a little gemstone. Uh, what do you call that? Cane. So I just made a little trapezoid and then like little lines connecting to it and a little rectangle underneath. Mmm. Pizza. Drawing a pimp cane all the way down, baby. Did I show pizza? I think I showed it when it first came in, but I'm not actually showing like me eating it. This is all that's left. Well, slices here but I won't take a bite of food on camera it's just too gross mm. the fold is key I would just felt that's like how you're supposed to do it I know it's weird like who holds it like you have to fold it Mmm, my god. Okay. Here's what we're gonna do next. One of my favorite articles of clothing to draw. A suit. Just a lot of fun lines going in different directions. So, from each of these sort of cuffs of the sleeves, we draw these two lines Splaying outward, leading towards the head. And you can actually add just a slight divot for the shoulder pads. I like to include that as well. Throw a bite under the desk for me. Mmm, my god. Good pizza, actually. I hate that one phrase that people always say that's like, they're like, uh, sex is like pizza. Like, even bad pizza is still pretty good pizza. You ever hear people say that? It's like some stupid, like, boomer joke that people make. Pizza's like sex. Even bad pizza is still pretty good pizza. That always drove me nuts because that is so not true. Like, bad pizza is inedible. Not all of us grew up on Reddit. <laughs> it is such a Reddit phrase. And it's so, like... I've never heard that in my life. Yeah, and also bad sex sucks, too. Yeah, the whole thing, top to bottom. It's a terrible phrase. But the part that stuck out to me always is, like, actually, I've had really bad pizza before. Like, I've had pizza before that I'm like, I would rather eat nothing. Pizza's like sex. If it's bad enough, it can kill you. That's a better phrase. Pizza's like sex. It's covered in grease. And if you're lactose intolerant, you're going to have a hard time. See how I just did that? Added a little collar there. Or a, not a collar, a tie. Made this look sort of V-shape. Two more lines splaying down, and then more lines. I love drawing suits. They're just like fun. It's so like that whole little pattern right there is just a fun draw. And there's even more. There's even more. Because we're actually going to do the collar. I don't know what you would call it. The lapel of the suit. So once you've done all this, in the space between the like shoulder pad and where the inside of the jacket begins, basically, we're gonna make 
a triangle. And I'm going to do the same thing on this side. And all you're going to see from this bit is it just coming down again slightly halfway through that line, bring them down. It's all straight lines. It's all like straight lines, nothing too complicated, but it is, there is a lot going on in that little bit. And I'm just gonna be, I'm just gonna color a little bit of this stuff. Oh! George the Fruit gifted uh -huh. a uh -huh. sub to Malaika ESC. They've gifted three subs to the channel. George the Fruit! Let's go! Let's go! Thank you, George. Actually, you know what? I, like, I think I'd like that better if it was like a ruby. Yeah, that looks cool. We're gonna keep it moving. So with the jacket, you're gonna draw two lines also splaying down from about where the posted, already posting your tarantula in the Discord. Damn, finished before I did. Two lines splaying downwards. And then when you when they are coming down, they're gonna curve at the end because we wanna see slightly the, ba the back of the jacket slightly. The inner inside of the jacket. And we're gonna do the same thing on this side, create this sort of bell shape. Okay. Once you've created that, we're just gonna bring this up to a point, up, to a point. Let me bring that in a bit more. Like that. I'm drawing mine in the talking heads, Big C. That's a great idea. I love that. Actually, bring him down slightly. He's like a little too tall. Oh, I'm gonna get rid of these. Uh... Eh, actually, I mean not yet. I mean not yet. I think we're gonna want to probably draw the shoes for actually. Violet, what the fuck says you look surprisingly normal. <laughs> oh boy, I don't know what. It's so funny. Like, thank you, I guess. What do people think I look like? Nice. I've been getting really into talking heads lately. I haven't seen true stories. I've not seen that. Hmm. Guys, users, users in the chat, what did you guys think I looked like before, before you saw me? Um, let me see here. Hmm, 
I want him to be wearing shoes, but I'm trying to think what's the best way to like. Yeah, that's it. So, okay, so we're drawing the shoes kind of wonky, but you just gotta follow my lead, okay? We're gonna draw this slight curve, okay? Coming down. According to Zach, the living Jew was right. TBH, I don't think I had an idea. Watch how I'm doing this. Conniving. You're drawing under the sub count. Oh, whoops. Good call. Thank you. Sorry about that. Ready? Moving forward. From this little lip that we've created, we're going to make one going in the opposite direction. So it almost looks like a little flat wave shape. Okay. Line down. Flat, whoops, flat across and then up. So it, you kind of get this lumpy rock look. I don't know really what you would call it, but. I'm gonna make an identical one on the other side. I just realized that it, I probably have to make my cane longer. It doesn't really make sense where it's at. I'm gonna mirror this exact shape on this side. It's kind of like this weird lumpy triangle, but just picture that it's the shape of a shoe, right? which is this kind of shape. It's got this line going like this, another line going like this, one going like that, and then it's flat at the bottom. Can't draw the shoes. If you're having a lot of trouble with the shoes, if you want to simplify it, just semicircle with a rounded bottom. See what I mean? I get it. There's a lot of different like curves and lines going on in the shoes. But this and this, for this purpose, same thing. So think of it like a semicircle, but instead of a semicircle, round the corners and bring it around like that. That's how I would draw it. It'll work the same for what we're about to do. I'm now creating some lines, just some texture around the shoe, which is going to lead to the pants. Line up, line up. Another line up, but notice how I'm leaving a little bit of room. Why am I leaving room? Because the other legs are going to be back here too. So these can go up, but what I'm doing is now making these little shapes across the sides. And the legs are there. Do you keep your brush size the same the whole drawing? Yeah, I usually do for, yeah, honestly, almost always I do. I don't really know if there's like a rhyme or reason for it. I just like, it's my, I'm so used to drawing with just like my, like finishing drawings with just one, um, like one pen, like doing the whole thing with one pen, that when I draw things digitally, I also tend to use the same size like brush when I'm drawing. Just, I, I feel I like the consistency, especially for my type of cartooning. It just is like, looks cleaner to me than it would if I use, like sometimes I think people 
use different brush sizes when it's not necessary and then it doesn't like it, you don't have a it, you lose the sameness like you lose the kind of samey feel across the drawing but I will say like in a lot of like really impressive artwork like I was talking about reading Berserk earlier for example like if I'm looking at that one it is very clear to like it, consistency is definitely the word yeah but like that one like in Berserk he's clear he's using some that are actual like brushes and then he's using like really fine point pens and different textures and that I mean to like an incredible effect so to each his own it's like different things but I would say like if you can avoid using different sized pens don't use them unless like it's a choice and that's my advice I mean I think you could feel it out but like if you're gonna do it do it deliberately sometimes I see people just like drawing like changing sizes of the pens and it just doesn't look like right it looks like in my opinion, like a little more amateurish. I would try, I my personal like style that I like to draw in is with the extra. The last two legs, yeah, I'm kind of just figuring we'll imply them behind. I mean, I, I wanna, I'm gonna fix the cane because this is not coming down far enough. Let me fix that first. bringing the cane all the way to the floor and then yeah what I'm what I think we're gonna do is the final two legs will just be kind of like implied back yeah that, that works see how I did that I just did the same kind of shape <laughs> Epic looking spider. I hope you guys have a blessed night by it. Thank you. Just dropping in to say epic freaking spider. Okay, now I'm going to do, 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 just fill in all these. And then just bring in. And then for the inside of clothing, I usually just bring things down a shade darker. Whoa. He looks good. I cannot lie. You know what, what I probably would do is actually add like a little buckle on the shoes or something. Just so they translate more as shoes. Spider, it's fresh as hell, dude. Whoa, it looks amazing. That is a very dapper spider. Well, look, so if you guys have been drawing along this whole time, it does look like solid good. If you've been drawing along this whole time and you're not in the Beetle Moses Discord, you should absolutely join that Beetle Moses Discord because then you can send the, you can send your drawing right in there and I'll be able to see it. And so will everybody else. We'll all be able to check out the drawings right there. What do you think about that? What should we draw next? What's the next thing that we're feeling? I'm excited to see all of your guys' drawings here. Gave mine the huge tarantula mandibles. I do like, I did like drawing this guy. Let me actually add a Mm-hmm. Let's go. Gotta just get rid of that. Dude, I know, it really does feel, I mean, actually, let's see here. Yeah, I've been streaming for a long time. 
It's like hitting me right now. I'm starting to feel like, holy shit, I've been at this for a long time. Let's hit the maximum amount of time. Let's see. Well, I started at three. Right now it is 9.25. Maximum amount of time. So yeah, the max time is ending at yeah, just before midnight, it would be the wolf. Would be, is pretty much like the maximum time. Six and a half hours is where we've been going. <laughs> Jesus Christ, this is far and away the longest that I've been on stream. Oh, you want to do Hawaii? Okay, let me pull up the thing that you were talking about. Let's see. Hang on, I'm pulling it up right now. Let me see, Game Boy. Where'd you send it at? Art General? Oh, I see. Got it. Okay, here. Where'd you find this album? I've never heard of it in my life. Let me save this guy. Save as... What was this guy? Dapper Tarantula? Hell yeah. Okay, let's see. I'm trying to think of what other funny thing that you put in there that isn't the fish mouth. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Like, I, did you want me to remix this main Game Boy? Like, how, do you want me to make something that, like, that just looks different? I don't even know exactly how to achieve this effect if I'm being totally honest. It's a very cool, like, vaporwave aesthetic. Aha! Uh -huh. oh, no! Metal Waluigi is gifting a tier one sub to Deadly Wanderer. Did someone just make monkey sounds in my building? What did you hear? Metal Waluigi! Let's go! Dude, we just hit the 75% goal. That's insane! That's freaking nuts. <laughs> Get this man a computer. <laughs> my dog started barking. All right, main game boy. I'm gonna try my best to draw this for you, but I really don't know if this is within my, the scope of my abilities. Well, hmm, I shouldn't say that. That kind of goes against my whole MO with this stream, doesn't it? Okay, let me try. It's a really personal album for me. I have some interesting stories with it. Really, it's so funny. I've never heard of this album, but I guess I... I guess there's a lot of stuff I don't know. Okay, let's see. So let's start with a square. Well, if it's a personal album for you, I don't want to... You know, is it okay if I make it silly? I don't like that bottom line. Okay, perfect. Tally Hall, I've never even heard of it. It's your stream, you can do whatever. It's pretty popular among Zoomers, I know about it. Okay. I guess because I'm kind of like boomer mode, I don't really know this one, but I believe you. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna draw my, I'm gonna do my best to draw this, okay? Let's start with, uh, well, let me make a new layer first under here and bring the opacity down because I need to frame these. Okay, so this is going up here and then there's like more stairs that are going up here. Okay, so it's even like that. Okay. Drawing a line. And then this bit. Bear with me. Hang on. The stairs are the hard part, honestly. Okay, let's go like this. 
Okay. Do 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 do. Okay, I think we're actually getting somewhere. The music suspiciously stopped again. Oh, and we're back. <laughs> it's like, why does it do that? It always psychs me out. Okay. Okay, stairs look pretty good. This bit is... I'm, I'm having trouble figuring out what this is. Let's just say it's more stairs. Like, from a different angle. That looks cool. We've got a dolphin over here, but maybe I'll draw something silly. But just to show that he's here. Okay, we've got the moon here. Big ass. Scary fish. What the hell kind of fish is this? It's terrifying. You need to make the Beetlejack an emote on the Cold Cuts Discord? Yeah, I, I agree. I'm going to add that for sure. Hang on. It's a big, toothy fucking animal. Alright, like that. It reminds me of the... Uh, the thing in, uh, imagine Joe Biden falling up the stairs. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's crazy. The, uh, it reminds me of the thing in the Mario game. Where you're underwater. Okay. Oh, wait, it's like kind of fucking up. Alright, I guess the... Dolphin has to be a little bit smaller. This emote is leaving my sphere of influence. Dude, that's what happens when you create beautiful art is sometimes it kind of like gets away from you. It becomes, it, be, it belongs to the masses now. But it's all thanks to you because you created something incredible. And then there is a rainbow going on back here. Can't forget that. Okay. I'm going to do my best to draw this. And then it, of course, says Hawaii Part 2 right in, in the front and center there. Okay. So here we are. Let's start with the stairs. Okay. Sorry, main game boy, were you looking to draw along with this? Are you following me while I'm doing it? Cause I'm not sure I can actually teach this one. How the hell did you do that? Metal Waluigi. How did you make the two? How the hell did you figure that out? Okay. Okay, we're looking good so far. Looking good. Trying? I'm, dude, I'm trying. This is like, this is some hard shit. 
Okay, here we go. We're gonna make these steps going up. Hawaii part two. The new Hawaii. Oh shit, he's still going. Yeah, dude, I'm still fucking going. I just found out that the official, like, final resting time is at, like, fucking 11.30 or something. <laughs> Been going since 2. Oh, I really don't know how some of these people, like, I, I know Vosh just earlier this year did, like, a 24-hour stream. How? How the hell do you do that? That's insanity. That's insanity. Okay. 24 hours is actually like out of fucking control. All right, I'm going to draw it. I'm going to keep it true to the to the thing, but I'll just kind of give it do it in my little goofy style. Make a new layer. Aha! Oh, Knuckles! Subscribed at tier one. They've subscribed for four months, supporting the troops. Dude, thank you. I, Mama didn't raise no quitter. All right, I'm getting this new freaking computer if it's the last thing I do. Thank you, Knuckles. Thank you for supporting the troops. This is truly what matters. Based. Look who's back in the chat, everybody. It's, it, it's Yolo Swag Studios. He's back in the chat. He's here. He's everybody's favorite. Insert slur. It's Yellow Swag Studios. Oh, actually, let me make a. God came to me in a vision and told me how to solve the Middle East problem. Go on. Hassan looks a bit weird today, but I think he's doing a good job with his Palestine business. What's happening? He said if you sign up now for five bucks, he can fix everything. That's true. That's actually true. If you sign up for the cold cuts, pay oh. If you sign up for the cold cuts, I just got a Patreon notification. I thought somebody signed up right there. That would have been too based. But no, if you sign up for the cold cuts Patreon, first of all, you get so much stuff. You get access to the freshest Discord imaginable. Okay? Unbelievable community of people. Unbelievable. And, to top it off, you get early access, bonus access, to comics, podcast episodes, more than you can imagine. And then, and even more so what the hell and then did you like just upload something to patreon because like all of the things are going crazy right now and to top it off if that ain't enough at certain tiers you get hand drawn custom drawings in the mail in the freaking mail Straight to your house from us. Can you believe that? Okay, there's one other thing I gotta do. How can I fit this? Where can I put the freaking rainbow in? I'm trying to decide. 
Uploaded two new comics? Jesus, man. I've been drawing as you draw, my love. Amazing. Amazing. Okay. Let me look back at this thing. I, I, need, I need to take a look at the colors. Oh my god, man. Ooh. Hmm? Mm, I'm okay, thank you. Let's see. Sorry, I got a little email there. Wait a minute, what the hell's going on here? Sorry, sorry guys. Will I post the tarantula in Discord? Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll post it all over there. Okay, let me see what's going on. Oh, actually, these, these should be black first. Let's do that. And then we've got, wait, what the fuck? Wait, I thought the one had a rainbow in it. Oh, it does have a rainbow. Okay, so then let's go with the stairs. Hang on. Mm. Nope, wrong. one yeah and then yeah dude these stairs are wacky I'm gonna kind of just like let's see here nice nice Is that your mom no, that's my GF <laughs> let's see This one is like, I can't tell if it's black and white. It's like slightly black and white, but there's some other like sort of colors peeking out there. Don't worry, I'm gonna come back to that guy in a sec. This guy's like... Hmm... It's kind of funny having just royalty free music playing in the background this whole time. It's also odd to me that like a lot of streamers, I mean I'm not really trying to pull this card, but it's like why are so many streamers allowed to use music that's not royalty free, but then like I have to be concerned that my stream will get busted. It's quite strange. <laughs> oh, what happened here? Oh, wait, sorry, wait, did something hit? Did I miss something? Sorry for spamming you with this. No, what? I mean, I'm actually enjoying drawing it. I'm just like trying to figure out exactly how to, like, it's not gonna be very good, but I'm just trying to kind of feel it out. Let's see if I can just, dee 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 dee. And then this one, I just gotta bring the opacity down. That, that was the, the main thing, just bring that one down. And then on this layer, you can stream with copyrighted music if you split the audio so it doesn't record the music or save the VODs. Oh. That makes sense. That makes sense. Okay, I'm gonna use the, I'm gonna, wait, I'm gonna make a new layer. And I have to make a rainbow. Well, 
orange. Wait, let me actually go back. Red. Orange. Yellow. Green. I love rainbows. Blue. Purple. And then, all you gotta do, bring that opacity down. <laughs> Dude, main Game Boy, I'm sorry, baby. <laughs> it's like, I really tried my best. This is like not something that's really within my wheelhouse. Oh, fuck. Hang on, wrong one. Let me see. Hang on, hang on. It's not over till it's over. Cause baby, it ain't over till it's over. So many tears I cry. And then I burn when I say. Baby, it ain't over till it's over. What? Well, hey, you know what? Actually, it's kind of coming together as I'm like doing this. Good. That actually looks good, right? Imagine that the, uh, imagine this band, what's the name of this band? Imagine they like commissioned, they were like, okay, here's the idea that we have. Like we want it to look like really cool vaporwave, like maybe stairs and like the ocean. And maybe there's like a creature kind of like fading in from the background and all this other stuff. And I'm like, yeah, 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 that sounds cool. Uh -huh. And then I give this. Oh, Yellow Swag Studios is gifting a, a tier two sub to the community. Holy shit, man. We're rolling in the big bucks. They've gifted four subs to the channel. And he gave a tier tier two sub to Chizow Chow. Chizow Chow, Yellow Swag Studios. Dude, Yellow Swag Studios is baller mode. He just comes into my stream and he just like... Baby daddy. <laughs> Amazing. Dude, we're getting this computer. Where are we at? 77. <sighs> Let's go. We're so close. I don't know if we'll hit the whole thing. But dude, what I mean, even when we first started, or like when I even first put that sub counter on there, we had already hit like 50 subs. I was like, dude, what? Which is amazing. You guys are so cool, so supportive. But if you want to help me get this new computer, if, if you if you can if you love what you see and you want to see more, we want to augment what we're already doing. We want to make this, we want to make this a home for you guys. And in order to do that, I would like a new computer so that I can bring Yellow Swag Studios on the stream, bring guests on the stream. We can do drawing together. We can play Guarded Phone on live stream. We can do video games on live stream. We can do cold cuts live. All this stuff. All that and more when I get a new computer. We're almost there, baby. Almost freaking there. We're almost there. Are you and this yellow dude boyfriends? For all intents and purposes, I would say yes. Would you call two men who talk every day and about their the future, the, their future together? And their emotions. Would you call that? Uh, would you call that boyfriends? An artist I've looked up to forever DM'd me and thought we were together. Wait, what? Who? What artist? <laughs> Who is that? What's gayer than making art together? Guys, there is nothing gay about two bros who are making art and discuss art together. 
and talk about their future together. You're not gonna say, I'll text you? Wait, who is it? Who the hell is it? You can't say. Oh god. Save it for a Patreon episode. It's Banksy. It's Banksy for sure. That's fucking hilarious. I mean, I mean, do you? Vouch. It's Steve Cuts, isn't it? More like Stanksy. <laughs> you! Get this guy out of here. Oh my god. <laughs> Got him. What do you guys think? Should we play Deal or No Deal? I haven't played Deal or No Deal on this stream in a long time. Hey, fucking computer, man. Play the food one. Let's see if I can pull it up here. Gotta close out of some windows here. Uh. Go. What was it? Meal or no meal? I think that's what it was called. <laughs> I'm addicted to games. Oh my god, look at that. How Metal Waluigi, how are you coming up with these insane? Okay, here, meal or no meal? Playing it out. Oh, we gotta watch an ad. I don't wanna watch this. Let's see if it'll just, let me just put that away for a second. See if it'll just roll the ad while we're not on there. Cause see, as soon as something, as a video starts playing <laughs> on my computer while I'm streaming, all of a sudden it's just like, hey, ooh, hey, ooh, ooh. Have you played that meat spin game yet? No. What's that? Should I look it up? <laughs> All aliens are twinks if you think about it. Oh, that's interesting. That is interesting. <sighs> oh my god. Jake told me that if you watch the video long enough, a screen pops up that says you're gay. <laughs> and I'm like... How do you know that? That's hilarious. How does he know that? That is not some, that's not a, f a fun fact that you want to share with people. War Rad. Here's a new Banksy drawing for you. If I was Banksy, this is the type of shit I would just be spray painting. I'm gonna show you right now. Room with a penis, and then I realized I probably couldn't do that on stream. What about that? Can you draw a Gengar? I feel like it would look insane in yourself. The funniest part about Meat Spin is that people thought it was two gay dudes, but it's actually a hung babe getting smashed. What? Is that real? Remember when Banksy solved the Israel-Palestine conflict? Dude, he was so real for that. People don't give him enough credit for solving war, bro. That is insane, I didn't know that. All right, I'll draw a Gengar. Uh, the dumbest fucking thing that I hate from Banksy is where he gets an old man to sell his painting or <laughs> whatever. I love that it's like, there, there's so much stuff like that that is just so like, of course he does that. It's like, I've never even heard of that, but I'm like, 
Oh, wow, dude. You know why people really believe that an old man made your painting? Like some old homeless man? Because your paintings stink. <laughs> you know what I mean? Whoa, it's still going strong. Yeah, Bottling Sunshine is back. I literally finally just was like, how long can this stream realistically go till? And it just, it told, it finally told me what the cap was. Oh, what happened here? Oh, got a nice little notification, baby. <laughs> yeah, 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 we're back. Let's go. All right, let me get rid of my little I like war guy. He's not doing it for me. Still going strong. We are 77% complete. Subathon has been an amazing success. All right, give me something to draw, guys. Why don't we draw? I think we should draw another guy like we did in the beginning. Right? So the expired cookies are fine, but they taste like iron for some reason. Okay, that's interesting. It was pr wait, what? It's pretty crazy when he solved the Russia-Ukraine war. Oh, dude, that was crazy. Oh, right, Gengar. Okay, let's let's draw Gengar. What does Gengar look like again? Gengar. Great name. I, this is one of my favorite Pokemons. I really do love him. He's so creepy. You know that little, uh, you want something? I want something with tits on it. <laughs> it's like the last thing, the last thing that we heard from Bottling Sunshine before they left. I was like, what's something that you drew as a kid? They are like, well, in the seventh grade, I drew this nude anime character, like bathing in a tub. And I was like, oh, that's kind of horny. And then they barge right back onto my stream and they're like, I want something with tits on it. <laughs> it's like, all right, we get it. Relax. Oh, God. All right, all right. Jugged up Gengar. Guys, tell me what you think. Tell me what you think of this. I really hope my Twitch doesn't get banned for this. <laughs> okay. His ears are supple. Thank you. Looking good so far. Looking good. Hang on. Don't you can't rush perfection. You know the uh, Pokemon theory that Gengar is actually like the shadow of what is it? The shadow of a Clefairy. Anybody know what I'm talking about? Put him in a thong? Man, I don't love how those breasts look. Go. Wait, I'm trying to picture how, like, where are the shoulders? How would this work? But, okay, because I was going to put, like, a bikini. But I'm, like, actually at a loss how this would fucking work. Okay. 
Nice big old naturals. If this doesn't give me some new subs, I don't know what will. Okay, here's what we need to do. How does a fucking... I'm trying to think. How the fuck does a bikini... Because, like... Okay. Is that right? right. Okay, hang on, hang on. I'm like kind of trying to feel this. It's like there's really not much body to work with here. We're just gonna get crazy. This is actually kind of like a cool designer bathing suit. I'm actually like focusing really fucking hard. Make this into a V2 model? What do you think of that? Finally some real art. Hung Babe Gengar. Okay, let's see. Let's see how it looks in color here. Oh. Purple. Oh, wait a minute. I gotta close out some of these lines here. <laughs> I've slept with three chicks on Grinder who look like this. Hang on, where did the other one go? There it is. This little sneaky bastard. Okay, I think. Yeah, okay, now we're talking. Now we are talking. Okay, what color should the bathing suit be? I think this color, right? Oh, fuck. Ah, oh, fuck. You can always tell when you misclick because there's like a slight delay for some reason. It like doesn't fill right away. Whoa. I know I'm ba this is basically me doing AI art for you guys. You gotta add the shine on the top of the, the breasts. It's always how the anime guys do it. They always add that little like shimmer up there. Uh oh. Computer's frozen on this shit. No. Is this allowed on Twitch? I have no idea. Should be. Beetle is our very own drawing robot. Uh, this is like kind of uh, getting out of control. All right, wait, let me close out of some of this stuff. Hey, Bottling Sunshine, look at some of the drawings that we did while you were gone. Check this out. Look at this one. Whoa. That's a good, that was a good drawing. This is a cool one, bad dog. I gotta close out of some of this stuff though. Cause I think that's what's making it run slow. What do you think of my cat? This is my dumb cat. It's my really stupid cat. <laughs> that dog drawing is sick. Yeah, I really like the way that dog one came out actually. Cat came out good too, let me save this one so I can close it. But that dog is something special for sure. Does it have brain damage? Yeah, brain damage, cat. Okay. Once that one's safe. Let's see what else we did here. Come on, baby. While I'm watching the loading bar on my screen here, it's like, okay, we're gonna save it. Come on. Guys, Beetle needs a new computer. Beetle needs a new computer. Oh, is the Dapper Tarantula that we all drew together. This one is in the Discord. If you guys wanted to go check out everybody else's Dapper Tarantulas, this is going to be there. 
Do we have confirmation these will be Patreon exclusive fresh stickers? Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. If you don't want those, that dog as a sticker, you sign up for the Patreon. I know, I literally have just too many fucking tabs open. Let me save this file. Save as uh, Hawaii Part 2, which is an album I had never heard of before, but cool album cover for sure. Bottling Sunshine, we need you in that Discord. We need you on that Patreon. Expeditiously, we need you in there. That would be awesome. Did the eel die? Are we remembering him? I don't know. It's funny. I like. Uh, I had never heard of this album, and it seemed like everybody else had before. Okay, this one I like. War. Don't save, because you know what? I don't like war. This one though. Whoa, Natty the Panda showing up like in the final buzzer. You think that's gonna be a Beetle stream without a Beetle fact? Think again, Beetle refact. Oh my God, Oni. Chocaris albitersis. <laughs> this is the only known beetle that has antenna modified with stingers in an interesting case of. I remember this one. In an interesting case of convergent evolution with scorpions and wasps. Comparative morphological studies showed remarkable similarities to the Telshin. Okay, what was that one called again? Amazing. Natty's back. Uh, Oni Chocer. Saris? Onicho Saris. Let me pull it up. Oh, this shit is still loading. This, this addicting game crap. Oh. This is not gonna fucking load. Okay, Onicho Saris. Or no, wait. How do you spell it? Oni. Joceris Albit. There it is. Yeah, this one was crazy. The fact that it has stingers on the tip of its antennas is like. That's straight up bizarre. That's really fucking cool, though. I love this one. Like, what? Yeah, wow, you can actually see it. It actually has stingers on the end of its antenna. That is so wacky. What a crazy, what a crazy beetle, crazy fact. Thank you, Natty. We love you. Back here. All right, let's see here. All right, back in the scroll. How does a bug have good character? This is like very good character design for a bug. It's just like unique. It's just unique. It's like so strange. I've never heard of, never heard of such a thing. All right, what do I do with this? This is just out of fucking control. He looks like he's shrugging. <laughs> Let's see. This is just. Yeah, Beetlebugs. I was here the whole time. I just want. I just wanted to save the Beetle fact to the end to fool you into thinking there was gonna be a single stream without Beetle fact. No, you almost got me. Sexy Pokemon calendar. Okay, let's make another sexy Pokemon. Guys, shout out a Pokemon that you'd like to see sexified like I just did. Give me a Pokemon. Diglett. <laughs> Rouge the Bat. Not a Pokemon. Low Punny. Already sexy. Rhyperior. Already sexy. Vileplume. Rouge the Bat. <laughs> Ninetales. Onyx. Ditto. <laughs> Ditto. Snorlax, dude, Snorlax is thick. Weedle. Heracross. <laughs> okay. Shadow the Hedgehog. Not a Pokemon. Second Heracross. Okay, I gotta pull up a picture of Heracross on my thing. Nose Pass. That one's classic. Sexy Nose Pass. Heracross. Okay. God, Heracross is such a based Pokemon. I freaking love this one so much. So fresh. So fresh. Okay. I hate Nosepass. I love Nosepass. I, I always love those, like, goofy-looking, like, one-off Pokemons. And actually... Yeah, yeah. I love those. Three, the third Heracross. They're like a Weevil Pokemon. Okay, I'm gonna start drawing Heracross here. You guys can tell me if you recognize it. I'm basically just tracing it off of a thing. 
He's so cute too. He's got this nice little like like such a cute little bug. Mm, okay, let's see. He's got another eye right here. No. Why is it? Why can't I get this right? It's like second eye is really giving me a run for my money. Okay, there we go. All right. I'm going to tell you right now, I already just thought of something to do here. Check this out. Look at this. He's got the panties hanging from the thing. What do you think of that? Oops. Draw him giving top. <laughs> oh, good. One thing at a time. Okay. I love this cute little... There you go. It's wild that those are my panties. Dude, how the hell did they... How did he get them? All right, we're off to a very good start here. Okay. Let me plot this out real quick. Now, I got to draw... Okay, okay, I got to draw the arm. I don't want it to be too far away. No, oh, wait a minute. That doesn't look right. I gotta get it just right because I need it to. I need it to really look like Pokemon. There can be no mistaking it. Okay, here we go. Now we're in business. <laughs> you can pull so hard. This is going crazy. Bro, I sell Pokemon Doodles and Instant sometimes they look like ass compared to you. You start dropping some more. That would be cool. Like little Pokemon Doodles like this. Well, you tell me things have only just begun, so you let me know if this is Also, let me let me let me get some color in here. Gotta get things looking right. There we go. Oh no, hang on. Wasn't close enough. Okay. We need the we need the big naturals, right? Right? Big naturals? Anybody? Going once for big naturals? Draw them more like armor. Armor, like, uh, <laughs> this is like kind of pushing what I'm uh, actually able to do. Okay, here, how about this? Like, Kind of like the uh... <laughs> damn. Okay, it's kind of like the the beetle that Natty just showed us that has uh, adapted stingers. It's kind of like the Lara Croft thing. All right, let me let me let me let me edit this slightly. Hang on a sec. Change canvas size. <laughs> this 
shit has skills. <laughs> All right, here we go. Gotta get it. I gotta just. I, it's gotta be right. I can't just. You know. I gotta get all the dimensions exactly right. Here's the thing. How do I? What do you think about that? Kind of like a little like hip dip there. What do we think about that slightly like thick build? I feel like we might be getting somewhere. Fuck, dude. This is a hard ass Pokemon to draw. They were not playing when they came up with this design. This is a fantastic character design, though, I have to say. I mean, without question, like, they were cooking when they came up with this one. This is so hot. Forest Rider cheered 100 bits. Booba! <laughs> oh my god. Alright, hang on. Let me. Let me. Okay. We're getting somewhere. Look, my computer's about to light on fire from how hot this one is. Fort Strider is here! Okay, hang on a sec, guys. Let's uh, get this out. Oh my god, bro. Oh, she's topless. You know, I kind of, I'm not even really feeling like this is... Transfer the blue, there we go. I feel like we need, this is not the right shade of blue. Yeah, that's closer. That's better. Let's go. Okay, and now I just need that next arm. Oh, let me actually... Beetle getting spicy for the last 80 minutes. I'm shilling for the subs, dude. I'm shilled. What, could, what should this one be doing? What should the other hand be doing? Let me see if I can... Aha! Oh! Felda just subscribed with Prime Gaming! They've subscribed for three months! Dude! Felda! Wait, I don't do this right. Felda! Thank you. Thank you for the sub. Hang on, I gotta get these. I gotta get this. The curves just right, you know? There we go, that's it. Do the other hand like call me thing? That's good. Okay, that's good. Let me see. Uh oh.
This is perfect goon material. Oh boy, my shit is frozen again. I just finished my session, tapped out for it. The Heracrusy. Felda says Heracrusy. Oh my god, dude, my thing is like frozen right now. Get Beetle a PC. Get Beetle a new laptop. I can't believe we're almost at the end here. We're approaching the final hour. We really pushed it all the way to the limit, which is insane. Okay, here we go. Aha! Oh! G Goopter is gifting 2 1 subs! To the community, they gifted it to Just a Goose and Bobo Hobo 1220. Let's go. I haven't eaten today and just drank a juice force, but I love you, honk. Yeah, I love you, baby. Dude, let's go. Oh, shit. A hype train is close, but it has to happen in the next 20 seconds. And then we get a new emote. Ahaha. Did the ahaha get louder? Is it just me? I don't think it got louder. Ahaha! Uh, Ahaha! Uh, oh! YOLO SWAG HYPE TRAIN INCOMING! OVERLORD! ROAR! Subscribe with Brian Gaming and YOLO SWAG uh -huh. HYPE TRAIN a tier 1 sub to Millennium Hero! Holy shit! Oh my god, level 1 hype train! Oh! <laughs> All right, I'm gonna pat auto mod. Just caught your message, Bread Zero. This is really. I'm gonna allow it because it's really funny that they caught this. They were like, they caught it for race or religion. <laughs> Felda cheered 100 bits. Oh, Felda! Oh, dude, we're about to hit another hype train. Holy shit! Beetle Moses uh, at user added <laughs> permitted the term honkies. <laughs> oh god, that's funny. Very close to another very close to another hype train. Alright, let me see here. Very close. Hang on, I gotta hit this next one. Oh, an oh my god, dude. Gifting another sub. Yo, uh -huh. gifted a tier one sub to Bluish Zulu. Oh, shit, and Felda, Metal Waluigi. Oh my god. Knuckles, gifted a tier one sub to Big White Bear. Let's go. Level two hype train. Let's fucking go. Dang, dude. I'd send some gift subs your way, but I'm a broke bitch till Friday. You know what? I'm just happy that you're here, Trash Pins. It's okay. You've done so much for me, baby. I could never stop. Uh -huh. Oh my god. Kn Knackles gifted a tier one sub to Big White Bear. Welcome to the family. Holy shit. That was exciting. There was a lot going on right there for a second there. Oh my god, dude. Oh, wait. Let me actually get this right. Gotta get this one just right. There we go. Gotta get the pink thong and then this one up here you already know this one is one of those uh, leopard print yeah I want to let you know. Oh, dude, where's the bulge? Oh, it's so true. Metal Waluigi. 
I want to let y'all know I watched that fucking chinchilla animation for the 20th time today. It's my favorite. We have we were literally having a whole... But Metal Waluigi, I love you. I'm going to add a bulge right now. I got you. Uh, we were literally just having a discussion today that it's like, it's time for us to... We, we actually are like working on a new animation right now. We recorded the audio for it. But we have to actually now like cut it and animate it. But, but we're trying to... We were actually thinking about like, uh -huh. oh, <laughs> grumpy, academic Italian, dude, holy shit, we're actually approaching another hype chain, grumpy, academic Italian, dude, we're at 85, 85%, YOLO has an alt, wait a minute, I gotta get this circle exactly right. There we go. How's that? Uh -huh. Oh my god, dude. Yellow Swag Studios is gifting another tier one sub to the community. This one went to Kyra Dang Danguis. Kyra Danguis. Dude, let's fucking go. God damn. It says I'm about to beat my last record. Keep up the support. I don't know what to do. Keep up the support. Keep up the support. This is great. This one's topless. Oh, here, let me also, let me look, I gotta get the highlights just right. Keep up the support. Okay, hang on. Hi. Oh, Felda gifting a tier one sub. <laughs> Dude, I love you guys. Thank you so much. To Kuro Boy Bricks. Beetle will take his shirt off for 10 minutes. Wait, 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 wait. No. No. When Cold Cuts hits 100,000, uh, we're starting an OnlyFans. Do the Dougie for subs. I have no idea how to Dougie. Does anybody in this chat know how to Dougie? Who knows how to do that? Not me. Oh, we received a level one hype train emote. Share. Hang on a sec, I got you guys. Share. Is it sharing? Choo choo. Hit the new one. Choo choo. Yeah, I'm gonna hit the fattest whip I can. Ready? This is as fat of a whip as I could do. I get hit a harder dab. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm not as young as I used to be. POV or blobby comics. Do you just bro fist? Yes. Hang on, let me finish. I gotta, wait, wait. I gotta just finish drawing the last couple shiny bits here ready bing bong boom b look see just gives it that extra look at that it's actually really good <laughs> all right we're just about my what the hell my ex and god sister is dming me on insta send help is that just one person? It's troublesome, to say the least. Oiled up Heracross, yo, this is sick. All right, so now I have, we've got this one, and this one. Those are some polished titties. What did I walk into? All right, we need another sexy Pokemon suggestion. Give me something that's, uh, 
Can you do a dab? <laughs> Dabbing for subs. Oddish. Rhydon. Kakuna. Sexy nose pass. Can you do beefy Cyndaquil? Low punny. Low punny's already sexy. We're trying. Oh, shuckle? That's funny. How the hell am I gonna do a shuckle? A sexy shuckle. How? It's like, I like the idea of taking a Pokemon that's like completely sexless and like trying to make them sexy. How the fuck would I draw that? Shuckle. Don't, don't fuckle the shuckle. It's all dicks. Oh god. I don't even really know how to do it. Sexy Geodude, please. Okay. Let me pull up a Geodude. Geodude. What is Klefki? Uh, you guys, you guys in your new Pokemon, I don't know what the hell a Klefki is. I've never even heard of that. Klefki, it's the keychain one. Klefki is bullshit. Can you do a gay guy says what drawing? A what? No! Geodude is already a tit with arms. Dude, tell me what you think of this. That actually gives me an idea. Wait, how the fuck, dude? Some of these Pokemon, man, like, how the hell? I'm trying to figure this out. Okay. Can I get a better photo of Geodude here? This is, like, not making it easy for me. That's better. Okay, let's see here. We need eyebrows... Can I just say, this is not good Pokemon design? Like, I know that there's some, like, purists who believe that, like, the first gen is basically all hits, no misses. But, like, I even as a kid, I thought that this one was kind of dopey. Like, is this anybody's favorite Pokemon? I really do not fuck with Geodude at all. It's like a rock with arms like really that's the best you guys could come up with bro geodes nuts geodude is a hood i mean obviously he's classic because he's just like old but like really like think about all the other classic pokemon better watch out <laughs> He's like Golem, but Self-Destruct is such a lame move. Yeah, I know. It's the most embarrassing thing, in my opinion, a Pokemon can do. Like, when you're facing off with a trainer, and they're like, they're like, uh, Golem uses Self-Destruct, and he explodes, and it, like, doesn't kill you. Like, even if it does a lot of damage, but it doesn't kill you, and the other one dies, you're just like... Okay. Like, it's like, all, it's like literally the most humiliating thing that could happen. All right, tell me what you think of this. Hang on. How are we feeling about that so far? Uh, wait, I think another one needs 
Sorry, I needed a little facelift there. More rock like? That's rock and roll, baby. That's all natural. What's the problem here? God. I can't make them fully nude because that's against, I think, terms of service. Pretty good. Just say it's his chin. That's true. It does kind of just look like a chin. All right, for now, we'll just keep him. Let's just draw the arms next. Gotta bring this up and around. I love that we're just at this stage in the stream. You got this brother sorry to hear about your latinx woman probably the latest to have he's got some saggers uh chiseled titty like the david statue his confidence is what makes <laughs> i know right he's just like he's just owning it like the bottom line is that like you just can't tell him anything because he's just really owning this is who he is Maybe you should tweet out that you're drawing Pokemon with tits. I bet more people would show up. Should I tweet that out? I've got one hour left. Hmm. Gotta just get it exactly right. Okay, tell me what you guys think of this here. Color men. It does need like uh Oh, we're under an hour. Under an hour. 13 subs remain. Only 13 subs remain. Huge lips. That's probably true. Hmm. I think that's a good idea. Let me... Be... 
Always gotta hit it with that little highlight. Can you ice his nipples, please? Get them sharp. Oh, God. <laughs> Let's see here. Hang on, I just need to cycle through what we've already drawn here. Wow. Do we have a favorite so far? This one goes crazy. Geo <laughs> dude got them heavies. Yeah! <laughs> Why are they so smooth? Can you give him some yassified eyebrows? I'm not even sure what that entails. Should've known. Okay, here we go. Gotta just... Hmm. Shouldn't the eyebrows be on his brow? <laughs> Wait. You're lucky that Bloodberry Tart chick isn't streaming right now. I don't know who that is. I cannot resist watching her play Silent Hill. I don't even know what that means. The Yassified... Okay, lips and nails. Okay, so... So, like, here? Is that where they should go? Okay, let's go. We're getting my boy a computer. We are so freaking close. We are so close. Oh shit. I'm feeling like this is, uh, this is looking kind of good. <laughs> Yassified. Okay, I think... Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> Drawing thick Latina Geodude for subs. So base. Gotta just give it that little shine. <laughs> it's looking good. I gotta go 
get the... Oh, this is what it needs. The wings. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh! Hesinator, subscribe with Prime Gaming! Let's go get that ball rolling again. Get it rolling. Let's get a new computer. I'm feeling it We're right here. This kid might just go all the way 88 subs. What does this mean? Oh my god, dude. I was like, did you guys know that there was a, uh, an assassination attempt on Barack Obama? <laughs> I was literally reading about it on Wikipedia when I was supposed to be doing like some other work. I had no idea such a thing even happened, but it was like the guys who did it that are like the, the, the guys that actually did it. No, not recently. It was when he was actually running for president. He was not even president yet. It's not recently. It was all the way back in like 2008. He was like one of the leading candidates. And there were these two guys in like Tennessee that were like white supremacists and wanted to basically assassinate Barack Obama and like a whole other like thing. And they had written up this crazy manifesto that they were gonna like paint all this crazy shit on their car. And they wanted to dress up in full white tuxedos and top hats. And like, I'm not even kidding. All of this is like, they all, they wrote all this shit down and they said that they like, like were trying, they were going to drive their truck right at like Barack Obama and try to hit him. And it's like, somehow the FBI was like monitoring it. Like they were like able, they were able to like track their calls or like they were aware that it was going on for some reason. And they, they arrested them and they went to jail, but both of them are free now they're both out because like basically it's they're they basically in trial were like okay even though these guys were considering assassinating barack obama their plan was so dumb that their the actual threat to barack obama was like very low like they determined that even though these guys did intend to murder him and they had reason to believe that they were going to like carry out, try to carry out this assassination. They were given basically reduced sentences because they were like, they're like ridiculous. They were like too dumb. Like they were like, this never w really posed an imminent threat. Like I actually don't think Barack Obama even knew about it until afterward, like after it happened. <laughs> Clipping this would be hilarious. Guy talking about an attempted ass Obama assassination <laughs> in the middle of drawing Yasified Geo, dude. Oh my god. Dude, that is so good. Uh, it was literally like, Your Honor, my client is fucking stupid. I think that their lawyers were kind of like trying to point to the fact that they're like, Guys, in the manifesto, they said they were going to wear top hats and paint their cars. Like, the reason I thought of it is because they were going to paint like. 1488 all over their car or something like that and so all the people were like why would if they were trying to carry out this crazy covert operation why would they be driving around in top hats with all this crazy shit all over their car it was like so like they it was so harebrained that they literally got a reduced sentence because it was too stupid joe biden's america ladies and gentlemen <laughs> oh god all right we're under 50 minutes here guys it's time to make the big push. Big push. Give me another Pokemon. Next Pokemon. Hit me. Beefy Cyndaquil. Psyduck. Can you make Snorlax but balding? Wurmple. Nosepass game. Hypno. Jinx. Meganium. Like George Costanza's hairline. Uh, Nido King and Nido Queen doing the wow, wow queen, you're so beautiful thing. That's good. Nose Pass Gang is crazy. Sonichu. Oh god, not Mr. Mime. Sonichu. What does Sonichu look like again? 
Sunflora, Mr. Mime. A lot of people saying Sonichu in the chat. A lot of people are saying this. All right, what is uh, Sonic but Pikachu? Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> Sexy Sonichu. Somebody must have drawn it already. Make it up. I love that this Sonichu even exists. It's so awesome. Chris Chan. Draw what you think Sonichu would look like with no reference. Okay. Zero reference. Tell me how I do. You viewers at home, pull up a picture of Sonichu next to you. I am not looking at one. Okay? Tell me how close I get to drawing it. Sonichu from memory. My computer is frozen yet again. I have been interrupted several times over the course of my drawing. This is why, my friends, I am saving up for a new computer. <laughs> because this shit is becoming unbearable. I'm literally still sitting here while it's loading. Save the other drawings. Yeah, you're right, I should. Alright, I'm gonna go through them and save after all this shit. It's not frozen. This has literally been happening the entire stream. 45 minutes! 45 minutes remain! Dang, is this still going? Are we good here? Come on, baby. Gotta post the masterpieces on the bird app. All right, file. Save as. Heracross. Okay. Oh! Oh my God, Sid Savage just donated $25. Dude, Sid Savage, I love you, I love you, thank you, 25 bucks, that's a lot of money, thank you so much, oh my god, save as, let's see here, let's go, Geodude, Geodude. It's like five subs. It seriously is. $25, let's go! We're getting a new computer, baby. New computer, new computer. It's new computer time. This Gengar one, I'm sorry, I think this one's still my favorite. There's just something so like pure and innocent about it. I can't, can't really explain it. The amount of entertainment from the stream is worth way more than 25. Thank you so much. I, I really I really am having fun. I honestly cannot believe I've been live for like 10 hours. Oh, uh -huh. hey, Luigi! Gifting a tier one sub to Beetle Moses community. They gifted it to Er. Uh -huh. Metal while Luigi. Oh my god, dude. 89. Home stretch, home stretch. This is a uh, Gengar. I need a VTube model of this babe. I need you to make a VTube model of this babe, dude. I would if I had a new computer. I would also play some shit like that on the stream. That would be so much fun. Okay, and we're back to Sonichu. Remember, all off the dome. I'm not looking at a reference.
Hmm. Here we go. All right, I'm going to guess this definitely has the Pikachu ears. To the community, they gifted it to Sudden D Fenestration. Oh shit! Uh -huh. Yolo Swag Studios just gifted a tier one sub to Blue One Two Snowflakes. Oh my god, dude! Less than ten, less than ten. We are almost, we're almost there, baby. Knuckles, Yolo Swag Studios. Let's go. So close. We're right there. Nine more. Will it be done before Sonichu is complete? We're almost there. Nope. Nope. Hang on. Click the wrong button. Why do I feel like this is actually like what he looks like? Show us your hog. Matching up to tier two subs. Oh my god. Holy shit. The handsome Adam Friedland. Whip it out. Whip it out. Dude. Wait, no, that's not it. How do where we? Ah ha ha! Oh, oh no way, dude! Bugs on my wee wee! Oh my god! Just gifted five tier one subs to the community. Holy shit! It just went fullstrom. Bella Space Music, S Rightus. Uh, Sweet Hellwolf and Sharori. Oh my god, dude. Uh -huh. Oh shit. And Yellow Swag just fucking gifted another one. Oh my god. We're at 97. <laughs> dude, what? Wallet is fat. Holy shit. Bugs on my wee wee. Dude, Yellow Swag and Bugs on my wee wee. Oh uh -huh. shit. Bottling Sunshine. Dude. Bottling Sunshine gifted a tier one sub. Let's fucking go to Porcelain Horsehead. Oh shit, spaghetti. Oh! Uh -huh. That's. Let's go! Let's go! Uh -huh. Uh -huh. A hundred subs! Uh -huh. Woo! <laughs> yeah! Speech, say a word. Guys, okay, we need a speech. Okay, okay, I'm gonna give you a speech right now. I'm gonna give you a speech. I'm gonna give you a speech. Oh, we broke, we're at 101! Speech, speech, speech. Okay. Guys. I freaking love you. Could I have ever dreamed that I would get a hundred subs in one night on this on this stream? Absolutely not. This is that this is blows my mind. I actually am getting emotional. I cannot believe that you guys all want to support me. That you've all been watching the stream. Some of you guys have literally been watching the entire time, been peeking in and out the entire time. Even if you're just tuning in now, you were here. Uh, it really does make me emotional. I swear to God, like uh, just the fact that I can 
goof around and be myself and just like have fun and that you guys are all here with me and you're here right now and hopefully this is just the beginning and things are just going to get better and the, the the donations that you guys made to me tonight are there so that I can give you more of myself. I want to I want to get a better computer. I'm going to get a better computer. This, this is it. This is what I needed. So I'm going to get a better computer. That means that I'm going to be able to do more streams, like more more variety, just more more more. That's all I want to do. Like I don't I I I know a lot of creators talk sometimes about feeling burnout and stuff like that and I have to say like I never I never feel that way. I mean, I, I do get tired to, like normal humans do, but like I just love what I'm doing so much and it's all because of you guys that they like keep me motivated and keep me going and like I just love you. I I, I can't I can't even find the words. I'm like so so honored and so flattered that you guys want to spend your time with me. And um it's great. I'm going to keep doing I'm going to keep doing everything that I'm doing right now. I'm going to keep giving you guys the comics we're gonna work on animations uh we're gonna keep doing podcasts we're gonna keep doing streams like all the stuff that we've been doing i just want to pump it way up i just i just love doing all this stuff and you guys everybody in the chat right now we're bonded for life all right bonded forever yeah i will always love you all right we're this is we're in we we are in year two right now all right i started in april of last year it's been a year and a half. Look how far we came. It's all thanks to you guys. It's amazing. It's amazing. Uh, and hopefully we'll have way more subathons in the future. This was really fun. And now having a new computer will mean I can have even a greater variety. It won't just be me, you know, drawing. Like, we'll be able to do all kinds of stuff. We'll be able to bring other people on and, and all kinds of stuff. So I'm going to ride this out. I'm going to ride. I mean, I'll ride the, the, the next 30 minutes out. There's no reason not to. And. I can't wait for the Harris allegations to drop. I swear it is not there. I swear. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to bring YOLO in on there. Uh, I'm going to bring Bottling Sunshine in here. Dude, Blood Pack, Blood Pack. This is like, this is great, dude. Everybody who's been watching my streams and has taken any, if there's been any piece of advice that I've given you since, like, since you've been drawing, you know, or since you've been following along, if there's any piece of advice that you've been able to take with you, that that's what matters most to me about anything, all right? You should never stop drawing. You should draw things that you want to draw. You should draw things that other people want to draw that you care about, you know, and I think maybe that's something I haven't, like, I know I always say, like, draw for yourself, but, like, you can give yourself to people through your art, you know what I mean? Like, what we were doing today, where I was, like, taking... You know, if I was just doing the whole time things that I wanted to draw, that's one thing and it might still be fun. But look at this. Look at this community that we have around art. It doesn't have to be a lonely endeavor. You know what I mean? I love making things that you guys want to see because I love you guys and I love that it makes you happy. So, and because it, it makes me happy. You know what I mean? Am I rambling? I'm very excited. This is awesome. I really didn't know what to expect tonight. I was worried that, like, there was a chance that, like, uh, like, we wouldn't even, like, like, I don't know. I was like, what if I just don't get any subs? Like, what if the, what if I do this subathon and it just, like, runs an hour and I'm like, okay, that was fun. But the fact that we, like, literally maxed out the thing and, uh, <laughs> there's just, like, there's just, like, <laughs> Roman Polanski of webcomics. That is so funny. Wait, YOLO must be heard. What is, is YOLO saying something? What's going on? Oh, sorry. I had my, are you calling me? Here, I'm calling you back right now. Is this what you want to hear? Bro. Hey, bro. Bro. Yo. Can you hear him? Dog. Dude, this is so... Bro, congratulations. Okay? You've been my boy since day one. I just want to say congratulations. And uh, you're very fresh, bro. This is amazing. This is great for you. Dude, I'm really, really excited. Uh, yeah, I'm, I can't believe... I cannot believe that we achieved this together, dude. I couldn't have done it without you. There is so much more on the horizon. Like, I just can't believe... I can't believe how many people are just even, like, in here right now. Just, like, watching and talking. Bro, it's insane. So fresh, and I gotta say, am, am I on speaker? Yes. Okay, I know there's some people in the chat who want to become artists, okay? Yes. I want to say... You as an artist, I know there's been times where you've been like, bro, 
I don't know if I, I don't know if I have what it takes. I don't know if I can take it the extra mile, and I hope tonight shows you, bro, that you were the freshest man out there. You were going to keep making an amazing web comics, and anyone who wants to make shit, just get out and fucking do it. Harris is the man. He's an inspiration to all of us, and I'm so proud of you, bro. I love you, so baby. Impressed. I love you. Also, Thank you. now that you have a computer, you have to edit 50% of the episodes. Okay, legally, I can do that, too. Legally, okay? I'm just throwing that out there. <laughs> okay, right. good. Okay, I can make it happen. All right. All right, bro. Get back to your stream. This is amazing. Congratulations. All right, I love you. I'll talk to you later. All right, peace. Peace. Dude. Absolutely. I mean, look, you heard it from the man himself. If you are at home and you're watching right now, if you've been watching, uh, I'm, I'm going to read some of these highlighted messages. I'm sorry. I know I'm like, there's like so much stuff going on, but like, it, like if, if you're watching at home and you're like, you know, af like afraid to get started or hesitating or just like, just not, not sure if you're ready to take the leap or put your stuff, you know, like, like, you know, put your stuff out there. Look, you, you have to do it, all right? Like, I, since I started this whole Beetle Moses thing, I've been kicking myself the entire time for not starting sooner. You know what I mean? And it's hard even now. Sometimes I see other creators who are farther along than I am, and I get that, like, envy, not just of where they're at, but that I'm just like, why didn't I have that foresight to start it sooner? I don't know why. So my advice to you is that, like, I'm trying, I'm, like, I want, I want you guys, I want you guys to do that. I don't want you guys to wait as long as I did. Look, I had no regrets, right? Like, we, I, I wouldn't have gotten here if it didn't happen this way, okay? But start now, start now. Take a chance on yourself. Do something for yourself. Do it for you. And then you know what? You're going to make other people happy by doing it. And I, and I know I've said some, some, I'm sorry, I forget who brought it up here before but it's like it, no one is going to make the, the the art that you are going to make when you when you decide to be honest with yourself nobody else can make that so if you don't make it it won't exist it is literally that simple if you don't make it it won't exist you have to just do it you have to do it the best time to start was yesterday but today is good too do you understand what i'm saying can you play the Muzzy music video before you intro? I'll try, but I don't even think it's going to load right. I'm telling you. Oh, my God. I, like, turned my phone off silent mode, and now my Discord's blowing up and all this crazy stuff. It's true. It's true. Bonic Sanchez says you're making me cry. Keep talking, but let me see those other tabs. What are the tabs? <laughs> Studio Zero is saying all this crazy shit. Oh, my God. Dude, I, this is just... I, oh, hang on. I'm trying to go back through here. Thanks for making weird art for the hell of it and empowering me to make weird art for the hell of it. Dude, do it, do it. You and Yolo inspired me to actually pursue, pursue my game design passion as a potential career around the same time you started streaming. I pitched a game to a publisher and now it's actually getting made. I love you guys in Cold Cuts. That is fucking amazing, dude. That That is at Bread Zero. That is so amazing. I know that you've mentioned before that you were, you know, that you were uh, like, like getting published, but I wasn't sure in what capacity. So to hear that it's actually something that's like you're passionate about that is the most beautiful thing and it's like look on, a, on, a, on another thing like you know they, we, we live in times that are not very fun right it just feels like it feels like there's a lot of bad news happening all the time right there's always something there's always something terrible going on and it's really easy to get caught up in all of that shit but the two things that you can do I'm telling you the two things are do things for yourself that are going to make you happy in the future. And I'm telling you, that means taking a chance on yourself and making art and being involved with the people who are there, who are, are there for you. You know what I mean? Be grateful for the people who care about you, who are around you, who are supporting you. If they're online, that counts too. If there's people online that are support, if you're, if, let's say you're just starting out and you have a few followers or something like that, okay? love those people carry them with you they're really they're important they're gonna ride that train with you all the way up the mountain all right hold on to those people I'm telling you uh seriously though i haven't drawn in months and all summer and your discord has helped me start getting back into drawing and figuring out what to do with it i'm having so much fun and i appreciate it this great paranoid android 
That's great, man. I yeah, that that's fantastic. That's all I want to hear. I want to hear that people are like are picking up the pen again, you know, and like even if visual art isn't the thing, like maybe you have something else that you're just putting on the back burner because you've been told by all the boomers in your life, and I mean boomer not as like literal boomers, but millennials now too or whoever the fuck is going to tell you. I still, dude, I still have people who are like not really paying attention to what I'm doing, but like peripheral people in my life that are like slightly older that like still don't get it and are still just like, oh, well, it's, you know, it's really hard to make money as an artist. And I'm like, dude, I am so beyond that. You know what I mean? Like, it's not about, I'm like, it's not about that. Do you understand? I, yes, I have to make a living. Thank you for reminding me that. But like those people, you need to just fuck it. Mm. You know, goodbye, goodbye. <laughs> D don't listen to people like that. I took way too much fucking time. Too much time on my life. Oh, and there's the Patreon too. <laughs> you wanna... Yeah, we hit the sub goal. Don't come to school tomorrow. Oh my God, dude. Let's see. Uh, wait, what is what it? Main Game Boy said, when you make art, try to make sure it makes you smile. When it's done, others might smile as much, if not more than you. It's so true. It's so true. I strive to achieve the comedic genius artists like you exhibit on a daily basis. That's crazy. I, I mean, I don't like that. I, that's really flattering, but I don't know if I'm worthy of that. That I'm just I'm I'm just doing things that I think are funny and I, it's amazing and it's awesome to me that other people are are there with me. I swear this is like I, like this is, feels like such a high high achievement. I'm so excited that to have achieved this. Seriously, this was crazy. And once I get a new computer, like a new setup and everything on here, there's so much stuff that I'm excited to. That's the, that's that that's the thing. Like when you when you know, I just the, the excitement never stops. I never am not excited. Sometimes it manifests as anxiety because I'm like oh, I'm thinking about all the work that I have to do. Like this morning, I kind of woke up and I was like tossing and turning and feeling like, ah, oh, like. There's so much I have to do. I gotta get up out of bed and I gotta set up for this stream. And what if the stream doesn't go right? But you know what all that was is like, I'm excited. Like, I'm like, you know what I mean? I'm like, it's going to be fun. I know it's gonna be fun. You don't have to make money to make an impact. I will never forget Jugged Up Geo Dude on my deathbed. <laughs> I will remember this moment. Good, Knuckles. I'm glad. I'm glad to hear it. Oh my god, that was really fun. This whole thing was really fun. Dude, I'm like, it like all hit me at once. I was like, holy shit, I cannot believe we just hit that sub goal. Woo, everyone's posting hole in the Discord. Let's go, finally. <laughs> finally. Base, new Patreon joiner. Dude, if you guys decided that you wanted to join the Patreon and come in there too, we just have, there is such a fresh, amazing community too. I mean... You guys also who are in the chat who happen to also be in that Patreon, you know how much I love you. Uh, like, I, I, you, you guys have just been, like, so helpful and supportive. And, I mean, it's become, like, you know, like, it's it's become, like, a group chat that I'm just in and, like, chatting with you, with you guys, all of you, about just, like, random things and even things that are, like, related to work, my own frustrations and things like that. It's, like, become such a good like just like 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 social like outlet for me in related and in relation to like the beetle moses thing and the fact that you guys all want to be there with me to support me and yolo swag studios it's just like it's just great it's great like it's it, it, i don't know the whole thing is fantastic um <laughs> studio zero is like <laughs> Studio Zero, who's been messaging in the thing, just did like dead on Patrick Bateman impression in the same, in this last Kyle Edward Ball interview that we just did. You have to check out the, uh, I only joined the Patreon to hang out with the Cold Cuts for the art and podcast. It's all just extra goodies. That's true. We ball 24 7. Uh, I want stickers. The Medusa drawing is sick. Uh, is that Sonichu? Yeah, I was halfway through Sonichu. Maybe I'll keep working while I talk here. I can't believe that we just hit that, guys. That was crazy. I seriously was like, I have no idea what to expect from this stream. I didn't know 
I didn't know. I was like, I, I really don't fucking know what is going to happen. I don't know if it's... I was really worried that it was just going to be a bust. Like, that there was a chance that it was just going to be... You know, not that many people in here, or like, something like that. But the fact that... It's been like, good... Like, a good turnout, and... Yeah, it's great. It's great. Okay, let me see here. Uh... And, you know, I know I've already said it like a million times, but I just thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. Seriously, I, if you've been following me on Twitch or, or, or on Twitter or Instagram or whatever, it's like, you know, going through all of these different, uh, you know, wait, no, Sonic Chew doesn't have that. Going through all these crazy phases with, uh social media and feeling like it's you know like always feeling like it's Jover and that there's like you know like that oh man they just did this on Twitter you know it, it gets to be a pain in the ass but it's like the only things that the only thing that really keeps it like worthwhile the whole time is that is just it like you know interacting with you guys seriously interacting with the fans there's always people that I can count on to, you know, comment, react, share my stuff, message me, you know, all kinds of stuff. I have, like, the core, and that core was small at the very beginning, and now it's, like, I have that core of, like, all of you guys that are in here that, like, I can just count on, you know what I mean? Like, no matter what. I, that's why somebody early on in the stream was asking me about the algorithm, if I worry about it, and it's, like... I really feel like I'm, I'm, I've broken past that because it's like, yeah, I still want to reach new people, but it's like, I'm posting now for you guys, you know what I mean? Like, I there's like names to it now. I, I, I wouldn't stop posting or I wouldn't get frustrated because I wasn't reaching new people because I'm like, I've got, I've got the audience, I've got people here. So, alright, let's see here, hang on a sec. Hang on, I'm trying to like figure out how exactly to. How can I do this? I'm not sure. Muzzy audio. Muzzy audio. Does it look, does it really look like him? Okay. The thing is with the Muzzy, how am I going to play it? It's not on uh, Spotify yet, is it? I swear to God, you cheating. This is too good. No, I swear I'm not. Oh, fuck. And zoom out. No. Whoops. I swear I'm just eyeballing it. Let's see. Hmm. Just pull it up on YouTube. All right, I'm gonna pull it up on YouTube. I think it is using my desktop audio. Okay, let me let me try with the let me try it here. Hold, please. Hang on. All right, we're not playing this game. YouTube. <laughs> okay, hang on, we're pulling up Muzzy right now. Give me a second here. Muzzy cold cuts. It better show up if I put out Muzzy, muzzy cold cuts. Oh yeah, it does. Okay, base. All right, hang on a sec. Let me. <laughs> Where's the other? Pause that. Okay, music should have paused. Yo, 
I just wanted to say we spent $25 on thongs for you. Can you hear it? You. Uh, and we didn't even get a pick back. Well, I, I just want to say I didn't really have any involvement. But you were there with me spiritually when I clicked. Oh. What's happening? Fuck. What? What's happening? The ball? Ball? What are we talking Quick about? Bye. I was on Amazon. On the, the, the Amazon wish list. Send us the photos anyway. Damn straight. I got my heart hanging in some Asiatic countries. Twitter comedian. What are you talking about? Oh, the ball. I'm like, literally, what are you talking about? Dude. Okay, can you hear this or no? This is not gonna load, dude. <laughs> Literally, I have too much shit going. There's too much shit going on. It's not gonna load, Yo, dude. new poster. I just wanted to say we spent $25 on thongs for you. Uh, and we didn't even get a pick back. Well, I, I just want to say I didn't really have any involvement. But you were there with me spiritually when I clicked buy. I on Amazon, the, the Amazon wish list. Send us the photos anyway. Damn straight. I got my art hanging in some Asiatic countries. Twitter comedians still think that they can touch me. New kid getting too shit faced with Rusty. Glad I showed up, man. A whole scene was dusty. And I don't give a fuck if you like me, you dumb hussy. You and your whole little posse fucking disgust me. Best to ever do it. Bitch, I must be moving with Colombiana honeys like I'm fuzzy. Look, I push a cloud chaser out my face by his forehead. Never met a chick that I thought was too corn fed. I just want my haters making bases like a warhead in a mansion with a pool in a state that I can sports bet. I evolved like my animals and spore did. Last time I checked, your career got even more dead. Tend to my business, watch it blossom like an orchid. You make any money? Oh, I sure did. You're not a chick to me unless you got a fat cock. You're not a dude to me unless you smart fat rock. And you're not a day to me unless you got that wishy gushy super califragilistic hot fire. They the most. Call me Gwenny Paltrow because I am on the goop again. Take her to the same damn place and get the soup again. Mr. Clean Sweep with the hair and escrow. Brain like stir fry, booty like J Lo. You drive a hard deal, I just drive a Subaru. You'd make a cute brush, show me what that mouth can do. Are you guys gay? I guess it depends when they dig. <laughs> Up, they'll probably say that we were good friends. Another chick sent breasts in the DMs. I love Turkey Tom so much, I, I gave him estrogen. Ben Shapiro, let me touch your sister's breasts again. Let us your Beatles bars. Shit, here's the rest of them. I got two sides acting really fucking corny and getting art hoes horny. Yes. And when they try to hate, they draw a blank shouts to Rory dropping bars like a full inventory on your dome piece. Based. Yeah, I did it. It actually ran through, which is incredible. Bars. <laughs> the Woody Allen of the rap game. Oh, God, dude. Dude, if you guys want to listen to that and watch the music video, because I just could not get it to load on my computer, it's, uh, it's called Muzzy. M U Z Z Y, and it's on our Cold Cuts YouTube channel. It's right there. We are looking into getting it uh, on Spotify and stuff too, but for now it's just on YouTube. Are they next up out of Atlanta? Can you gritty? How do you gritty? Isn't it like. <laughs> How do you gritty? How do you gritty? <laughs> uh, I'm trying to remember how the fuck am I gonna draw this? There we go.
Are you guys gay? I guess it depends. When they dig us up, they'll probably say that we were good friends. It's a great bar. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Uh, okay. Is this working? I can't tell. I'm like kind of winging it at this point. All right, I think I've winged it to the best of my abilities here. Oh, the tail. Muzzy, what happened with the thing? Muzzy's front. Am I still using my USB mic? Yes. No, I know because I just haven't. Is it really loud? Is it that bad? Still drawing. No, don't back charge your donations. Hang on. I'm getting the. Uh, I'll get everything set up with the new computer. I guess now, if anybody wants to help me actually find the a good computer. I have like my eyes on like specific, you know, whoops, what the hell's going on here? Actually, I guess I'm not really, I don't really have my eyes on anything crazy specific. It's the tail that I forgot though. Okay, so let me see. He definitely needs a tail. Are you gonna build one? Yeah, I'm think. I mean, I I what I got a lot of people suggesting that I should build one because I would save money that way. But what I'm thinking is like, and what Kyle, my mod in the chat, also had recommended to me is just to, like, just get get a pre-built, but like a custom one. So. I think that's probably what I'm gonna do. And it's like, the specifications that I need, I, what's crazy is that I actually feel like my com current computer does have this proper specifications. It's just like, old. It's just too too fucking old. So, uh, I just need something with like a lot of RAM, a w definitely a better graphics card, because I just do not have a, like, a, a, oh, spaghetti emoji, shout out. Uh, oh damn, we got 10 minutes left. Uh, yeah, so that's, that's kind of where I'm at right now. Like, I think I probably will just get like a customized, like pre-built off of new egg was the website that was recommended to me by, uh, by Kyle. So that's what I'm, that's what I'm thinking. I'll probably do. Uh, this looks pretty, I mean, how did I do without looking at a reference? Is this like what Sonichu looks like? Hang on. Let me color him in, I guess. Like, right? I mean, that's Sonichu, right? What? Let's see, mine was about a thousand for all the parts, and I could. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Shirt off? No. No. No shirt sure off. No. No shirt off. No, 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 no. Flash nips, at least. <laughs> gay guy. What is that gay guy? What is that? Nips. Nips. I just joined, but I agree. Shirt off. No, no. No nips. No nips. Oh, the pink cheeks. Hang on a sec. I think I only would see this one, right? Are you guys still writing nips? We need the beetle nips. No, no, I don't know. We bought you the computer? Wait, I can't actually find it. There it is. There's only one nip. <laughs> I 
The single nip. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's the stream, everybody. <laughs> if you want to see more of that, you can subscribe to the Patreon. <laughs> so ridiculous. Well, how did I, how's it, I just spent all this time drawing Sonichu. Is anybody going to tell me that it's actually a good drawing? I didn't even, I did not look at a picture of Sonichu. This was straight up off the dome. I was here. I was here. Last seven minutes. Everyone post Don for Beetle. It looks good. Thank you. Oh my god, what a freaking day. What an event. I cannot believe. I cannot believe we hit that goal, dude. The subathon. It's a good drawing, but the nips was better. I am back, baby, and I am drunk. You made it. We got less than seven minutes left. Okay, we need mods in here. I did have like a mod in here at one point. Show me the Beetle Bobs. Perhaps another time I will. I wish I was drunk. What if I donate again? You can still donate. It's all going to the uh, it's all going to the computer fund. Fund. Oh my god, I am freaking fried. I have been sitting in front of this computer with almost no breaks. I don't actually know. I think it's been nine hours. I've been sitting here. Holy Christ, man. This is a long time. <laughs> I will probably need some more mods in here at the time. Oh, by the way, if you guys are, like, watching, it, it, you should also be following. Are you following me on Twitch? Did you hit the follow button? So you can actually see the next time that I go live. And I don't have, you know, I don't have to be posting the, uh, the cringe uh, advertisements every time. This is what the creators wanted the evolution of Raichu to be, but Nintendo said no. They, that's what they should have done. I really think they should have done this. The Sonichu. Oh, check it out. The Patreon. It's <laughs> I'm not reading that. <laughs> Studio Zero is like... I think he's asking a chat GPT to just be coming up with the most inappropriate messages that won't get him banned. <laughs> the thing. Oh my god. I'm always busy during your normal stream times. So this is a treat. I mean, I don't know the next time that I'll be doing a stream this long. I'm really glad that you were able to pop in here, but I'll be back. I'll, I'll, I'll be uh, definitely back around. We'll be doing this again next week. The, just back to the normal streams. And uh, by the end of the month is when I'm hoping to actually have the new computer because then if I can get. If I can get that by the end of the month, I'll have it set up, which means that starting in the month of November, like season two of Beetle Moses streams can start where like, not just the classes, but I can like sprinkle in some other stuff. Can you do a stream where you draw something spooky? Yeah, that'd be fun. You could definitely do that. Oh, that's a cute little Jewish star. How did you do that? Oh, dude, less than five minutes. What else can I tell you guys before we get out of here? Here, I, I'm, look, I got to thank right there at the, I can see the leaderboard right here at the top. I'm going to thank Yowlitz for donating, for, uh, what do you call it, gifting 15 subs, Bugs My Weeby gifting 10 subs, my co-host and boyfriend, Yolo Swag Studios for gifting 8 subs, uh, uh, Far Strider, Felda, Metal Waluigi, all for donating bits, all you guys freaking amazing oh i can see actually the rest of this list top weekly top gifters so this is everybody from today yowlets bugs and my wee wee yellow swag studios hernandez am 93 z kirby 890 goopter george the fruit metal waluigi bottling sunshine knuckles all of you guys freaking amazing uh what is your favorite thing about your good buddy yolo He's always there for me when I when I call him. He's always there for me. Uh, yeah, boyfriend is in guys. He's my friend and a boy. All right, 
Uh, Gardic phone. Yeah, Gardic phone would be really fun. We should let's let's definitely get a Gardic a Gardic phone going. Maybe we can get one going this week. Hopefully, in the next couple days, we'll be recording another Minecraft episode with Vosh because that'll be really fun. Eight hours. Holy shit! Eight hours and forty minutes of stream. You're crazy. Yeah, dude. But we beat the thing. We did it. I cannot actually believe that this was like a freaking eight hour stream. <laughs> you suck platonic PP together. Yeah, exactly. Harris didn't mention yellow's waist to thigh ass ratio is favorite thing about yellow. That's true. Gardic phone next day. Harris is free. Yeah, we do the Gardic phone on the Patreon that yellow swag studios has plugged there with the night bot. If you want to play Gardic phone, you can join the Patreon. We have so much stuff for you on that Patreon there, and it helps us both keep going, keep creating, keep pushing. Uh, if you hop in there, we'll we'll hop on Gardic Phone in the next week, basically. And then uh, we have like so much bonus material. We send you art in the mail, like all kinds of crazy stuff. <laughs> Knuckles, that was worth a shot. You said you'd light me on fire. You have to. Yes. You're gonna be in, uh, I'm going to be in North Carolina, and if you need me to light you on fire, I can absolutely do that. Uh, stickers are neato. Gay sex. <laughs> oh, my God. Give me one last thing to talk about. we got a minute 30 seconds left on this thing. Give me something, something that I can tell you. Ask me anything. This is my official Reddit AMA for the next minute and 30 seconds. Wait, you'll be in NC? Yeah, for the holidays, I'm going to be with my my uh, gf's family and nc uh family guy interesting <laughs> spin in the allegations do you smoke weed uh no i mean i do like i do but i haven't in a really long time the only time that i've smoked weed probably this entire year was when i was visiting yellow swag studios in pennsylvania so so no, but I don't like I don't like I don't like have weed on me or anything like that. Uh, do you know the difference between Hamas and hummus? I do. Well, there's a lot of differences. So yeah, bro, you loved it. Don't pretend. What do you mean? I did, I, I mean I enjoy, I enjoy it, but it's like I just don't. Uh, Harris green out on the porch. That's true. Oh god! Would you punch a baby for thirty square? <laughs> yeah, it's like I don't know. It's like literally, I just don't ever feel like I have time. Would you let the sensitive creep hit it? Sure. Are you pro? I'm not gonna say that. Do you have any good jokes, Point Dexter? <laughs> Point Dexter. Let me think. Do I have any good jokes? Uh. So Lizzo, oh, that's the end of the stream. That's it. <laughs> we did it. Guys. I love you. Happy New Year. Thank you so much. If somebody wants to drop that Discord link one more time in the chat, if you type exclamation point Discord, we have the Beetle Moses Discord over there. And, um... Yeah, well, I'd love to see you over there. Well, we'll have, we talking more about this, talking more about drawings, all kinds of stuff. Patreon's right there. If you want to sub to the Patreon, support me. You join that one. We got a ton of we got a ton of shit going on over there. All right, join the Patreon. Join join the Discord. Get, hit me with a follow. I love you. I cannot believe how long we've been streaming. I, I owe it all to you guys. All right, let me tell you a Lizzo joke. So. Lizzo walks into a bar and the bartender says, would you like that neat or over ice? And Lizzo says, 